going to try and ready go. <laughs> Girl. Do you want to save the princess? <gasps> you target is proud of you. Let's go kill him. Yes! Yay! Oh, it's L1. <gasps> oh! Okay. Turns out parrying is flipping awesome. <gasps> Fudge. <laughs> Watch out for that hole, guys. Can't see. There's period in my face. <laughs> Gotta make sure there's enough wieners, okay? There needs to be enough wieners for people. I just got it in the flipping face! Nice. <laughs> I never used to really see myself with a mustache, but then it grew on me. Wow. Uh, oh. <laughs> uh, we heckin' did it, bros! Ah! <gasps> Finally! Yay! I'm evil! Do you really want to hurt me? No! He wants me to die! It is alive. Ooh! Do 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 Ha! He said it! He said it! <gasps> huh? Why am I jumping? Oh my god! Stop jumping! <laughs> Where's the shrine? Where's the- <gasps> no! <laughs> you scratch my raid and I'll scratch your raid. Is that how it works? Ah! I broke my flippin' ankle! Oh, it's just a wrap. Don't worry about it. It's just a wrap. <gasps> oh, God. That would have been a good scare if there was something behind me there. Ah! Nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. Nope. Wait a minute. again struggling with the 11 o'clock start oh and we have no audio right nobody sub nobody sub. she just head tilted at the word sub <laughs> morning everyone how we doing good morning good morning i had my speakers on because i was playing diablo and i wanted to hear it <laughs> sometimes i don't really like like sitting uh with my headphones in when I'm just chilling. Hey, there we go. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Yes, yes, we're doing a bum only run. 
I've been wanting to do this ever since this game first came out. We're doing but only Elden Ring. We're gonna ring the ring and we're gonna have so many like butt related flipping stream titles guys. I'm so excited. Good morning. How's you doing? Hello Craig. Hello Red Hood. Hello Lone Jedi. Hello Fortis. Hello Illidor. Hello Eric. Hello Stevie. Hello Dave. Hello Bear. Good to see you. Charlie. Let's heck and go. I'm so excited. Good to see you all. I hope you're well. Uh, oh. The, wait, Andy Warhol's name is not Andy Warhol? Oh, it's Andrew Warhola. <laughs> he, took a, he took an A off. <laughs> okay. Hi, Nebu. A Lua Loop. Bums, Addy. I'm so excited. My only, the only thing I don't know how to do is how to actually get the Ash of War because how do we kill the Ash of War so, without... We can only use our bun. I think we should use a bear's bun. I think because it's in the mistwood. So I think we should be able to use a bear. So the reason I have started stream. Oh, hi Scar, sorry. Yes, we must see. We must see all the buzz in the chat, please. Um, the reason we started stream in the Elden Ring category today is because I didn't want to start a just chatting stream with the title, but only. So we're in the, I do have to just quickly finish my sandwich. Um, but we're in the Elden Ring category. I'm not starting the game for like, give me five minutes or something, but I didn't want to be in just chatting with that title. So that's why we are here. Evie's here, Evie's, uh, Evie's making kind of just, can you see? No, you can't. Uh, she's fine. Yeah, she's totally fine. Totally fine. Friday literally just ate some grass and puked it up and uh, she's been totally fine. Don't worry, dogs Dogs are sick like all the time. It was just like, it threw her off and she required a bit more attention. And then cause I was streaming, it was difficult to to do that. But um, no, she's fine, she's fine. You should be asking how I am really. It was me that was affected more than her. <laughs> but uh, no, she's fine. <laughs> yeah, it's sensible. I just, I know this platform. <laughs> yeah, a lot of weirdos and just chatting. <laughs> Good to see you too. Congrats, uh, everyone. Uh, Begoggled Bear just beat Dark Souls for the first time. It's, uh, you'll never forget it. You will never forget it. It's like, it's just one of those like, momentous moments, you know? Momentous moment? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. No, you're fine. Don't apologize. It's all, it's all good. It's all good. Oh no, Elidor, I was joking about how you should ask how I am. I'm just, I was just a joke, but I am, I'm okay. I'm okay, I had a really restful weekend. Go to your bed, go sit down. There is a, there's C-H-E-E-S-E -E -E on this sandwich, so she won't leave me alone. Um, yeah, really restful weekend. Yeah, we had the, oh my God. So I'm so, so sorry you weren't there, Illidor, but the Patreon hangout was so funny. We played Gartic Bone which is like Pictionary Chinese Whispers kind of like kind of game. It, oh, it was so silly. There was so much penis. Thomas the Tank Engine had a penis. It was just, it was so silly. Um, I'll get the March one. I'm definitely gonna get the March one like sorted out like earlier this time so people have noticed, but it's just February was just insane. It just, it just disappeared. The whole month just disappeared. Friday is March guys. Can you believe it? Also look at my flipping arm. Can you be- oh my god, can you believe it? Adam, look at that flipping streak, man. 50 streams, what the frick? Stevie, I've already paid the tax. I don't think I deserve to pay double tax. I've already paid the tax. I don't need double taxes, thank you. I pay enough. Oh my God, that felt like the longest chew. Oh no, I said the other trigger word. <laughs> I want to draw your attention to something guys. Just while I'm like eating my sandwich. Um, Cause it's the end of February. I'm not like gonna be pushing people to be like, oh, hey guys, oh, we need tier threes. Blah, blah, blah. Because it's the end of February. We hit the goal and I'm happy with that. And I don't really see 
like, I don't think I should keep, you know. So there's no bonus streams tonight and tomorrow because as much as it pains me because like, I'm not gonna say no to like the extra support, that would be nice. And Hollow Knight, I'm like really enjoying Hollow Knight, but we're not gonna do that. We're not, we're not gonna, I want to watch June. I'm gonna watch June with Mike cause we're gonna go and see the second one at the weekend. So, um, so there's no bonus stream. Yeah, the schedule's a little bit like messy looking. I made it really quickly in like five, five minutes this morning. Um, so it's just the daytime streams Monday, Tuesday, just normal. Um, Thursday is a Patreon stream. I don't know why I want to play yet. I'm between two games. I can't decide. Like, I've got reasons for both of them. Um, but if you are a Patreon or a tier three Twitch sub, I've put it in the Patreon chat. If you want to like help me decide, that'd be cool. Um, Friday. Yeah, Friday because it's March the 1st. We have the sub goal back. The sub goal is back on Friday. Um, so we could do Hollow Knight and Friday evening if you want. But yeah, that was just, I was like, I was making it really quickly and I was just like, hopefully people understand this. Oh. Hello, Fanny Boys. <laughs> Thank you for letting me finish before. I went to a linen convention. It was a sheet show. <sighs> a linen convention. Evie, no. Thank you for the bits, Fanny. Thank you. It actually like blows my mind how you keep coming up with these and I've never heard them before. Mm. No. She's eyeing up my plushies. I know she is. She wants to chew on the soft. Um. Yeah, Gartic phone was fun. Yeah, wouldn't have had time. Came home at 10 p.m. I needed to get up early on Sunday. Yeah, no, it wouldn't have worked out anyway. So, well, there you go. So it's like, it wouldn't have worked out anyway. It's not just like, because I only posted about it the day before, like the night before. Um, which I realized was really low, no, re really low notice. Is that how you say it? Short, no short notice. That's it. Um, but it wasn't because of that. It was you couldn't have made it anyway. So, um, we should just semi lurk. I'm supposed to be working. Supposed to be. Mhm. Mm <laughs> Thanks for lurking. Ah, morning, morning, Jamie. Good morning. Happy Monday. Mhm. watching her. I forgot to update this. I'll do it later. Hi Dan, good morning. I'm so excited to play. Oh my god, Elden Ring. Look, a hundred and, what is it, 116 days to go. That's what Siri told me. She's had her food. She's so greedy. And that tiny little package is so full of greed. Right, last bite and then we can get started, yeah? We're, we're gonna make our character like big flipping smo. Like a big heckin' smo. Hi, Rachan. Should we call him Butchby? Or Bo Butch? Hmm. I'm still all flipped, Danny. You still ill? Oh mate, I did wonder when I saw you, I was like, he's still ill. Ginger's ill as well. You guys maybe should stop kissing. <laughs> oh, well you got to see Elden Ring, which is cool. Um, I told you, I told you how well Bloodborne went last week. That was insane. Yeah, it was really cool. I'm as bad as you, Jay. No, delete that quote. I am not as bad as you, Jay. <laughs> right, okay. Welcome everyone. Hang on, let me go over here. Let me go over here. Here we go. Uh, ba ba. Wait, where's the? I wanted the flipping tune. Maybe we should, but we won't. What? Stop kissing. <laughs> Hi, darks. Good morning. Good morning. You're right on time. We're just getting started. Welcome everyone to. Oh, perfect. But only Elden Ring. So this is using an Ash of War called the Butt Slam. What's it actually called? Is it actually called Butt Slam? <laughs> Hang on, is it actually called Butt Slam? Ground Slam. Ground Slam. Where you jump up into the air and then you come down on your rear. And it does a high amount of stagger and potentially a high amount of damage. I don't know how much damage it does. I just know that it exists and that I want to complete the whole game with my arse um, because it sounds really funny. Um, it's been... It has been patched in not the most recent patch. This is 1.10, but in 1.07, it got buffed. 
so that it does more damage and it's faster. So I reckon we could like disrespect Melania 100% like just stunlock her with my butt. It's like a ground pound, like flipping uh, Mario style. It, even if it's not the butt slam, it is the butt slam. Yeah. So this Ash of War ground slam, we can get it really early, but I, I don't know how we're going to. So I think the hardest thing is actually going to be getting the Ash. But uh, we'll start with our character. Okay, so new game, new game, new game. Do you want to watch the, I kind of want to watch the intro. Um, I always skip the intro because like I'm eager to get going. <gasps> Rich! Rich! Oh my frick, mate. Rich, thank you so much for the tier three. That was so, un that is unexpected. What the frick, thank you so much. Wowza, and for three months. Oh my god, Rich, thank you. Rich, 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 I'm gonna get you, uh, I'm gonna get you lots of nice things. Let me get you nice things, yeah? Let's do it. Uh, I haven't seen the intro since I first played the game. Exactly, Dave, exactly. You have to, um, you do have to, like, just watch the intro every now and then because it's just so good. Uh, I went and did the three months. Let's get you the moolah. <gasps> mm, mate, thank you. Honestly, it's, it's such a, it is, it is gonna make such a massive difference and I can say that with, like, complete confidence, right. Right, okay, Rich, so, got a few things for you. Got a few things for you, we'll sort that out. Oh my God, a tasty haggis. Oh, delicious, hello, pal. I enjoy how vocal the VO guy goes. Right, yeah, we're all gonna like sit and we're just gonna be like, oh, Elden Ring. <laughs> and what better time, what than butt time? Rich, you were very excited typing that, weren't you? You're very excited, butt time. <laughs> Love me some butt time. Um. Okay, so first of all, you get VIP. You are a very important person in my chat. Thank you very much. There you go, diamond. Next, uh, you will see in the Discord, you'll now see all the, because if you have Discord like connected to Twitch, you'll see all of the like Patreon channels opening up. We actually have a bonus stream on Thursday. I haven't decided what game I want to play yet. I'm between Spider-Man 2 and Mass Effect. Um, but that's, that's on this Thursday. We've just had the hangout for February, but you'll be able to join the one for March. Um, and yeah, so it's all the Patreon stuff. Um, also, oh, uh, I'm gonna message you. I'm gonna message you. I've got a little form for you to fill in for a thank you gift. It's a little sticker. You've actually like just managed to grab the February one. Uh, let me get you this. Lots of things. Uh, and I'll be in touch about your three month gift, which is, a, I'm gonna get you a t-shirt. A little Don't Rage Quit t-shirt. They're pretty good. I don't know, guys, if you haven't seen them, the designs are pretty good. They're on they're on here. So uh, Rich gets one of those for doing the three months. The three month like thing, obviously, we're in the final couple of days. So if that was something that you fancied, just so you know that's ending with March because any oh sorry, there's a lot of information. And flipping abs is here as well. Wait. Wait, I exclusively watched the intro so I could shout the some dog eater. <laughs> Are we gonna, should we chat along? Should we chat along with the intro? <laughs> I love this game. I love this game so much. I am so excited for the DLC. Like literally this game has been a huge part of like what has like kept me like so passionate about uh, the Soul series and just like, just seeing that this is the direction they've gone in. Like I was a little bit nervous when they first announced it was gonna be like open world, um, but it's it works so well. And I'm, oh, I'm so excited for the DLC. Oh my God, that's so exciting. Yeah, I love this game. I'm so excited. Let's go, let's go. Hi Gabsby, hello, hello. <laughs> Enough VIP stuff. Time for butts. Yeah, time for butts. Let's go. But if you fill in that form, Rich, it's in your Twitch whispers. Uh, fill in that form. Um, I'll get that sent to you um, before the end of the month, <laughs> which is Friday. Uh, you don't watch the intro for the moon. The moon? Oh, rise. You tarnished. You dead. Who yet live? Okay, if we're going for like big fat guy, um, it doesn't matter what we start as. It doesn't really matter what our, I'm gonna say just Vagabond. It, like, I don't know what Ground Slam scales off. <laughs> it's probably strength. I don't know. This is interesting. We do need FP as well. So starting with something that has high FP could be a good show. Yeah. Melody, hello, hello. Wait, Gabs, I somehow lost three hours of Elden Ring progress yesterday. Did you, are you playing it on Steam? And maybe the steam thing didn't sink, maybe. We're maidenless. Nah, man. 
I've got my maid and she's down there crying. I don't know if you can hear her. It just didn't save. <gasps> Sketchy! Gideon, the, the all knowing. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely watching the intro, guys. Don't worry, definitely. Um, Are we making Bobby? We kind of have to make Bobby. I kind of like Bobut. Bobut or Butch Bay? I think Bobut. Because Bobby's legacy like lives on. Bobut. Unless you guys have a really good. Like, butt pun. Butt B is good. Butt B is good, actually. Wait, Haggis is maidenless. No! I'll get you one. I'll get you a maiden. <laughs> there is some tongue. I've never heard of that. The PS5 just, like, not saving. Did it, like, did you just turn it off? Did you, like, oh, that's weird. Yeah, no, I've never seen that. Boobert. Boob? Why boob? What, what's that got to, what's, what does boobs have to do with butts? They're completely different body parts. Also, hi, hi, Biscuit. Bumba? <gasps> what's that rum that's like, is it Bumba rum? Biggest Gluteus Maximus. Oh my God, Gluteus Maximus, that's quite funny actually. Hey, Lariel, casters got best butt. Do they? They hide it behind robes. Can't see it. Stop a TV. A quite like gluteus maximus. That reminds me of uh, Monty Python. Why would that remind me of Monty Python? Biggest dickus. <laughs> Do you find something funny about my friend Biggest? <clears throat> All right, gluteus maximus. This is so he's uh, he's a gladiator. This is the is this the end of Bobby? Bobby, Bobby. Is this the end of Bobby? Right, gluteus maximus. Quality. I love that. Yeah, Bumby Rum is the emu's favourite. She's got good taste. She's got really good taste. Fear, hello. I'm sick. So just gonna lurk. I hope I can give you a little giggle today. We're beating Elden Ring with just our butt. Pumpa Rum. Oh my god. More like Pumpa Rump, right? Because <laughs> butt. Bobby, if he's still game. Yeah, so we. My RL1 character, when we were naming him, uh. We had just had a conversation about how Bobby is like, it's like Bobby, but like it, Bobby is also like slang for like a penis. So we just had that conversation. And then when we made my RL1 character, it was like, well, his name is Bobby, obviously. And he just kind of went from there. We had, we had Bobby with a W for when we were boat only. Uh, and then we had Rollby for when we did rolling only. But this is now the end of Bobby's legacy and this is the start of Maximus's legacy. Wait, hang on. This is a bra Wait, we have to make him look like Max then because this is Maximus. This is Max from Dark Souls, right? So we have to make him, we have to make him look like Max now. Uh, keepsake, it doesn't really matter. I guess Golden Seed for a little bit of an easier start. I think the start is gonna be really hard <laughs> before we get like some stamina. Uh, some some stamina, some FP, some health, yeah. Uh, okay, so we want to be like kind of rotund, um, and also like kind of look like Max. So Max is like very pale. He's got a beak. Um, I don't know how. I mean, he's quite pale. Hello, honey. Hello. <laughs> you can't even see her. Incontinentia of buttocks. <laughs> you making me want to watch that again? Uh, age? I guess it doesn't matter. The mature? Will we make him mature? We need, we need, a, right, this is going to be very important because we're going to be heating this quite a lot, right? Mature makes sense, right? Because it's a butt only run, so it's very mature, right? I think we go with mature. <laughs> he looks like Timothy Chalamet. Oh my god, I'm so excited for June, by the way, Em. I was so excited. Yeah, he got that curly hair. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, are you head tilting? <laughs> Do you want a chewy? We give the doggy a chewy. Oh my god, I've just pulled my eating out. <gasps> oh, ow. It came in like, it doesn't hurt, but it hurts. Do you know? Like, if you ever have like your earphone like ripped out, it doesn't hurt, but it hurts. You know what I mean by that? Mikey, butts. Butts, butts, butts. I've got dog cam, hang on. She's gonna start barking. Do, 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 oh. There she is. It's my Valentine's card. 
Um, yeah. Evie, I know, honey, I know, I'm coming. Don't close your eyes when she's sampling the sounds. Oh no, please do, please do. Uh, I'm seeing Jintu tomorrow. Wait, it's out tomorrow? Oh frick, I thought it was, uh... Yeah, we're going, um... We're going on Saturday. I'm gonna watch the first one again tonight. As long as I continue to feel better after a weekend of sake. Can't wait for some worms. I know, I want that flipping popcorn bucket. <laughs> Oh, the official release is Friday. Ah, oh, it's a. Oh. I think I'll have to book tickets then. Because uh, it's a wee screen we're going to. Oh, I am so excited. But I do need to see the first one again because I can't remember what happens in the first one. You guys are like, yeah, it's time travel. And I'm like, what? <laughs> no, it's not. It's just about worms, right? <laughs> um, and I remember like uh, flipping Oliver. Oliver? Oliver. No. Poe Dameron. What? Wait! Were they trolling me? Were they trolling me? <laughs> uh, yeah, we were talking about Jin, and then we were like, I was like, how do I describe Jin? And I couldn't describe it, because I couldn't really remember it. I just remembered that I loved it. What's his name that play plays Poe Dameron? That's, um, begins with an O. Oscar, Oscar Isaac. Oh my God, Oscar Isaac. Yeah, he's, he's in it and he's cool. I just want to see it again. It's sandy, it's got worms, and yeah, they, they, they all get really high on like spice and it turns their eyes blue and people want to buy the spice because it's like really good. <laughs> um, right, we need to, we need, to, right, the nose, it's all in the nose to try and make him look like Max. So if we go like nose ridge. Um, yeah, here we go, here we go. Here we go, he's becoming Max. He just needs a beak. <laughs> Uh, oh, I hope the boy in the heron is good. I heard it was a bit slow. I hope it's good though. I saw part one again when the <gasps> we released it in the IMAX. We were gonna go for that, but like stuff's just been like way too crazy. Oh wow, that's it. That's it. Right, nose tip height. Yes, go go go. Protrusion all the way, all the way. <laughs> Nose slant. I can't really see what's slanting here. But it looks kind of bigger when we do that. Okay, right, so nostrils. Nostril. <laughs> He's an aardvark. <laughs> you could ski down that nose. <laughs> ah, hi, Sparrow. I'm having a very good start to the week. I was like, I just want to play Elden Ring. Uh, so we're playing Elden Ring. Oh, will we make it like point up the way? It's so big, it's going off the character creation like scream. Um, if they go, d <laughs> it's like a hook. He's got a hook nose. I think up. I think up is better. Can I keep it a little bit separate from his from his mouth? Right, nostril size. There we go. There we go. There's the beak. Nostril width. Yeah, now you look like Max. There we go. Now you look like Max. <laughs> A butt only run. How is this gonna work? Right. Okay. So it's an Ash of War called Ground Slam, but it's not actually called Ground Slam. It's called Butt Slam. So we're gonna go pick that up. It does damage. It has a shockwave, and we're gonna kill stuff with it. Sixty-two. Sixty-two is many, many months. Almost too many to count. Almost too many. Almost. <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing at this game. Ledge, thank you for the prime. Thank you for the 62 months. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, wait, the Jin book. Oh, yeah, I should read that. Yeah, I'm gonna, so I haven't seen the original either. So I'm like, gonna like watch the new ones and then like watch the uh, originals, I think. What kind of hair should he have? That's actually, that's quite funny. Cause it's kind of like, he's got like nice hair, but then just this like enormous flipping beak. Uh, what color is Max's hair? Is it white? I think it's white. But then this is Maximus, so he could have brown hair. I actually think he quite suits the- I think, because he looks so normal, apart from his nose. I think it's actually perfect. Um, yeah, I actually quite like that. I think he looks great. <laughs> um, oh, flip! Oh, Sparrow! What the frick? Neat! Sparrow likes it too. To rectify all people within our nation. 
to denounce the evils of advertisements, to extend our reach to the emotes above. <gasps> Gifts! Sub. Hey, Sparrow, thank you so much for the five subs. Uh, thank you for gifting Barbecue, Mags, Jedi, Norvan, and Haggis. <gasps> yes, sir. Uh, several of which are in the chat now and they don't have to watch ads and they get all the emotes and stuff. Thank you. Awesome. These are, these are, uh, the, these are a few of the Bobies. Uh, well, the first one is Misty. That was the Pokemon trainer. And then you've got, a, I think that's, um, is that Bobie, B-O-W-B-Y in the middle? And then Bobie is on the right. He was the original. And then the blue one is Rollby because he was meant to look like Sonic. And the middle one is Peach, which I was going to do Deathless, but um, I, I, it's hard. <laughs> Deathless is hard. So here we go. Here's Maximus, um, who looks normal, if not for the beak. Perfect. Oh, and it, it pokes out of his... Oh my god, this helmet is perfect. The nose pokes out the helmet. I love it. When did she leave? Oh, man. <laughs> Hello, Meg. The one that Patrick Stewart is in. Oh, June. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've not seen the original, but I hear it's a bit weird. Um, And also, I can't really remember the story because I was like watching it not expecting to like it so i wasn't really paying attention really you know when you like half watch a movie um and then i really like was like oh i'm actually getting re really into this <clears throat> so i'll need to watch it again uh waiting to see part two before reading the book so it's a bit like a new experience and i'm waiting to rewatch the yes i'll do the exact same i think rich yeah Craig doesn't know when I'm going to see it. I really want to. My dad didn't like the first and I go to the cinema with him. I need to find time to go on my own. Yeah, sometimes you just have to be like, oh, God, let's go without you then. <laughs> Two can play at this game. <laughs> oh, my God. What, wait, what do they say about this, the size of a, a nose of a man? What, the, what do they say? <laughs> like, the, like Baba Yaga from Spirit Away. Yeah, except the nose is a little bit smaller. <laughs> Oh man. How's PPP going? So PPP uh, for February is complete. PPP is complete for February. Uh, on March, it starts all over again on the Friday. Uh, sorry, this Friday, March, it starts all over again. So back to the grind. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Forget attacking with his butt. This tarnish can attack with his nose. <laughs> yeah, I think, I, I hope the book's like, uh, yeah. I hope it's good. If I'd eaten it? Wait, if I had eaten it, it would have been easier to digest. <laughs> I love that. That took me a minute to figure out there. Do I go see it at one minute past midnight on Friday? Damn, I've never been to the cinema. Well, actually, that's a lie. I tried to go to the cinema one time at midnight. We went to see the new Troy. Tron. I always do that. Tron. I went to see the new Tron. And, um... It like wouldn't work. The projector wouldn't work or something. So we didn't get to see it. We all had to go home at like midnight. It was, it was so sad. Uh, and I didn't see it until like years after. Um, but I've never actually, I've never actually seen a, a movie like midnight release. This has to be one of the, one of the faces of all time. <laughs> we do, right. See, this makes me want to keep this helmet because the nose is just so perfect. But like, I did want to try and get like the, like the big heck and like a big fat man armor. Cause I feel like that would be like there. <laughs> I returned from busy work time to thank the fast sparrow for the sub. Yes, the fastest of sparrows. Yeah, if you go and see June at midnight, yeah, that's gonna be like three o'clock in the morning. That'll finish at three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> yeah, Mikey, no, you're a morning person. Uh, all over again. Did the level three subs people did count for anything, or is it really getting harder and harder? No, it's not getting. So, um, we need three hundred points. Uh, in February, 300 points in March and 300 points in April. So the people that have done tier threes, that's six points. So pe people that, the reason that we were like, tier three is the best is because it was six points, but costs the amount of five. Um, so it was the easiest way to get points really. So uh, with March the 1st, it sort of is like, it starts all over again and we need to get 300 for March. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's hard. <laughs> I almost booked the 9 a.m. See, 9 a.m. is not too bad, Addy, because like you're like up and you've got lots of energy and you've got the whole day ahead of you. Yeah. Uh, the difference visually with the Harkonnens versus the original. Oh, is that the race? The like, yeah, no, I, 
I need to see it again. <laughs> Star Wars Force Awakens. Oh, I loved Force Awakens. I would have loved that. Yeah, that's right. Okay, like, I don't know what it is. Just my brain always makes up Troy and Tron. Somehow. I don't know why. It's because it's 75% the same word. <laughs> yeah, tier one is getting a price increase in the UK, Canada, and Turkey. Australia? Was Australia the other one? Yeah, so it's, yeah, it's not great. But it does mean that if you're doing it to support the creator, it does mean that I get more money. So it's pretty good, but it, I can see how it would make people be like, oh, well, no, it's too much money. I don't know. But only body. So I'm not using my actual posterior. Uh, Gluteus Maximus here is going to use his butt. So. Uh, also, hi, Birdie. Hi. Uh, but the February subs don't count for March. No. So the February subs were for February. Now, March, uh, we've got a whole month to try and get 300 again. Uh, Gab's at the hospital, waiting for an exam. <gasps> Hope it goes well. Morning, Alexi. So you need new subs and the T3 can't really do much. <gasps> no, the tier, the tier 3 does loads. The tier 3 is like six points. Yeah, it's, yeah. So um, don't think of it as new subs as like people that haven't subbed before. That's not what it means. It means like a sub that month. So I need to get 300 points um, in March. Does that make sense? Uh, the tier three to tier one. Oh yeah, so it makes three even more like uh, pound to point, Mikey. Pound to point, it's a better ratio, yeah. Hey Cheetle, I've been here for the last three streams just busy and lurking, hope you're well. Yeah, I'm good, thank you, I'm really good. I had like a really restful weekend, so I'm feeling really, uh, I'm up for this, man. We're just we're just, uh, just getting started. I was really excited to watch the intro movie again because I haven't seen it in ages, so. Um, Enjoy. <laughs> Arise. I'm not gonna talk over it, I promise. The fallen leaves tell a story. I'm not gonna talk over it. Let's put it up. Tell a story. I don't have popcorn. No problem, Sparrow. I'll try and explain it better. Was shattered. In our home. Across the fog. I always thought that was Man's Godwin, but it's Marika with the braids. No, I want to just it's so good. I want it. It is mother. Is nowhere to be found. And in the night of the Black Knives, Godwin the Golden was first to perish. Soon, Marika's offspring, demigods all, claimed the shards of the Elden. Their newfound strength triggered the shattering. A war from which no lord arose. A war leading to abandonment by the greater will. Oh, rise now, ye tarnished, ye dead who yet live. The call of long lost grace speaks to us all. Goosebumps! <laughs> Every time. Or alone, chieftain of the Badlands, the ever brilliant gold mask. Why are they all dead? Fear, the death oh, their dead. companion, the loathsome dung eater. 
and Sir Gideon Othnia. They all know Oh, because they're tarnished, they've arisen again. Yeah, so that, yeah, duh. It's crazy how much more this makes sense now than it did the first time. Yeah. <laughs> Rise, exactly. Oh, man, that's so good. They all knowing. <laughs> would again bless bless this arse a tarnish <laughs> I thorn of no renown <laughs> there's the schnoz there's maximus there he is between <sighs> to stand after two years Nick I know <laughs> And become the Elden and Lord. Become the Elden Lord. <laughs> oh, so good. Ah, love it. It's so good. It's it, like when you watch that for the first time, second time, third time, fourth time, it doesn't make any sense. But if you really work hard, <laughs> it makes sense. <laughs> Oh, um, Fortis thinks that Godwin is going to be the, the guy in the trailer who's like, I, right, okay, it's believable because the land of shadow is the land of um, death. We start to believe it's where people go when they die. Or it's where souls, sorry, it's where souls used to go before the Elden Ring was shattered. Um, oh, sorry, it's really loud now. And then and now souls go to the lands between. Um... So it's believable, but he's like old and he's like old in the portrait. And Godwin was never like shown as being old. He always has this like long mane of like golden hair. So I don't think so. Also he had the, all the stuff with the death rune and like he's the big like fish man in Fia's like in the in the Great Hollow type place. I don't, I don't know. I'd love, I'd, I would love Godwin to be in the DLC though, in some form. I'd love that. Uh, but yeah, I never noticed that they were all dead before. So I don't have the butt slam yet, so I can't kill this thing. I think I've made it too quiet now. Uh, yeah, all Souls intro movies, they only make sense on the next playthrough. Or like the flippin' fifth playthrough. There you go, I'll put it there. Keep me right with the audio. Uh, th always thought that hanged person looks like the Onion Knight from Dark Souls. No, the exact opposite. The loathsome dung eater is nothing like the wholesome flippin' onion. The wholesome onion, the loathsome dung eater. <laughs> bless this art. <laughs> That's like Fanny being like, bless this. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of arse quotes. Yes, good. We need like lots of puns for our stream titles, guys. Like, I'm sure Vicky had one, it was like ringing, ringing the Elden Ring or something. <laughs> Elden Ring with my ring, was that it? <gasps> Torrent! Uh, I went through my first playthrough in a complete daze, no clue what happened. We tried, we really tried here, like, on stream. We, we learned a few secrets. He has a nose for these things, yeah. Right, Melina! I love the theory that Melina is Mesmer. Love that. Because she gets burned at the, the giant's kiln and then must go to the land of shadow and just becomes the, the flippin'. And she has one eye and he has one eye. Seek the Elden Ring. Even if it does violate the Golden Order. But the thing that debunks that is um is that the DLC takes place at the same time as the main game. So her burning at the end, of the, it, like near the end of the main game, it makes, it debunks that. Morning Cam! Right, butt on the Elden Ring. We're using an Ash of War called Ground Slam, which uh, creates a shockwave. Jump high into the air, crash down on the ground, sending a shockwave in all directions. Uh, beating stuff from my arms, basically. <laughs> I can't see any other reason for Mikola to go wandering, if not to try and bring Godwin back. Um, yeah, he must have had a reason to go there for like casting aside his like flesh. He's so lair. <laughs> Elden ring piece, yep, that's another one, yep. 
It looked like he's pulling the big spiky thing out of his mouth, and then it showed a similar spiky being shoved into. Yeah, the like knives. Yeah, well, it was like I thought it was his own spine. I thought I thought that thing was pulling his own spine. I think that's a new character. I think it's um because he had a deathbed companion beside him. Um, in the portrait. <clears throat> Bum soft. What about the melon is Rani? Or that they are twins? Ah, uh, well, Melina's got like pink hair. <gasps> Aditya, hello. Limb grave, more like rim grave. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't wait for that guy to pull his own head off and beat me to death with it. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> Their closed eyes are opposite each other. No, they're the same eye. It's the both of the, it's their left eye. When Melanie opens her eye in the flame, <gasps> in the frenzied flame end, you see it's Rani's eye, and they're both happy to see Torrent is doing well. Oh. But then there's the whole, like, who was Torrent's former master? Oh, it was Mikola. We think it might be Mikola, right? <gasps> Malectus, hello, Grand Slam. You know it. You're familiar. <laughs> Rimgrave, the loathsome bum beater. <laughs> Oh my god. Yep, this is Gluteus at Maximus. Oh. Here for the cult stuff. Oh! <laughs> A naughty mouse! A naughty chocolate mousse. Thank you very much for gifting a Malectus a sub. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome? Thank you. <laughs> Got my greetings mixed up. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <clears throat> we are going to, uh, we're going to go straight for the Ash of War because I can't kill anything until I get the ability to botch with my bot, so. <gasps> Wait, Aditya, you're sick too. No, everybody's ill. No. I ate something that didn't sit well with me, so now I'm all weak and sickly. Oh no, mate. I hope it's not like serious, like something you're allergic to. Hopefully just a one-off. Oh my god, Bowdy, you haven't watched the trailer. Oh, it's so good. The trailer is so good. It's so good. Everyone's either ill or injured. Yeah, like jam with his back and yeah, oh mate. Probably food poisoning. Oh, grim. <clears throat> grim. Well, I'm okay for now. <laughs> we'll see if that changes. Oh, you're back as well, right, Chan? No. And Thorn. I mean, I always have a sore back. I've had a sore back since uh, the gig last weekend. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Mikey, yeah. <laughs> I've had a sore back. Oh, God. Uh, but yeah, Bowdy, highly recommend you go right now, take three minutes, and watch the Shadow of the Air Tree trailer so you know what the heck we're talking about because it is. It tells you everything and nothing as you would expect. Uh. My daughter's is about to finish her antibiotics, but now I've got whatever she has. Oh, for goodness sake. Comes with the territory of having uh, children, doesn't it? Fear's got a fever. Hope we're both better. Hope you're both better, yeah. I think I should have avoided having that poison. I think maybe you shouldn't have eaten poison then. <laughs> uh, Cam hit a milestone in my Zelda character last night. Managed to get the knight that has the dragon prayer book killed. Waiting. Oh, lightning Zelda. arrows, yeah, for From Zelda. From beyond the fog, I am Melina. From beyond the fog? The fog? The shrouded shadowlands? <laughs> Managed to get Margaret wrecked without a summon first. Me? What? Nice. Aditya! Ba 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 bonfire! Well, at least I can press some buttons. Hell yeah, you're not too sick to button. <gasps> but on a... Thank you for the tier three, Aditya. Thank you for the 61 ones. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, ooh, voice actor guest biscuit. Oh, that's cool. I got my tickets for the dark room. I'm so excited for that. A little deer, a little deer. Oh, I would never kill a little deer, Craig. Never. To aid you in your search for the Elven Ring. Yeah, I don't know about. I don't know about Melina. I don't know. 
Uh, we booked a holiday for the week after, about two days before it dropped. <gasps> if it helps, Malectris, I'm going to TwitchCon the week after. Literally the weekend after. So it comes out on the Friday and like the following weekend, I'm at TwitchCon. So I'm the same. <laughs> I accept. Uh, basically was ill last week. Really put mental health week. Cancel plans for Saturday and bodies decided to be ill. With this free time. That's always the way when you have time off. I bequeath to if you're gonna get ill, it's gonna be on your time off, right? Not when you could have time off work. Torrent time! Hi, Mike. Good morning. To traverse great distances. Lightning spells, lightning arrows, rapier, golden fire. I did that in Dark Souls Three. Did I ever tell you about that? Torrent has chosen. Had a, a Hyrule Warrior Zelda build. Treat him with respect. For some reason, I thought ER would be lower in price, but it's sixty years. Oh, do you know what it is? It's gone up. It's gone up, Mick. It's definitely gone up when the DLC was announced. Definitely, you can get a package that comes with the DLC and the game. Um, I think that might be worth looking into. Does the grace look similar to humanity? Yeah, it is like a little um, like a little sprite. Yeah. What if Melina is Mikola? Uh no. <laughs> Hi, Tang! Spiral! All aboard, everyone. The train is uh, accepting heckin' passengers. Thank you for the 500 bears. Thank you. Oh my god, the wait, it's already at level 3? Probably from all those flipping, from that flipping tier 3. That's what it is. And the gift subs and the ah, thank you guys. <laughs> You guys want to board the train? Be my guest. It's got first class for all y'all. First class, you get a little cushion to sit on. <laughs> and a free bottle of Prosecco. Um, I don't think Melina is Mikola. No, I don't think so. Uh, I like how alive Elden Ring feels in comparison to Dark Souls. Well, mm, Dark Souls is, is very much about death. <laughs> Uh, okay, I don't have enough. I don't have any runes. I've got zero runes. So we're heading straight for uh, the butt slam. Let's heck and do it. Yeah, memory of grace. Yeah, like a little little sprite boy. The opposite eye to Rani is closed here. But Rani's like little ghost face matches. What about how Melina's like tattoo is very draconic looking? It's a very draconic looking eye tattoo, isn't it? Well, it's not a tattoo, it could be like a burn. A dragon burn, I don't know. <laughs> uh, now that I'm not dating that person anymore, my plans I had for the last weekend of June's been cancelled. <gasps> so I might go to TwitchCon? I like that optimism, I like that silver lining. Is Mikola the dra No! <laughs> no. What? Lurking, but good hecking morning, Rachel and chat right away. Good hecking morning, Wart Animal. Thank you for the fix. Thank you very much. <gasps> but! Oh. It's night time. <laughs> but. But! <laughs> Thank you for the but, Echo. Well, that's a good but. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the butt. Oh, it's all, it's raining gold. It's so pretty. No, so that's Mesmer. There is, there is theory that Mikola is Mesmer in the same way that Madoka is Radigan. But I think it's, I think Mesmer is Madoka and Radigan's unwanted child. I think I think he's Mikla's um, sibling, brother. When did Twitch add this thing of raining emotes and stuff? Oh, that's um. So that's not like built in Aditya. That's like the Twitch integrated alerts. So I literally only use it for the hype train confetti, and uh, you get two extra animated emotes for using Twitch alerts. But I just use the hype train. <laughs> I like that for Dark Souls, but Elden Ring. It's such a nice difference. Yeah, the two games feel like so succinct, right? We actually we don't actually know what Rani looks like. We see her, yeah, her toasted husk. <laughs> yeah, we just assume she, well, we know she's ginger and probably looks a bit like Renala. Um, wait, hang on, no, Renala, right. So, hang on. Wait, so if 
Mikola is Mesmer's oh. brother. That's <laughs> half, they're half brothers because train butt. <gasps> mage train butt mage butt. Thank you all aboard. There is there is a wee trolley that's got sweets. You're not allowed to take the lot though because it's got to go around everyone. Um, yeah, so they'd be half brothers because Radigan, Radigan and Renala, they they made no. Hang on. No, Marika. Wait, hang on. I'm getting my flipping families mixed up. <laughs> Ham buddy, what's a butt for? Slamming. What's a butt for? I don't know. What's a butt for you? I don't know. <laughs> it's for slamming, slamming, jamming. <laughs> Thank you for the sub, Ham buddy. Thank you for the 22 months, Ham buddy. Hey, Mesmer is the centipede demon. No, right, that has legs. <laughs> I like shocked myself. <laughs> Don't give me that, Stevie. That was funny. That was funny, man. <laughs> Noodle, you heckin' goodle. Wait, is that it? I think that's it there. That's that's the butt slam. Right, okay, so. We need a little bit of help for how to get this. Yeah, Ranig and Manala, they made Rani, Rai, Rai card, and Radan. Okay? Now, Mikola Melania and possibly Mesmer is my theory, they came from Marika and Radigan. So, Rani and, oh no, so yeah, so Mikola and Mesmer would be brothers, in in my theory, but Rani would be half, half sister. Noodle, I, I'm my own grandfather? <laughs> okay, I need a rune bear. This is my only th thing that I can think of to do this, if we get a rune bear uh, to come with me. There he is, okay, so. Wow, you can go right up to him, huh? Come on, pal. I need your help. Oh, oh, too much help, too much help. Come on. He's, he's gotten a bit distracted. Hello, Verisite. She, her. I don't think that's really how you use pronouns. Owen! Owen, I think I was like, I thought hello to you in my head, but I don't think I said it out loud. Oh, okay, right, here he comes, here he comes. Here he comes, right, okay, come on. Where'd the bear go? The, no! It's gonna disappear. Oh, no. Okay, we need to like, like, sort of tease it all the way down. I think it's gone, I think it disappeared. Yeah, it's gone. Okay, but like this has legs. There's legs everywhere. Hi, whiskey. I'm gonna die. Uh, let's just go get the grace. Let's go get the grace. Ow. Uh, if Radigan is Marika, how'd they have kids together? Yes. Yes. Uh, what's so insane? What's so insane? Happy Monday. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. You came in when I made that Karakin joke. That's what it is. <laughs> That's what it was. Uh, yeah, the names overlap so much. It's because they all start with G and R and M, which is, yeah, it makes it more confusing. I get this Ash of War every run. It's great for killing birds. Oh my God, butt slamming on the birds. <laughs> Marika and Godfrey had Morgoth and Moog, right? Why were they, why did they come out omens? Hi, Crystal as well, hello. Oh, she is a god, yeah, yeah. I thought the bear growling was my stomach. <laughs> yeah, Marika and Godfrey made, wait. They made Godwin and Godric as well? How come two of them came out normal and two of them came out omens? Ask your pe- <laughs> And potentially God of Froy. Yeah. 
Hi, friends! It's almost like G.R.R. Martin had some sway on naming the characters. <laughs> I like the theory of the omens being throwbacks to the first tree and the crucible. I haven't really looked into the omens at all. Tian saying omens are humans with horns. Yeah, but they're like, yeah, they're human-like, but they're definitely like very different proportions to, say, like, Godric. Oh, he isn't Godfrey and Merica's son. Uh-huh. Okay. So he could be God of Freud's son. We must ask Vati. We must. Right, you. Come on. You got this. I believe in you. Let's go. So we need to, like, proper, like, slowly tease him around. Oh, I forgot they could break the trees. It's so good. I hope we get loads of, like, rune bear, uh, like, spells. I thought there was more little demi-humans here. Okay, come round. Morgoth has fairly human proportions, but he's boss sized. Well, I guess so is Godric, actually. He's got like big old feet. Yeah. This is hurting me. All right, come on. No! It got away again! Okay, the bear is maybe just too- maybe we get one of the demi-humans instead. Like, the bear is too unpredictable. <laughs> Thank you for the train! Oh, I didn't get an emote this time, but maybe next time. All good, all good. I don't think Godric was the son of Marika. He's described as a weak sauce descendant. That's funny. Yeah, I don't know about Godric. I don't know. The fact that the names start with G and R and M has a small part in putting me off being fully invested, really? I mean, you don't have to. You definitely don't have to care about the story. The gameplay, like, speaks for itself. Thank you for the follow. Thank you. Um, What if the big, buddily other omens is because they're eunuchs? I don't know. Morgoth loses his horns when he does. <gasps> he does. He's just a little, little husk thing. Because they don't want them reproducing. Maybe. Yeah, they're definitely hated. Like, the omens are definitely, like, sort of scorned. They're blasphemous, right? It's like a blasphemous kind of thing. Right, we got some ads starting shortly. Thank you for watching them. It helps support the show. And if you can't see them, you're supporting even more, which is great. Uh, Nefeli Lu is Godfrey's descendant. Because he's... He's Hodalu. Godfrey, not Godric. Morgoth after you defeat him. Yeah! Oh, I need to like pay attention to that this time around. Uh, Godifroy might have been an experiment of Godric's. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, possibly. <gasps> Hello, Bunny Aoife! I'm here for the butt stuff! <laughs> We're here for the butt stuff? Annoying that Morgoth and Moog are Godfrey's and not Radigan's when the other M's are Radigan's and Godfrey's descendants are G's. Oh, she's a descendant of Godric. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, right. Come on, guys. Come on. We're going to go for this little... Come on. Come on. I know. I believe in you. Come on. Come on. I don't know if they'll follow me. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So it's nighttime, so they're doing more damage. We're here for the cult stuff. And not a move. Thank you for the gift sub! Aoife, enjoy your sub! Now you don't have to watch ads! Let's go! <laughs> Thank you, Anonymous. <gasps> hey, Paybox! Yeah, the, the bot-only run hasn't even started yet because I need to get the flipping Ash of War. <laughs> I haven't even got it yet. I'm just assuming it's this Scarab, by the way. I just know that it's in the Mistwood. Um, I think they are not going to come up here. We need to get the ones that are closer. Uh, so I'm trying to get someone else to kill it for me. And that's actually been quite difficult. <laughs> Royal bloodlines are so inbred and confusing. Elden Ring doesn't need to be this true to reality. I mean, flippin', just look at flippin'. You can tell that George R. R. Martin wrote it, right? Or helped write it. Right, come on, we're going up here. Come on, guys. Come on, that's right, we're going up here. I didn't realise there was some already on the cliff. Oh, I could have just got them. Come on, I believe in yous. Just kill this guy. Nah, nah, that, nah, that's not a challenge. 
We're killing- we're not killing anything with our hands, we're killing everything with our butts. Elden Ring is Alabama. <laughs> right, come on. I wonder if I can like- can I chase it to go towards them? Like if I chase it this way. <gasps> Wait! They- wait! He, right, okay, I don't know if you saw that, but like that should have definitely hit the scarab, right? That was- do you think it- it missed it? Do you think it missed it or is it just like... They should be able to- there should be friendly fire. I'm pretty sure. That was definitely closer than with the bear. I could get rejection and push it towards a cliff? Uh, I need runes to do that. <laughs> hey Sam! We're trying but only. I can't even get the bloody Ash of War though. I was really hoping I wouldn't have to do New Game Plus because I feel like New Game Plus like challenge runs are not the same. Because I've already got like loads of health and, and stuff. Yeah, we could go grave robbing, get some runes. Can you get rejection? Like right, is that one of the first things you can buy from him? It is, isn't it? It would have to be a big cliff. It was a bit, okay, so if it was a bit off, then. Wait, we could save and quit. Yeah, I mean, it's probably about the same amount of time just to run down there. <laughs> There's the ads. No one likes them. <laughs> uh, Game of Thrones is, yeah, so a lot of like weird, like sort of family lines in Game of Thrones, but not like this. Right, guys, come on. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Right. We're gonna chase you. Chase you over here. <gasps> okay, confirmed. Confirmed. They can't hit it. That was dead on. That was dead on. And yeah, can't hit it. Right, okay. Well, uh, then I can't do it. I'm just gonna have to use a flipping sword because... Um, Pushing it off a cliff and letting it die to gravity is just as like, like it's still dying by my hand. So I may as well just hit it with a sword. It <laughs> doesn't matter. <gasps> yes, the ash where you, you squish people with your butt. <laughs> yes. Uh, the ad descriptions are AI generated. They are, yeah. It's good in it. Right, so what's, what's it say? <gasps> Newscast update from Don't Rage Quits Elden Ring stream. Chats deep diving into Elden Ring allure, spinning theories faster than a golden halberd. <sighs> Run void! Run void! <laughs> Morgoth's horns and Melanus mysteries are hotter topics than a fire giant sauna. Wait, it knows that fire giant is in Elden Ring. Hell yeah. Uh, meanwhile, Rach is gearing up for a butt slamming good time with just 116 days until the DLC drops. <gasps> e! Uh, the hype train is full steam ahead. Choo choo. Keep those theories coming and stay cheeky, folks. Stay cheeky! <gasps> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, reset run. Reset run. Yeah, you didn't see anything. No, da, 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 da. Yeah, we could have done the gravity thing, but in my opinion, Killing it with rejection and killing it with a sword, the... Yeah. We got the Ash of War, it was the first thing we did. We haven't killed anything else, so... I did watch Fatty's video! I did! It's so good! The bot is unironically my favourite use of LLMs I've ever seen. What's LLM? Yeah, each run you get one free kill. Exactly. Thank you for all of this support. This outpouring of support. Where am I? I have run oh, over here, okay, right. So we need to put this on a weapon. My idea was to get like a Kestis, like a fist weapon, um, because that would be like fast, right? Oh, large language mod. Oh, AI, got you, okay. It's good, isn't it? It's using it for good and not for evil. <laughs> Evie has all the jokes. Where can I get a Kestis? I guess to start, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter what I put it on, I just need to put it on anything. I can put it on my sword. Limited liability monkey shiny shines. What's a monkey shine? So, I don't know if Thingy, uh, 
a thing he sells. He sells a few weapons, doesn't he? Kali. I the best bit about these Elden Ring challenge runs is I've done no research, and I love just like we figured it out together. You are not Rena. I am skipping dialogue. I'm so sorry. A shiny monkey. Yes, I can call the spectral teeth. So she introduces herself as Rena, not because she is Rena. She's actually Rani. But Rena, I reckon, was the name of the witch that she based her like doll off of. Forgive mine and true. I doubt we shall. How long will it be? Oh, from Stormvale. Okay. Before the tarnish. So we can just put it on anything. Um. Ideally, something that would be easy to level up. <laughs> Look at his nose, man. <laughs> um. Tell me this, right? You know, um. Somber stone weapons. So somber stone weapons are easier to level than smithing stone weapons. Much easier. But I think most somber weapons, you can't change the ash of war. That's the whole point that makes them somber weapons, right? So we're only going to be able to use smithing stone weapons, if I'm not mistaken. Unless there's some that you can change. Excuse me. Well, I'm not sure, though. Um... But yeah, if we can't get the castles until Stormvale, then that's fine. <gasps> Need to watch more of Vati. I mainly watch Sully. Both good. Both very good. Look why I'm at lubed mammaries. <sighs> Cozy. She's cosplaying? Yeah, she like modeled her like her her current doll body after her, yeah. I was looking through Casper David Frederick's paintings recently and started wondering how much he inspired this game. Oh, is that what they have they cited that he was an inspiration? Nose only? Right, that comes next, Sam. The famous example is the traveller above the sea of fog. <gasps> that he compares the view of Ligarnia. Oh, I know exactly what you mean. I mean, I don't know the picture, but I know you mean like the, um, like on the cliff with like the, the building in the background and then like all the flipping, the mist over the swamp and yeah. I think all the somber ones are all preset. You can't change the Ash of War. Perfect. Okay, so. Uh, we need to get... We just put it on this sword then. Just put it on this. <laughs> Made a video about getting... Normal smithing stones. You can get plus 20. Oh my god, link me up. Link me up. That would be amazing, Alexis. Uh, the butt... So, the butt... So, Ash of War. They scale with how high your weapon is, yeah. Some of them scale with stats as well, because we found that when we did um, the Lightning Ram run, that was scaling with dex and scaling with faith, but it scaled more with dex, which was odd. I think it was... Oh, I think it's because of the weapon that I put it on. That's what it was. It's because of the type of weapon that I put it on, so we have to think about that. Ooh. Yeah, I think probably Strength Kestis should be good. But uh okay, so we need to we need to get something to actually put this on. So we need to get the round table. Uh earliest way of unlocking the round table is that just going around the back of Stormville Castle? Maybe? <gasps> Thanks, pal! I'm gonna oh, I'm gonna heavily rely on that. <laughs> Is there a somber weapon with the butt bounce? No, I don't think so, no. Uh, if you look through his other paintings, there's a lot of paintings that have inspired areas in the game. And he has a bunch of paintings called... <gasps> Eldena! No! Of a monastery. Which looks like the ruin with Kali. Oh my god, that's amazing. I must admit, I don't really look at like... I don't look at fine art, really. I don't, I don't, I'm not very familiar. Wait, the teleport chest to Caleb. No, thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. You think I've got balls? No, I've only got butts. <laughs> I hate when my- Oh my god! Flippin' Helpful Evie is listening to me. I hate when my balls get stuck as well. It happens all the time. Wait, what's this wolf doing here? I can't kill it. I can't kill it because I don't have my butt. <laughs> I don't have my butt. Ugh. <sighs> Oh, I like romantic art. Oh, I think yeah, I like it. I just don't really like seek it out, I guess. But if it's all Elden Ring inspired, then or sorry, if it's inspired Elden Ring, then I'm interested. <laughs> Guys, I was looking at display. Does anyone have a a display? Because um, the one that Vati linked in his Shadow of the Air Tree 
video is like not romantic like that. I mean like beautiful like beautiful scenes in that. That's what I assumed you meant. <sighs> Didn't think you meant like adult art. <laughs> That's not romantic. Um I have one so right, I was looking at the one that's um the one that he's put put up in his shadow the so it's like it he was on about how it can hang this way or it can hang like that way upside down. And he was like, because of the way that display works, it's like magnets. So I was gonna ask, um nice Ola, nice, nice. <laughs> I was hoping you could help me with these nuts. Thank you. Um, how do you fix it to the wall? Um, because is it like command strips? Because if it's like command strips, that's perfect. And I think I'm going to get one because I really, really like that tree one that he's linked with the city underneath it. I love it. Uh, Addy, you've got an Elden Ring one. Thinking of getting the Irithiel one. Oh my God, nice. But slime scales with strength. Nice. Okay, my, my instincts were correct. But we'll probably go. We'll need. We'll definitely need a lot of health and FP. Ham loves hentai. Oh, for goodness sake. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with liking hentai. It's art. <laughs> oh, oh, romantic is an Ida. It's like the name of an Ida. Oh. Oh, see, I'm not familiar. Command strips are so useful, especially when you're renting. Yeah, or if you're like me and you change your mind every like year or so. Um, but he mentioned he mentioned that it was like magnets, or something. It's adhesive, so it's like command strips. Yeah, there's a sticker that you stick to the wall, and on this sticker you put the magnet. To determine. Ooh. The Elden Ring Ooh, so you, ooh. so you could have one display and then be like, I think I'm going to put a different one up today and then like put another one up. Oh, I quite like that. I was thinking I have this like space here that's like above my PC. And it's got this perfect little space for like a little thing. Hi, Abs. Hold on to your butts. I'm trying. round table hold. Gathering place of tarnished champions. Guided by grace. Sounds good, let's go. <gasps> Ocean man, well. take me by the hand. hand take me to the me. round table. A <laughs> it's paintings of natural scenes idealized rather than realistic. Yeah. I was well, I was right without real it's also hentai. <laughs> Are we doing abs? Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're attempting to beat Elden Ring with just my butt. I haven't even killed anything yet, so <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Ocean butt, take me by the butt. There's Rodrika, she's there already because we went to Liarnia. Uh, right, so I don't know if we need the whetstone knife, don't think so. Don't think so. Velcro is good as well. Yeah, I got some like cheap command strips for, I've got like a few like sort of, um, I don't know what to call them, picture collages. So I got some cheap ones there, literally just Velcro. It was too heavy for command, but Velcro has held it on the wall. Oh! Let's get smithing. Let's get smithing. <laughs> Displays are perfect if you often change your mind because you can just change the display. And the magnet stays, yeah, because, so see with, um command strips and, and the velcro strips like you have one half on the picture and the other half on the wall so you'd have to like if you wanted to put a different picture up you'd have to get a whole new command strip and then get the like half of the velcro for it to go on the new picture it's another monday so it's kind of work day for me <gasps> well i hope it's fast and easy and you bring home the bacon <laughs> Oh, they're, oh, they're, oh, I didn't actually think to check the actual web. I'll be honest, I was like, oh, that sounds cool. I'll ask stream about it, but I could have just looked it up. <laughs> I could have. Um, but I didn't really like, I don't know. I wanted to see what you guys said about them, you know? Because it's one of those things where it's like, you see, like, Vati gets sponsored by them a lot. So you can when it when it's like the fourth time or whatever that you've heard about it you kind of go oh actually maybe i do want one of these do you know what i mean yeah 
Uh, hey, Gil, hello. You can switch the Ash of War at bonfires. If you, wait, is that if you have the knife? Oh, that's what it is. Oh, well, I'll just pick up the knife then. Uh, okay, if we make it heavy, it's gonna scale more from strength, which is not gonna be good. Hang on. It's marginally less good. <laughs> I think it'll be good in the long run, but not so good right now. Uh, so we're just gonna keep it as it is. Right, so now we have the ground slam. I like them, but they're pricey. <gasps> oh no, I didn't even think about the price. Ooh. <laughs> Can you maybe level a colossal weapon and upgrade it to golden slam? Wait, what? There's wait, what's golden slam? Is that like a wait? Hang on. Is that is there another flipping butt slam? <gasps> there is. It's an alt. Oh my god. Wait, does it do like lightning or holy? It's the one that the air tree avatars do. Oh my god. Yes, absolutely. Wait, and then that sends like golden shock waves. Absolutely, crystal rose. Absolutely. Wait, why does that have to be a colossal weapon? Is that the only thing you can put that on? Uh... Oh, it can be applied to the following categories. Oh no, it's got loads. Daggers, straight swords, great swords, colossal swords, curved swords, curved great swords, katanas, twin blades, thrusting swords, heavy thrusting swords, <laughs> hammers, great hammers, axes, great axes, flails, spears, great spears, halberds, reapers, fists, claws, whips, colossal weapons. <laughs> That's the proper smooth attack. Yeah, definitely gonna get that. Yeah, we'll start off with just the ground slam and then we will get the golden slam. Yeah. Did you know they're adding eight new weapon types with the DLC? How? Oh, six! Oh, six! Okay, I, I had in my head eight. Yeah, D mate. Yeah. Uh, oh, does he get sponsored or does he promote it because it's his own designs and he makes money from that? It's, uh, I'm not, uh, I'm not 100%. I think he must make a commission. He must make a commission. I'm not 100% though. I haven't looked into it. <laughs> Isn't that what the golden tree avatar does? Yeah, okay, right, that's that's the plan. That's the plan. The ash scales with strength. You don't worry about the weapon damage, just the scaling. Okay, when we were doing lightning ram, the weapon, I wanna say affinity, did change it, didn't it? Did we not have a proper like respec session, like try it out, didn't we? Or does the weapon only affect? No, I think the weapon does affect the damage. I think it does. Cause I'm pretty sure there was a reason why I had whatever it was that I had for a lightning ram. Yeah, but that's the fun part. We get to test stuff out. Yeah, okay. Now I have the butt slam. We can go and start like killing stuff with it, right? Uh, so, I'm gonna go just for like the flipping easiest boss in the game, just to start out, just to sort of get a feel for it. I've never used this Ash of War before. I'm excited. Uh, does Ashes have different scaling than the weapon it's on? Oh, I'm not sure. <laughs> All I've got to go by is when we did Lightning Ram, we did some testing around having Dex and having Faith, and it worked out that Dex was higher, but that's because my weapon was. It was. What did I have it on? I had it on a dex weapon. I can't remember what weapon I had it on. I could load him up and have a look. <laughs> Wait, hang on, let's flip it just, uh, I'll take a minute. <laughs> uh, does pine resin or grease change it? No, I don't, th I don't think so. It would, no, that would add damage to the weapon. But we're not using the weapon, we're using the uh, Ash of War. Blade Whip. Oh, I'm actually covering it. I'm actually covering it. Does it matter? Not really. Yeah, this, um, he's using Ki uh, Urumi. That was it. Urumi, because it has an S scaling on Dex. So, yeah, the weapon did make a difference. I'm sure I looked this up. Oh, yeah, also I had Commander Standard. <gasps> we might have to get that for Butt Slam as well. Oh, oh, we're gonna have to kill Alexander. Oh no. But yeah, this is Rulby. He was a great time. He's level, he's 
80 hours in because he was once Bobby. But yeah, Rumi, well, well remembered. Gluteus Maximus. <laughs> Uh, if you plan on buying more displays, I'd recommend the Display Club because you get one free- <gasps> One free a year?! Oh no, that's dangerous. Display Club? Like a subscription? That's cool. Yeah, I definitely think I'm going to look into them. I loved that, um, the like, Air Tree City one. That was cool. Uh, looking at Warhammer now. I'm sorry, Biscuit! It's going to be really hard for me. Can I like disable the R1 button? Because it's going to be really hard for me to not press R1. <laughs> okay. Okay, it does lots of damage. Kind of. But the delay. Oh my god, it does so much damage. The flipping AoE. So you can have a direct hit. And then also the shockwave is pretty big. And it seems like I kind of have iframes when I'm in the air. You get hyper armor? I could I could bind it to R1, yeah, because that would be like, <laughs> that would be easier for my tiny pea brain. Okay, I'm out of uh thingy now. So I think it'll still work, but it won't do nearly as much damage. Oh, it doesn't have a, a slam when you have no mana. And you can be hit when you're in the air, because I just got hit. The mana cost is... Yeah, it's not terrible. I wish it was less. We'll get some talismans for that, though. I love how big the shockwave is, because I don't have to be too crazy with my aiming. Yeah. Can you put it on a shield? Ooh. I'm assuming not, because it's an offensive thing. Let's have a wee look. Hi, Andy. We butt slamming. Uh, can go on melee armaments. So no, that would have been good. <laughs> um, okay. Don't think we have enough mana. I think we're gonna need more mana. <laughs> yeah, it's melee. Yeah, good idea though. Oh, uh, this way. You can melee with a shield. Yeah, but it's not a melee armament. It's a defensive... Uh, defensive... Bin lid. <laughs> Everything's getting clapped by them cheeks. Do I have strength here? Oh, yeah! Yeah, let's get that. Yeah, get all the strength. And the talisman and... What? Ooh, that's fun. What kind of talisman? So, obviously, Shard of Alexander kind of has to be the first thing that we go and get. So... Hmm. Captain America. <laughs> but he uses it as a shield. Three should be enough, eh? Depends how much damage it does. Let's go four, for good measure. <laughs> I got an ass that don't quit. Thank you, Daniel. I agree. <laughs> Sa sanguinius. Wait. But you, I, that's un, biscuit. That's unacceptable. You should, you should complain. Don't ask quit. Quit your ass in a minute. Okay, I do need to get used to how uh, long it takes to wind up. A hundred and sixteen damage. Can you imagine me doing this? Oh, that was one hundred ninety-seven. Dude, I'm gonna flip and kill Melania with just my arse. Yeah, this is uh, this is actually not gonna be, not gonna be easy. It's a bit quicker than lightning ram. Yeah, we have to like aim it so that I land on him and it does more damage. <laughs> it seems to have quite high stagger though, but he's just like a little beast man. So yeah, I think it definitely does more damage for a direct hit. Ooh, and I can sort of jump over stuff. 
I'm getting hit quite a lot here, though. <laughs> it's really funny. I am taking a lot of damage. Uh, gonna need to get the... Uh, so I'm gonna health... Uh, yeah, I'm taking a lot because I'm like... Getting used to how long it takes to cast. Uh, interesting. No bother, Melectus. Hi, Matt. Welcome. Wait, tear and bot? Tear and... Oh, tear? Tear? <laughs> Hi, Yaksha. Could you do Steve Rogers running Elden Ring just using a shield for everything? Yeah, you could. Of course you could. You could do shield only. If you eat cake, does it increase the butt slam power? Yes. <laughs> Ooh, caddy and filigree. Yes. That's from EG. Is it not like 10k or something? No. We have 1924. Yay. Yeah, the stagger is good. It's a long cast time. I'm getting hit a lot because I'm like, it's hard to aim. So, um, the character's name is Gluteus Maximus. He is uh, one of Max's brothers. He has a beak also. And, uh,. He's not afraid to use it. Oh. <laughs> Get that man a shield. Uh, ooh, and we definitely need to level FP. Wait, right, here's the whetstone knife. Uh, so. Strength not crystal tier is a good idea. Is it there or there? I think it's there. Yeah, you can call him Glitty or just Max. <laughs> but that could get confusing with other Max. And then they got the man some weird gauntlets. I said, get this man a gauntlet. 5k. Hmm. You, oh, you need to join Rani first or get the click gesture from Callie and help Blythe kill Dadawil. Ah, okay, we can, yeah, we can do Dadawil. That's easy. Blythe can do that by himself. Yeah, oh, nice. Thank you, Pumax. Gluteus will be serving his Maximus. Oh, uh, you know it. Yeah. <laughs> Confusing in Elden Ring. <laughs> I know. It's left a phone message with an online retailer. Wait, they have something for sale that was three pound and you can get it for a thousand? Oh, did they add like more zeros? They added too many zeros. Three too many. Hey, Disturbia, how's work? Ooh, I can get a level. I think, I think I'm gonna hold off and get that FP thing though. Um. Oh, Physic, Physic, that's what I was doing. Physic, Physic, Physic. Strength and it's not a charge attack. Stamina? Uh, let's just put a heal in, I think. Can use it as a heal. Okay, 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 right. Uh, Blythe. Blythe, we already heard the howling from when we got the Ash of War. I think they mean a pound, yeah. <laughs> the Godfrey icon. Adds 15% to charge attack. Nah, it's not a charge attack, no. My keyboard doubles up on the S a lot, but that is ridiculous. Oh, the, oh, the 1,000, yeah. I can't believe they got rid of Kali's quest line. It's linked to the flipping for Frenzied Flame. <coughs> that would have been so good. Right, so we got Finger Snap. Wait, hang on, what's recommending? Oh, he's gonna be like, I recommend that you buy a crafting kit. You know, if you can spare the means, you should buy yourself a crafting kit. A crafting kit allows Called it. essential. The kit and they the say the Elden Ring doesn't have a tutorial. We should probably buy that. Although I can buy it anytime, I'll just come back and get it. <laughs> Thanks, Nebby. Oh, and Eric. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Okay, so we got the finger click, so we need to go back here to fight Blythe. One of the Virtua Fighter characters had a couple butt attacks. <gasps> Do you remember their name, Matt? Uh, Sketchy really want to play a Soulsborne game, but it's hard to pick up Elden Ring again after getting the Platinum. 
Well, aren't you lucky the DLC is coming out in just 116 days? If that isn't a good enough reason to replay it, I don't know what is. Whole new character, trying out some weapons or maybe some like magic that you never tried the first time. And then get ready for the DLC because you won't need to be in like New Game Plus or that. Yeah, go on. Treat yourself. A pain in the gluteus maximus. He's in so much pain. <laughs> snap. Where'd that snap? There, okay. <gasps> Hello, tall wolf man. <sighs> yeah, Callie had a quest line. Yeah, it's like it's um. I watched Vati's uh, video on the frenzied flame ending, and uh, they had a whole thing where like the merchants were all like, it explains why you find them all in the the heckin the bit just before the three fingers because they were like locked away under the sewers like crazy. I wouldn't call myself an Elden Ring tutorial, Andy. There's... Uh, the, uh. You could play Dark Souls, though. Yeah, true. You could play Dark Souls. Dark Souls is great. <laughs> How to ring? I actually have been doing some Elden Ring walkthroughs on my How to Souls channel, if you guys are interested. Didn't they have to add a message in the patch because people were ignoring the tutorial hole, yeah? <laughs> They didn't trust it. Code Vein is good, yeah. Yeah. I just think, why not just play Elden Ring again, though? <laughs> Can you beat it with only holy damage? Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, maybe not a bad idea to play a game and not care about the trophies? Yeah. Why can't we marry Blythe? No offense, Rani. Because of the sad story where, like, the whole time... We we thought that Blythe was Rani's like shadow, but it's actually us. It's actually us the whole time. Uh, Fear plans on doing a frenzied build going into the DLC. <gasps> There's not many frenzied weapons or spells, there, but the couple that are like this, like the eye flipping lasers are pretty cool, right? <laughs> we need a quest line to save EG. EG's fate is bound to. Wait, hang on. Who who sent the flippin' black knives after Blythe and EG? I don't want to think it's Rani. I really don't want to think it's Rani. This is always such a long run. <laughs> Hi, Skunk. Oh, it's a hard life, isn't it? <laughs> My first ever Souls like, I loved it. Yeah, Code Vein is really good. Up until Lies of P, in my opinion, Code Vein was the best Souls like. Um, but Lies of P is 100% the best Souls like. It's so good. I'm just glad I never started caring about trophies and achievements. So I, right, fun fact, before I started streaming, uh, I was massively into like trophies and that. Super, like I would, to the point where I like wouldn't play a game if I couldn't get all the trophies in it. And like the day that that changed was the day I was like, I kind of want to try uh, Elder Scrolls Online. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I cannot get these trophies. <coughs> but um, yeah, I genuinely was like, I'd like look back at like the oldest games and be like, I need to get the trophies for this. It got me into like like really getting the souls ones actually. Just loved getting trophies. Um I love Vike's gear. Yeah, oh yeah, Vike as well! Like Vike's whole quest line. Fingerprint shield! Yeah, we just got that on uh, Evie is gonna beat Melania. She's gonna, she's gonna. We just got that on Evie's character. I think it was Jeffrey. Mm, okay, I'm not gonna call this character Jeffrey, because he's Max, but. Oh, the two fingers sent the assassins. That makes sense. Lies of P is amazing. Better than Dark Souls. No, I said it was best Souls-like. Dark Souls is a Souls game, not Souls-like. <laughs> no, of course not. Wait, what? I'd love to plot one and three, but two is a skip. You say that to my face. You say that to my face. Right. The platinum for Dark Souls 3 is so much more painful than the platinum for Dark Souls 2. <laughs> 
Actually, they're both pretty painful. Actually, one is one is pretty painful as well. Um, no, two is good. I hate this narrative that people are like, just don't even bother playing it. It's good. It's just, uh, just level adaptability or attunement if you're going magic. Disturbia has zero platinum trophies. Change it. It'll change your life. The three plats are pain. All of the plats are, are, are a pain. Yeah. We were doing so well until you, you, you messed up on the flipping the unloved souls child. <laughs> I mean, the boss, like, the hitboxes are BS. The boss designs are very uninspired. The, you take an elevator up into a lava lake. <laughs> but it's good. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> it's not as bad as... Wait, yeah, the platinum... So if you're playing online, it's easier as well. <gasps> Casual love, sir! Hey! Hey, hey. Welcome in. You lose a little bit of health every time you die in Dark Souls 2. You get it back by using a... a I'm not possessed by Majora's energy. Mask. I'm just crazy for you. Hi, Brad. Still haven't fought four to sacks. Stevie, he's going to be a letdown at this rate. The one plat is painful when all the sorceries one doesn't appear for you. Did you never fix that, Meg? Rach just listing reasons not to like the game as reasons that she likes. No, I'm saying that's it's that, no, I'm I'm saying that's the reasons that it's uh it's kind of pish. It is kind of pish. And I've been doing a Dark Souls 2 walkthrough and I'll be playing the walkthrough and then say god this game's pish. <laughs> like, but it's not though. <laughs> it's not though. Uh, loves, I just recently completed Dark Souls 2. I feel this convo. It's not bad. It's not bad though. But yeah, the lab, the elevator that goes up into a lava lake. I just have, a, have such a problem with it. <laughs> Wait, right. So Steam adding achievements to old emulated games. See, I really thought that the Nintendo Switch was going to have achievements. Uh, heckin' trophies and then it didn't i was gutted <laughs> souvenirs of reprisal yeah yep it's killing the silver knights a mafia mad max the w wait you got the witcher 3 platinum how long did that take frick this guy just got PS ptsd from being bum rushed by 10 sneaky guys that sounds like the forest of fallen giants yeah the, right, the enemy mob density is so off, like, in especially in Scholar of the First Sin. It's like, oh, how do we make this difficult? Just add more guys. No, it's not. It's not. Yeah, it's not the best. It's not the best, but it's not bad. It, is Scholar easier than Vanilla? See, that's the tricky bit. It is in some respects, but it's not in others. Um, They've made a couple areas so much better and then made a couple areas so much worse, <laughs> in my opinion. Dark Souls 2 has lots of personality. Yeah. Yeah. Geography. <laughs> so time is convoluted in Large Ran. Geography is convoluted in Drag Lake. Yeah. <laughs> really got Final Fantasy 7 remake? That must have taken a while as well. No. This is where it ends for you. So Blythe is like super disappointed in Dadawil. Dadawil, like they're both kind of like dog kind of people. They're both kind of doggy. Well, I mean Blythe is kind of daddy, but also kind of doggy. Um, and I think what he thinks is he's, he's like, you're a flippin' bloodhound. You should be loyal. Sorry, this is what Vati told me and I'm taking it as flippin' scripture. So Blythe takes like such offense and he's like, no, nah, Darwell like can't be a prisoner, he has to die. Because we think it's because he betrayed his master. And I'm on board with it. I'm helping! DS2 Iron Keep. Yeah, Iron Keep. That was easy! By the power of my butt! <laughs> oh, it's so good. Wait, so I've been watching someone play Dark Souls 2. He complains so much. He whines about like effigies. I just want to point out that human effigies was a step up from humanity. Humanity was so confusing, right? Because you had to use it. 
you drop it when you die you had to use it to then reverse hollowing at a bonfire you could only do it at a bonfire which obviously respawns all the enemies so you can't just like clear to a boss and then use it you had to like go all the way as a human if you died on the way you had to use another humanity i could go on human effigy was an improvement over humanity and i stand by that anyway and then he uses a homeward bone to move from the mansion cellar to the bonfire <laughs> the first game i platinumed was the wolverine game on ps3 oh my god i'm so excited for a flipping deadpool and wolverine man it has enough personality that i bothered playing through it once <gasps> oh so all oh, right oh no that's fine you have played it that's fine you've played it yeah that's fine i'll let you off sketchy i'll let you off <laughs> Only a hundred hours, Reedy. Oh wow, that's like pocket change. <laughs> There's a theory that the bearer of the curse has a foggy memory of getting to places, so he's like an unreliable narrator. Things like elevators and tunnels and distances are weird. Shoehorned, but okay. I'll I'll play along. Right, Blythe owes this one. So now EG will sell the filigree thing. Filigree thing. I've only got 3.3k. So we have to go grave robbing. We could get the one that's uh, down from the Caled. That's got like an eight and a six, I think. The butt move is so good. It's it's a lot better than I thought it was going to be, actually. Um, but our problem is going to be uh, scaling. Like, we do need it to get higher. So, yeah, it's fun. It's fun to try and figure it out. I'm beating Elden Ring with my booty. The only game I know I could platinum would be the OG Final Fantasy VII. It'll have achievements, yeah. It'll have, yeah, if it's on Steam, it'll have achievements, but it wouldn't have a platinum. Because it's not on the it's on the PS1, isn't it? The power of buttons compels you. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with effigies are good, and you get enough of them, in my opinion. Blythe is all about loyalty, except when you steal his girl doll ward, whatever. No, Blythe goes mental because she killed her two fingers. Yang sniffer sniffer the power of something has been detected the power of my booty <gasps> Got plat on demon souls the world state stuff is such right Okay, so if you did demon souls then all is forgiven because I feel like people sleep on demon souls like so much um One of the best things they added with the remake was like there are coins And if you collect all the coins, I think there was like 18 uh, Then you get a unique armor set in an area that you could never go to uh, in the original. It was really cool. It's this little balcony thing, but um, you get the penetrator's armor set. And it's funny because he's the penetrator and he penetrates. It's funny. Um, but these coins are all hidden in pure white world tendency or pure black world tendency. So I... You have to have a plan for how you're gonna unlock them. It was, aw, uh, it's so... Uh, confusing, it's so hard, but also it was so good. <laughs> it was so good, I loved it. I love Demon's Souls. So good. It took weeks to do, I'm sure. <sighs> Bonfires, bonfire aesthetics. Do you know what I don't like about Dark Souls 2? Enemies despawning after 12 or so kills. I don't like that. But I can see how actually it can be useful. All right, there we go. We got some runes. We may as well pick up this for... Uh, wait, this... Wait, we can kill this ball here and we get 2,000 from that. It's like 1.9 or something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, jumping into a volcano with your mates in the DLC. <laughs> Good times, DLC. There is lots of fun armor in Dark Souls 2 as well. You got butterfly, you got cat feet, you got, yeah. You got the invisible armor set that makes you look naked, yeah. Matt, my playtime is 465 hours. <gasps> For the Witcher 3 Platinum, that's nuts. Impressive. So that should be 5k. 
Yes, nice. Okay, this is going really well, I think. Okay, so lake face and cliffs. We're heading up to EG. Lots of running around at the start of this. Not a lot of killing. Uh, I'd wait with the estimation until you fought some harder bosses. Estimation of what city? My one issue with... Yeah, the human effigy is burning to stop invasions. Yeah, because... Oh, you can get invaded whether you're human or hollow in Dark Souls 2. I don't like that. Do you know what I also don't like? In Elden Ring, you can only be invaded if you're doing co-op. So it's always going to be a two-on-one scenario. I don't like that, but I don't PvP. Uh, the PS4 version of uh, Final Fantasy VII OG has trophies. Uh, try BBK or Margit. Uh, I think I'll try Margit. Uh, <laughs> I'm nervous about Margit. I we well we pro we could yeah. What's BBK? Bearer of the curse. Seek butts. Seek seek great butts. <laughs> Burnt Ivory King can get in the bin. Not for the boss himself, but for the charred Lois Knight before him. Burnt Ivory King, charred Lois Knight. I'm having a moment here. I'm, uh, which one's, wait, burnt? I'm confused. Burnt Ivory King is the last boss of the um, snowy DLC. Having to collect all the knights. I've never used a rune arc, Ole. Oh my god. <sighs> We're butt bashing Grey All. No, absolutely not. No. No, I don't think I have enough flasks for that. No, I don't think we'll ever be able to get Grey All, unfortunately. The Knight Cavalier. Mm hmm. Actually, we do enough, like, stagger. I might be able to knock him off the horse. I needed enemies to despawn in Iron Keep. That is the one place that... Yeah, I agree. Yeah. <laughs> I always used to farm out the enemies. In the area before a lawn. Oh, God. Yeah, okay. Yeah, there's some really bad runbacks that that, that uh, mechanic is uh, a blessing. Yeah. <laughs> Disturbia, I fully support you getting a Steam Deck, by the way. Fully support. We'll get back, my lectures. It, Tien has 2,000 hours in arc and doesn't have all the achievements. <laughs> a lot of the time, like, achievements sometimes in games are for doing stuff that you wouldn't normally do. Like, like I quite like when there's achievements for, like, deliberately do something bad. <laughs> there is an item that makes you available to invasions. The Taunter's Tongue. Yeah, but you're just going to be a ganker then, aren't you? If you use a Taunter's Tongue. <laughs> uh, Rebirth is out on Thursday. And the remake just got a four and a half gig patch. Huh? Maybe, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. The Steam Deck is so expensive in Norway. Oh god, I mean everything is, right? Oh, Black Blade Kindred. Oh, I, pff, I'm not going for that right now. I've, just, I've got like flipping ten Vitality. <laughs> vigor. I've got ten Vigor. You can be invaded. Oh yeah, Taunter's Tongue, yeah. Yeah. But it's like... I like the, you can get invaded if you're human, but also you have more health in like Dark Souls 3 kind of thing. Yeah, it's, yeah. Going to Japan later this year? Oh my God, I'm so jealous. Oh, mate. The internet is saying that it's Tifa's flashback model being updated. Yeah, that's not four and a half game. It might be, it might be that amount of game that they have to patch. It might not be, extra that might just be like how much needs to be patched possibly you should wait with your estimation on how good the butt slam is until you've fought harder bosses oh right yeah i mean it's better than i thought it was going to be is all i meant it's much better than i thought it was going to be <laughs> at the start of the game you have to kill a bunch of the charred lost knights before burnt ivory king will spawn it's harder than the actual boss it's the whole like scenario yeah the like whole um Tracking them all down, yeah. And actually fighting them, yeah. Hi Vicky, my bot is pretty good actually. It's it's it's, it's impressing me. It's, it's impressive, it's an impressive bot. Great crack. 
Oh my god. <laughs> MMO achievements suck. Like 14 has like log at 10,000 trees. Yeah, but like you're going to you're going to play an MMO that much that people who are going to get that platinum, like that's like kiddie numbers to them. I've never done a gathering profession in Final Fantasy 14 except for fishing. I love fishing. Uh, oh, was there a grace? Where's the grace? Oh, it's just here. Michael, I've never used a rune arc either! Oh my god, and I didn't bother parrying with the gun in Bloodborne. I think this makes you guys, like, better than me. Uh, Crystal's going to <gasps> Inverness! In August, hoping I can save for a Steam Deck to take with me. Oh, quality. Holiday. Mm, away from the city. Away from technology. I'll bring my Steam Deck with me. <laughs> fish! Hello, fish! Hello, hello. Wait, your order's on the way. Oh, I bought myself a Pokemon card. <laughs> Just one single card. Hello. 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 My mistress sent me off on an errand. Oh, they probably added some trailers for rebirth. Four and a half gig. Could I ask you lend a hand? Perhaps. Absolutely, Raya. Anything for you. Uh, I like it. Elden Ring. There's no PvP unless you do co-op. Always wish for a second to be online, but don't be invaded. True. True. I'm not good at PvP either, and invasions get me, like, so stressed. <laughs> I guess what they do have in Elden Ring is they have that quest that, like, makes you invade three times to get to Mogwin Palace. Um, so maybe that introduced a few more, like, noob invaders like me, who I just, like, rolled over as, like, just kill me. <laughs> Eric, have a good day at work! Thank you for being here! Uh, yes, Raya, anything for you. Thank you, dearly. Can you just for this playthrough dub over the freak song for, with cult stuff to butt? We're here for the butt stuff. <laughs> yes. I must have the necklace back. I'll get it for you. Don't worry, I'm gonna get it. Fog should be resting at an abandoned home down the way. Down the way. It's up the way. I must have the necklace back. Wait, hang on. I got told that down the way and up the way, um, is a Scottish thing. But Raya is like. She's not Scottish, she's a snake. So it's not a Scottish thing. Uh, but yes, one single card. I didn't manage to get Baby Shiny Raichu from Paldean Fates and I've decided that I'm, I can't buy any more Paldean Fates. So I just bought the single card. It was like 10 pounds. So I was a bit like, oh, for one card, but that's cheaper than buying a lot of packs. So. Uh, lobster. Uh, so I think I made the right choice. Uh, I should do that more often though. I should buy like the singles that I want rather than packs because oh, just buy, I spend. Someone mentioned magic a second ago. I, I buy so many flipping Pokemon cards, man. Oh, I hate them. What the frick, man? There's so many. These could probably one shot me. Let me just drink. Uh, she looks nice! Not a serpent at all! Serpents are nice! She's very nice, serpent. She's very nice. Uh, Ola didn't use a rune arc because none of the great runes helped my magic build in my mind. <gasps> Godrex! Godrex is good for everything! Even if you use a rune arc without a great rune equipped, it still gives you like 10% HP. I'm glad they patched that quest so you can do it offline. Yeah, I'm glad too. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, guys. I hate PvP. I get so, like, nervous. <laughs> I just can't do it. Uh, Don't get me wrong. <laughs> Is it? It's this house here? It's this house here. Yeah. <gasps> Cardboard crack. You got any more of that crack? Yeah, I love it. It's so good. <laughs> Not Scottish. It's Snake. Yeah. Right, Paldean Fates Elite Trainer Box. Right, Craig, do you, do you like Mimic here? It's such a good Mimic here. It's so good. It's so, so good. Right. Look at this, right? 
he's just all bundled up in a cozy heckin' blanket with this granny knitting him a quilt. It's so good. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> and then you get these. And you get these. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> it was not want. It was neat. <laughs> But yeah, Craig, you should. The thing is, because it's a nine pack box, it's 50 pounds. RRP anyway. That's the only thing. Uh, the love heart comes from a woman's bum. Apparently, we just have butt quotes today. 10 pound for an alt art doesn't seem too much. It's, well, it's literally just a, it's not even an alt art. It's the uh, baby shiny, like where it's like, the Pokemon is shiny, like shining. Um, but it's just a normal card. It's not. It's not full art. It's not all art. It's. Uh, I think it. I think it's a bit much, but it's Raichu, so it's not too much for me. It's worth what you want to pay for it, right? I always try and collect all the Raichus, because he's the boy. Uh, Morgoth's helpful. Much more HP. Or Redan for mages. What's Redan's rune do again? Ever thought of doing your own cardboard crack merch like a Bobe? <gasps> The, yeah, I, I have actually, Mick. We have a few designs uh, and I was going to print them. The problem is just exactly that, though, printing. Um, because it costs so much money to get stuff printed that I just... Uh, it was like a, a risk, almost. Like, if nobody wanted them. And obviously having to post them and stuff as well. It's, yeah. It was just, like, it was a great idea and we got some designs made, but logistics and cost and stuff didn't really work out. Like I looked into, you can get like custom, like actual like cards printed and they're like card quality. But uh, it's just loads. Loads on a grand scale. Oh, a jam! <laughs> he is 40! Yesterday's jam. Yes! Yesterday's jam! Oh. That is what we are to them! I am 40. Time for a midlife crisis. Oh, goody. <laughs> Jam, thank you for the sub. Thank you for the tier three. Thank you for the 40 months. <gasps> what a boy. What a boy. Thank you. Much appreciated. Guys, we're going to flip and rock the PPP next month. We're going to rock it. Rock it like a rocker. Let's flip and go. I forgot about Raya. <laughs> Oh, it's fab! It's fab! <laughs> On steroids. Ah. Um, I guess because it's all, uh, it's all percentage based, it's like, it's gonna be good. It's not gonna be like amazing for all builds, but it's always gonna be good for all builds. Should be resting at an abandoned home down the way. The sleeves are useful. Mm -hmm. I must have the necklace. I don't know if I like this. I like the gold sleeves, but they're like silver now. Should be rest at ease. Oh, sugar! I'm such an idiot. I was, <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. I did. I didn't even rest at the grace. What the frick? What was I doing? What were we talking about? Where we were talking about? We were talking about Pokemon cards, and I just everything else went out of my brain. That's so funny. Um. Oh, the thing is though, this is a thousand runes. Actually, this is a thousand runes. Hmm. Oh, we can get more runes, it's fine. Uh, <laughs> Miss Burr! Hey. Hey. Holy butt. It's so quiet. Hey. <laughs> Miss Burr. Exactly. Oh my god, holy butt. Oh my god, when we get Golden Slam, it is holy butts. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you for the sub, Mister. Thank you for the tier two, and thank you for the fifty-nine months. Oh my God! Hello, hello. How are you? Welcome to Elden Ring, but only. How are you doing? <laughs> How are you doing? I could, I could actually sketchy have my own like custom deck. That could be cool. The ass and the two she's make the troll knights go to war. Ah, oh, the mighty trumpet bring the butt slam to the floor. Sla slam into the floor. <laughs> Uh, wait, M. Croft does cardboard crack? Okay, then the, uh, it's not cool now. I'm not going to do it now. <laughs> that 
that's nice. Now I'm never gonna do it. <laughs> Someone else does that, I'm not gonna do it. May the butt be ever in your favor. Thank you, young and you. It's like in church when they say, and bless you and you. <laughs> May the crack be with you. I'm only conscious because there's a leak in our bathroom. Into our kitchen! No, that's not what you want to wake up to. No. No. Maybe me um, killing stuff with my bot will make you feel good. Yes, I want this necklace. You can kill him, right? But we might need the prawns and the crabs from him one day, so. So, yeah. I'm not gonna kill him because we might need his prunes. Uh. Oh yeah, we were talking about invaders as well. Sweaty invaders. If we exchange bows at the start, I know you're usually here to have fun. And as well, like, when you die in Elden Ring, it's not a big deal as well. Really? Because usually you're never that far away from what you, where you need to be. And you have a mount. Yeah. I was laying down to sleep after being up for a few hours and the roommate was like, hey, we have a problem. No! I can tell that lol is like one of those painful lol. <laughs> I hope you get it sorted soon. Oh my god, P box! <laughs> Spank it. Spank it. She does trading cards of her art. You can only get one by finding her at a coin. Oh, Shinner, you didn't tell me about this. Or the giveaway. Oh, that's cool though. That's cool. Um. Never mind then. You are very brave yourself. <sighs> we're very brave, guys. Yeah, we're we're also like completely different channels, though. So just because she does it doesn't mean that I can't do it. Not that I'm gonna do it. Crystal, my bathroom flooded a few weeks ago, and water was coming through the kitchen. We had that one time coming out of the kitchen light, and you're just like, that can't be good. Hopefully, though, that when it's an emergency. You get someone to to come out ASAP. Oh, here's another one that's like, what was this person's name? Bet Davis? I don't even know who Bet Davis is. <laughs> Betty Davidson. <laughs> it's like Andrew Warhol, Andy. Andy Warhol, Andrew Warholy or something. Warhola. <laughs> Volcano Manor. Different channels and very different art styles. Amongst a family of champions. Feeling like my back is getting much better. Oh, we were talking about you earlier, Jam, because everyone's either like ill or injured. I can move without a painkiller cocktail, which is good. Went for a mocha with the lady this morning. How's she doing? It was cute. Went for a wee mocha. I said that to Mike. Um, I was like, I just want you to take me out on a date. I don't care where, just take me out. <laughs> I wish I drank coffee. I just want to go for a coffee, but I don't drink it. See the bit whiskey. Uh, it's a leaky pipe in the bathtub. The bathroom is fine. It's leaking right below where the bathtub sits. I might remit to a shower. Oh, okay, so yeah, I guess just don't use it until you get someone out to go and look at it. Hopefully that's easy fix though, right? Where that card show is in Scotland. Oh, I, I probably can't go. I was looking at it. I wanted to take my um. I wanted to take my little cousin, he's seven, loves Pokemon cards. Uh, it's the weekend of TwitchCon, so I can't go. I am in Rotterdam. Otherwise, yeah, I think I would have gone. I would have definitely taken my wee cuz. Yeah, everything's all happening at the end of June. Flipping the shadow of the air tree. Why they do this to me? Uh, she's good. She's good. I had the feeling it would be something that would be like hard but for the greater good kind of thing. Like you two are now stronger for it I think. Uh, it's flipping foggy is what it is. Where's the grace? Oh there it is. There it is. It has a renewed sense of self-confidence. When I picked her up from the airport, the moment she saw me she cr Oh what? She missed you. That's so cute. That's oh, that's that's a really good sign. That's a really good sign. 
I gotta be honest, like, my first, like, reactions when you told me was, like, are you guys okay? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? But no, that's that sounds really good. I'm looking forward to uh, the achievement night being the ninth now because it means I can go and see June two. Uh, June two on March two. I thought here was where there was. Oh no, it's up a bit. Yeah. The tiles behind our shower leak, which isn't ideal. With the tiles. Getting it sorted soon, hopefully. Yeah, pff, get it sorted. Get it sorted, get it sorted, because you don't want damp. My first flat in Newcastle, we had uh, a toilet leak. Actually, we didn't know about it, to be fair. It must have been leaking for like, well, we think it was the toilet. Um, must have been leaking for like six months, because all of a sudden, we just like, we're walking along the like hallway, the floorboards started squelching. And we were just like, Oh, I might just go up here and grab this just for later. It was originally named Ruth. Ruth Davis. I actually knew a Ruth Davis in a former life. That's funny. I'm happy. I was worried for a while. Oh, no. Like, like I said, I'm, I'm good to hear. Glad to hear. Glad to hear. My 90 pound dog decided to hold me down until I feel better. I'm too tired to fight. Oh my God. <laughs> hey, Titan Skipper. Woo. Are you ready for a very enthusiastic Emma? Woo. Woo. Oh, sorry. I thought I was going to die. Time! Thank you for the prime! And thank you for the four months. Thank you very much. Much appreciate. How are you doing? Welcome to Butt Only. We're just heading up to EG. So we can grab the filigree. Filigree, was it filigree crust? Um, I wonder if Shard of Alexander might be better for Margaret. Obviously after Margaret we'll have the two talisman slots, but... Hmm. Hi, Guyver. Good afternoon. Hello, hello. Uh, oh, you just see June as well, Cam. Not going anywhere near those popcorn holders, though. They look rough. What? Do you, I don't know what you mean. I don't know what you mean. They look great. <laughs> A collector's dream. <laughs> Not the squelching. Yep, yeah, the floor. The wooden floor was squelching and I was like oh no it was such a mess we actually moved because of that it's such like the plumbing is you can't find a good plumber I'll tell you March is the stupid month Final Fantasy Con was in Birmingham this weekend just gone there's a con in Edge Ed Ed Baston Edge Baston and there's Megacon at the NEC and then the weekend after is Insomnia. Bloody hell. <laughs> you say stupid, I say like that sounds fantastic and very expensive. I'm having a good time. I'm having such a good time. I hope it's uh, what's the word? I hope it like rubs off. I hope it rubs off on people. Hope you guys have a good time too. Uh, so, I need, right, we've got the grace. I do need more runes though. Ah, oh, I picked up the the hard runes, the little... Oh, never mind, we're here now. We're here now. Uh, do we know if any UK cinemas are getting them? Asking for a friend. A friend with a disgusting love of popcorn. <laughs> I'm not funny, don't laugh at me. Don't even pity laugh, please. Okay. 5k for EG. Let's go. Uh, Jam, I saw you had hell divers. With Graham, the music gets you so pumped for chaos. It's so fun, right? Was it, was it just the two of you playing? I imagine it'd be quite hard with just two. Did anyone call for a good plumber? Yeah, the Mario Brothers, they would do a better job, honestly, than this guy that we had. I am an old codger reading a massive book. I would like to buy. 
Oh, he's not selling it. Oh, watch out there. When I'm absorbed in my Oh, watch out there. Okay, so the trigger is not Blythe uh killing Dadawa. It's Rani's quest. Oh, but apparently it worked with Blythe. It's okay. It's okay. We'll get Alexander's shard. When the Rhea Lucaria Academy turned after leveling it, Lucarians were taken off guard by conjuring an enchanted that is one <gasps> Still wanna like to the corpses of talk the to him, I'm talking. Of the cuckoo. Uh I spoke with Blythe, yeah, he gives you like a somber stone, yeah. He was showing me the ropes. I had no idea what was going on. We landed, walked two feet, and the git throws a nuke on me for the lols. Mm -hmm. Sure, that was very funny. <laughs> Blythe tells you to go speak to EG. Oh, Blythe sent me! Blythe sent me! Oh, Coley. Perfect. Thanks, guys. If you're friendly with Blythe, I've something else that might suit you. Ah, so this opens up him selling this, just this. <laughs> well, if you like the Wolfman, I have this nice carrion filigree crest, and that's literally it. <laughs> I mean, yes, please, thank you. Yay! Today I learned. Yeah. Cool. Um, advice. Oh, Carrion Manor, yeah, yeah. Whatever you do. He says stay away from Carrion Manor. But that's we need to go through there to get Rani. I love in Shrines and Tears of the Kingdom when you make a completely cursed device that just crawls to the end. The game doesn't care how you do stuff. Yeah. Oh, man. Is this me getting the bug back for more Tears of the Kingdom? It could be. Got it though. I feel like I wanted there to be more shrines. Squirrel! That's me though. That's me. <laughs> okay, right. We have a talisman. It's gonna be a good talisman as well. Um, will we go have a wee go at Margaret? Because we may as well have a wee go. Hi, Bubba! Let's have a wee go. Waiting for your friend to finish an art piece. She's drawn Squiddle Gettle as a Pokemon trainer and making the art look like a card. Aw, Squiddle and Gettle. Wait, there should be a, a, a thing here now. I didn't get the jellyfish from her. It's fine. It's a challenge run. We're not using ashes. It's fine. I am winning, Bubba. I am. The shrines, yeah, the shrines are better. I think, well, they're not. There were a few that had me really, truly frustrated just the ones where it's like oh i'm naked again great <gasps> dumbbell it's a dumbbell yay i get this now also i got your thank you card and sticker thank you rachel shoe blush thank you thank you dumbbell thank you for the tier three thank you for the 14 months i'm glad they arrived so quickly i only posted them on like thursday yeah nice <laughs> Quality. Oh, flip. We have to bum. We have to bum. But. Yeah, take that. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Much appreciated. Welcome to Butt Only Elden Ring. <laughs> uh, wait, Tears of the Kingdom is a game built around the idea. If it's stupid and it works, it's not stupid. <laughs> exactly. Uh, Tien saying the first time going through Caria Manor. I was so scared. I was, so, oh my God, the hands. I had no idea. So I was like, cause people were teasing me in the chat about it. They were like, you should go in there. And I was like, I was like, what's the worst that it could be? I was like, giant spiders. And they were like, <laughs> worse. <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> Either way, you get the success music. You can get the jellyfish from her in the round table hold, but you have to do it before burning the air tree. Okay, we'll get it at some point, just because I love the jellyfish. Yeah, haven't enjoyed the game. Oh, great, I'm naked again. Yeah, yeah. There's just too many of them. Like, two or three is fine. Like in the in, like in Breath of the Wilds, but like, there's too many in, in Tears of the Kingdom. Eric! I... Hmm. 
Hey Rach, happy Monday fun day. I forget if you're into Final Fantasy. Is Rebirth's Dreaming coming up this week? Smiley face. Smiley face. Thank you for the sub, Randomatic. I will not be streaming Final Fantasy this week. Um, I really enjoyed part one of the remake. I'm not like the biggest Final Fantasy nerd, but I really enjoyed part one. I won't be playing it on release because I'm leaving it a bit of time and then I'll stream it. Uh, I just don't think... I think anyone who probably wants to watch me playing it is gonna watch it, is gonna play it themselves so they probably won't watch, want to watch me play it because I'll spoil it for them because apparently that's what I do, spoil things for people. I don't know, it's a weird one, it's, it's really hard like thinking am I gonna play this new story game when all I want to do is play Elden Ring again and again. <laughs> It's hard to know what to, it's hard to know what to do sometimes, but I, I'm going to try and get a copy so I can play it maybe next month. Uh, and that way people have had a month like to play it and we'll see where we go from there. I think that's the plan. Yeah. Yeah. It's, um, it is a, it's a tricky one. It's not that I don't care cause I do cause I'm well thirsty for cloud and Sephiroth, but also I'm just not like, I'm not like Maria. Like, who's like super excited for it. I'm just like, yeah, I'll definitely play it. Yeah, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Uh, wait, can you summon the dude who butt slams? Wait, does he only butt slam Tragoff? Does he only butt slam? If so, yeah, sure. <laughs> the giant hands do squig me out. They be squigging me. Uh, I totally forgot about it. I was like, who sends a small pretty green envelope with nice hand? Then I opened it and was like, yeah. How weird is the tiny little card, by the way? <laughs> they came and they were like so tiny. I was like, okay. <laughs> uh, oh, you need the jellyfish to open a seal in the snowy land. Although the talisman there might be useless. I can't remember what it is. I do remember though that the jellyfish is pure and must be saved. So That's kind of my thought too. Very nice of you. Oh, no. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I thought you were going to be like, no, I want you to stream it. No. Do you know what I mean? Uh, they may... Oh, yeah, I saw the big cloud buster sword billboard. I did. That was cool. Well, I saw a picture of it. I'm happy you're playing Elden Ring. <gasps> I'm happy too, Craig. I'm happy. We're going to have a go at Margot. Margot. Well, Margot is not incorrect, but yeah. Zach. You like... Right, I don't know who Zach is, so... I don't know who Zach is yet. I know who Jack is though. Hi, Jack. Yeah, Jack is better than Zack, Cloud, and Sephiroth. 100%. Uh, Tragoth does more than Butt Slam, and you can only summon him for Redan and Magma Worm. Oh, we're summoning for Redan, I think. <laughs> or maybe not. I'd like to not have to. I don't think we summoned for Lightning Roll. Lightning Ram. What is Butt Only? Let me show you. Let me show you. <laughs> Size doesn't matter. It's the thought that counts. Quality. <laughs> uh, Rebirth is a game I will enjoy by myself. No streaming or watching. Yeah, fair. I think a lot of people are going to feel that way. Uh, so I'm leaving it a month. By the flame of, of ambition. ambition. I spoke over the best bit. Sorry. Sorry. There's <laughs> some patches. Yeah. <laughs> I always fight for time without summons. Oh, he's so skinny. He's so hard. I love the flipping. I love the Redan festival. Like just going in with all the boys. It's just too good. Okay. I don't know how this is gonna go. Oh, I dodged. <laughs> oh no. I'm taking so much damage. Okay, thanks. And he 
dodges. I don't know what my windows are. Yeah, he can't, um, he can't interrupt my butt slam, but I can still get hit. Oh, that's my window. That's my window, 100% hitting his tail when he jumps at me. Does he jump in phase two? easier fighting it with my actual butt. <laughs> did you know that you can kill Margit without fighting him? No, I did not know. How? Yeah, Redan wants an honourable death. Yeah. <laughs> I usually try a few times without summons and then if I've not won by then I'll call the boys. I do like the vibe of the fight with everyone going at it though. Yeah, it's so good. If we had iframes in the bot jump, this would be so easy, <laughs> but no. It doesn't, yeah, so hyper armor, which means he won't interrupt me, but I'll still get hit a lot. So I wonder if maybe like one more heal. Hey, Frey Wolf! I was informed there would be butt. <laughs> There's a lot of butt. There's a lot of butt. It might just be a case that we need to like... Um, just get some more points in health. <laughs> that could be all it is. Or get a few more, like, flasks. Okay, let's do that. Four and three. Let's have another go. The hitbox went under the swing when you landed on the bot. Okay, so that's, yeah, the jump is like, the jump gives me loads of time. So if we hang around at like long range, he might do the bot. I got 1300 runes there, I could have done a level up. Could have got one point in bigger. I don't know how to get him to jump at me. Oh, that works. How did that still hit me? <laughs> As if. Margaret, more like my glutes. arena the like elevation that saved me there uh but yeah you mean killing killing morgoth kills margot because they're the same person yeah i thought you meant actually like i don't i thought you meant at this stage obviously killing margot is a bit easier than morgoth i got like a little hang up there was like a little five point hit thing there at the start there well, that was lame. Uh, summoning a Redan is fun. Watching the finger maiden get evaporated as soon as she goes anywhere near him. She just like tends to like run around behind me a lot of the time. And also Patches who like enters the fight and then leaves the fight. <laughs> I think, um, I actually think if I can be patient and wait for the right attacks that we could do this. Oh, 
Or just get hit by that for no reason. I actually am not very good at this fight. I'm actually not very good at Elden Ring, really. Yeah. Up to Ainsel River and still haven't come across anything as hard as this guy. I think it's like for the point in the game that you fight him, uh, he's hard to. Is my main issue with Elden Ring is the wind up attacks. They're my kryptonite. It's because, yeah, some are fast and some are slow. It's hard to know which is which. <gasps> GSA, you are bot ready. Is your, is your bot ready? Is your bot ready though? Are you gonna jump? Yeah. I'm gonna jump too, and then I'm gonna butt the rump. Jump for the rump. <laughs> that went over me that- Whoa! <laughs> hey, Juice. <laughs> butt on the Elden Ring, where I'm killing with my butt. It'd be good if you could get him to jump off like Taurus Steven style. Hey Doom, happy Monday. Oh, I thought he was doing the thing where he like charges towards you. Uh, but then he did it. <laughs> That has a really long recovery time. I might be able to to jump towards him for that. Sometimes he jumps after doing that, but he didn't do it that time. Hey. That one did much less damage because it was just the uh Shockwave. Oh, I thought I would get him with the, the shockwave there. <laughs> it's so silly. <laughs> I don't know if I have enough, um, uh, flasks. I don't know if I'm doing enough damage uh, for how much health he has. Well, if I keep missing, yeah, I think Godric is heart is easier than Margaret for sure. Well, thou art of parsing arse. Warrior blood truly runs through thy veins. Oh, you got me there, Margaret. doing the other thing, but he did that thing. Well, thou art of passing thou skill. Art of passing skill. Warrior blood must truly run in thy veins. Tarnished. Now I've lost my only window because this is now the window. <laughs> you want to drink? Rid oh my god, he's absolutely killing me. What's my health at, man? That was like one health. They are so passing skill. <laughs> oh god. It feels like a really early transition, like he's not even halfway.
We do, it does, uh, you do travel somewhat, but it's like it's not enough. Oh, that did hit me that time. Somehow he's still alive. What is this hell? <laughs> right, that was halfway. That was halfway. That wasn't bad, but I need to I think I need more flasks. I definitely don't know this fight very well. <sighs> Uh, will he be trying to butt slam Rykard? Yes, it's all bosses, yeah. Well, all remembrances. Uh, oh god, I missed loads of chat, sorry. Is it gonna hit me now? Nope, nope, blam, nope. Yeah, is it gonna hit me now? Nope, yep, yeah, that describes it quite well. Margaret's design is the first brick wall. Yeah, well, actually, yeah, Margaret, a uh, tr uh, tree sentinel as well. Just teaches you, yeah, the game is, like, open. You can do things in any order. Uh, let's think. We need... Uh, we need... Alexander. See here what the damage increase is from doing that. Let's go get that. I'm sorry, guys. This is going to hurt. I think I was under-leveled through my whole Elden Ring playthrough. I skipped a load of bosses. My butt is made in this! <laughs> Over the last two minutes against the trash mobs, little one Margaret. It's hard, but you have to train the butt. It will get better. It will get butter. <laughs> Does Crucible Tail Swipe count as a butt attack? Or is it only butt adjacent? <laughs> um, it's, it's, a, it's a tail. It's a tail, not butt. Margaret is one of the harder bosses. I still struggle against him unless I level up a good chunk of vigor. Yeah, vigor I think is a is a big point there because he's I, I'm getting a lot of like chip damage. The charge attack thing changes depending how close you are. Uh huh. Because he wouldn't dash towards me if I was close to him. Yeah. I feel more confident after learning Godric's moves, but less so with Margaret. Uh, Lulu saying, yeah, the delays are so long, it makes a casual, like, me look good. Well, I'm glad it makes you look good. The long wind-up's making me very anxious, like that old guy. Who, fire who fires his arrow at Helm's Deep? Yeah, it's, you're just like, right, roll, 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 roll. <laughs> Thou art of assing skill. Wait, it actually becomes easy when you've played Dark Souls 1. Uh, I've got thousands of hours in Dark Souls 1 and I do think that this game feels like so different <laughs> to Dark Souls 1. In Dark Souls 1, like, you see an attack coming and you roll through it and it's fine. But in this, you see an attack coming. And then it happens. <laughs> uh, I'm technically on a diet, but today I'm ill, so I'm going to have some chocolate. <gasps> yes, Ill chocolate cures illness so yes what the frick what the fuck oh it's a dog there's a dog here there's a dog <laughs> who let the dogs out man where did you come from the camp did i not rest hello, hello? Oh, my. yeah remember the first time you fought margaret what a time to be alive i know oh. <laughs> Biologically, tails are considered as appendages that extend beyond the bum hole. So a tail swipe would not be a butt attack. Aww. Fun fact, scorpions have their bum hole next to their stinger so do not technically have tails. They have their bum hole next to their stinger? This is no time for games. <gasps> Thank you for the 100 bits, Pimax. I didn't know that. Appendages that extend beyond the bum hole. <laughs> this is silly. Charlie, is it time? Yeah, it's time, I'm afraid. I'm sorry. Uh, oh, hi, Spy. Wait, if only my sleep schedule wasn't so messed up, I wouldn't have to miss two and a half hours of this stream. Well, we still have many hours remaining, so you're fine. An hour, one HP, and a dream. <laughs> 
For Rikard, you probably need some Starlight Shards. Yes, for... Yeah, for mana. We had to farm Starlight Shards for ruling only as well. DS1 definitely helped me with this game, even though it's like 100 times faster. Yeah? I just... I, like... I don't know. To me, I think this game feels more like Dark Souls 3. But that's just me, in my opinion. Do I know Carbot? Yeah, I've seen some of their stuff, yeah. That's the, um, where everyone looks like a thumb, right? The little animations where everyone looks like a thumb. <laughs> I miss chocolate so much. I miss chocolate so much. I haven't had chocolate since Ash Wednesday and I won't have it until the end of March. <laughs> Easter. I loved Carbot's Elden Ring CDs. Captured my first play experience so well. So funny. Yeah, it's Once really... Again. Relatable, Alexander. I'm so sorry. I need your flipping shard thing. It's this gonna, guys. This is gonna hurt. No, a croc, a croc pot. No. <laughs> It feels so bad, man. But we do more damage now. Guys, I'm sorry, but we do more damage now. <laughs> I know, I know, invisible mail, I know. That's worse than killing Zeglinda. No, it's not. She doesn't give you anything, Mick. She gives you nothing. He gives me the best skill talisman. Well, the second best skill talisman in the game. I'm sorry, guys, I'm sorry. It's just something we're gonna have to live with. <clears throat> First day I played for 12 hours, got to Margit, stopped playing, and then turned on your marathon stream to find you were on Margit too! Perfect. <gasps> Good days! AZ, what the frick? AZ! Thank you for the tier three! What the frick? Happy anniversary with the 12 months, by the way. Thank you for the tears. What the frick? That's amazing. Right. I have some things. Some gifts for tier threes uh, this month. Well, for the next three months. Uh, you get a uh, VIP. You're now a VIP in my chat. You get a little diamond. Uh, I'm going to send you a whisper. And it's got a little form if you want to fill that in. I've got little thank you cards and little, uh, little, just little gifts. Little thank you gifts. It's a little thing, but it's cute and it's for you. Uh, so I'll send you a whisper if your whispers are open. They are perfect. Uh, there, with a the little form. And if you're in Discord, uh, you get all the Patreon stuff. You get all the Patreon stuff if you want to enjoy that as well. Thank you so much! Ah! <laughs> so many things! Chat is still angry that I killed Flippin' Alexander. Guys, this is the challenge run life, okay? This is the challenge run. Uh, Vero, you, you approve? <laughs> you approve, thank you. <laughs> oh, mate, of course, no, of, no, of course you don't, like, oh, mm. You don't need to do anything, but the fact that you wanted to is amazing. I'm pumped. Let's go. Thank you. Pot friend is now dead friend, but that's okay. Just disappointed. I can live with that. You do end up killing him in the end anyway. It's just sparing him all the stuff to come. Zeglinda gives you a titan and No, not when you kill her. When you kill her, she gives you nothing. <laughs> Hi, two thirds. Do I feel like a hero? Yeah, not really. I feel like a villain. <laughs> Chat is making me feel like a villain. Hi, Mr. Payne. But only. Yeah, what do you think but only means? I want to know what you think it means and then I will show you what it means. <laughs> uh, I'm curious now. I have one go at Margit and just see how much it affects the damage. Just curious, because we can see how much... Oh, also I may as well, like, I may as well try. Where else can we get, like, seeds? Where else can we get seeds? There's one down here we didn't pick up. I am a villain. I am, though, yeah. I'm okay with that. I'm a villain who does 15% more skill damage. <laughs> but, but only... The best content here on Don't Rage Quit Live on Twitch. Now I'm gonna be hunted by Let Me Solo Her. It would wait, that must mean that he thinks I'm on par with Melania, which is I'm cool with that. I'm cool with being in the same like villainous realm as Melania.
Nothing would make me happier. Oh, it's 10? Is it the is the upgraded one? 15? I don't know why I grabbed that. It's automatic. No! <laughs> I have a plan. I have a plan that we're gonna get Bloody Slash Guy to follow me up the ladder. Here he comes, okay. And then I'm gonna like butt slam him and hopefully he gets like pushed off. That'd be cool. Alexander is his favorite NPC. That's why he wears the jar. Ah, cause he gives you the little jar helm. I, I, oh, my favorite NPC. I do love Alexander. Um, I do like Rani and Blythe, actually. I don't know if he's coming up. I hope he's coming up. He's not coming up. I don't mean I don't need to kill him. I just thought it could have been funny. Little jar boy. I wanted to kick butt with my butt. He's not giving me the opportunity. That's okay. Okay, where else can I find a seed, guys? I guess we could go south. Down here. I think it's two per flask now. <laughs> Morning, elusive! I quite like the troll blacksmith. He's so jolly. Uh, oh god, I was gonna say Igzy? Igzy? <laughs> no, uh, EG? <laughs> Patches, yeah. Strong contender, <laughs> but yeah, yeah. I noticed that uh, so golden slam, which is gonna be probably the better version, um, is from Altus Plateau. So that might not actually be that hard to get. But we do need to get the other medallion, which is where. Excuse me. Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The Fort Fort Gale, right? Fort Gale? No. Why do I forget every single time? Yeah, Fort Gale. Gale. G A, G A E L. Fort Gale. Yeah. What's oh, Faroth? The one that's next to the dragon. Is that Faroth? Uh, is there somewhere you could do a plunging attack? A butt stomp. Yeah, I just, like, I would still get full damage, though. The cute little jar who's named Orphan. I think he's Alexander's nephew, so... I don't... Would that make him an orphan? Yeah, I think he's his uncle or something. Gonna be lurking and listening while I fill in this pack of psychology questionnaires that I got through the post this morning. Do you get anything for doing that? Or is it just for fun? <laughs> Thank you for lurking, Lisa. Fort Gill's the one with flame grabbed me strength. That's why it was on my brain, because I did it in my walkthrough. Because we are a pyromancer in the walkthrough. It's so good. Uh, Irina. Who I didn't realize was also a great lady. Jar Bairn. Uncle-less Jar Bairn. Calls him Uncle Alexander, but that doesn't mean that they are related. Could just be somebody calls him. Yeah, that's a shame. Poor little guy. There's no plunging attack in Elden There is. Yeah, you can plunge in Elden Ring. Yeah, yeah, you can. They want to make sure I'm in the right state of mind. Ah, oh, before a big operation. Oh, mate. Well, I hope it's easy questions. I'm not good with family relations among pottery. <laughs> That's okay. You're forgiven. That's what a murderer would say. They're not blood related. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. I, well, do you know what? I'm not denying it. I'm not denying it. There's no specific animation after you plunge though, like in Dark Souls. Oh, you mean, oh, you mean like on like Asylum Demon, Tauros Demon. Dark Souls 3, Ancient Dragon, kind of- yes, okay, no, there's not nothing like that, but you can, like, there's- there's plunging attacks. He calls you cuz. I don't think you have a shard of jar in your family's genetics. No, I've just got one in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> the 
they must be related. He's the spitting image. <laughs> they look just like each other. They've got they've got their mother's eyes. <laughs> Golden Slam costs more and does more damage, but it's split, physical and holy, so it depends on the boss's resistance. Golden Slam only scales with faith. Ooh, okay. So if we put all the effort into getting strength for Ground Slam and Golden Slam is Faith. Mm. Why, where am I going? <laughs> I'm on some kind of weird autopilot. Okay. No, Fextra, Fextra's usually correct though. It's the jump attack where you do when you plunge down, down, and I think it also doesn't deal extra damage. It knocks stuff down. If Alexander is his uncle and we're his cuz, is Alexander our dad? Oh frick, did I just like kill my dad? Don't think the flame don't the flame tank things trigger a plunge? Pass. The jars are full of warriors' innards, so you might sort of be related to jar bear. Wait, am I actually Alexander's wait? Wait! Okay, I got that one there. There's a church. There's a church there in the Frenzy Village. And a church there. Um, I don't think there's any more seeds. In Weeping Peninsula. Am I, am I my own grandfather? <laughs> oh my god, the joke came full circle. <laughs> ah, the flame tanks have a special animation if you land on their head. Oh my god, but probably not with a butt slam though. Unfortunately. <laughs> Wait, I loved Golden Slam. It's the best Graham cereal in the 90s. Golden Slam was a cereal. It's a butt drop in Elden Ring. If the little guy looks more like his uncle than the dad. Oh no! Oh no! Don't ask any more questions. Oh, I don't know how I've come off the path here. The grace is up there. I'm trying to remember how you get up to the little frenzy village place. Yeah. Good luck, Elizabeth. Yeah, yeah. You'll be fine. You got this. Hopefully, it doesn't take too long. Hopefully, it's not too boring. Uh, it's up- oh, it's up there? Yeah, it's up there. How do we get up there again? Mm. I'll go grab the other one, because the other one's easy. Did the jars pump? Would you rather? No, because how? How do you- Would you rather pump Alexander or <laughs> or um the heckin uh fire tank guys? Blythe oh no no competition, it's Blythe, isn't it? Darn, Alexander, yeah? But like where do you put it? Sorry, mature. The fire tank? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I was trying to think of something else that was sort of like an object. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that there's no other seeds down here. The lid. Let's put it in the lid. Wouldn't even touch the sign. I just woke up. I don't know. I, 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 I woke up like this this morning. I don't know. Does Jar Alex have a back gap? You are worse than me! You're worse than me! Also, I've just remembered it's round here. You're worse than me. I am innocent. Is anyone watching The Apprentice on UK BBC? We're as bad as each other. I'll take it. 
Wait, Alexander is full of dead bodies. Is it necrophilia? No, because you're not pumping the dead bodies. You're pumping Alexander, who is the collection of dead bodies. But like, my body has like a lot of dead cells in it. But does that make you necrophiliac if you, if you pump me? Please don't pump me. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I, no, I don't think it's necrophilia because you're not like... It's maybe an unfortunate result. Charlie, I don't know. I'm I can't talk myself out of this, mate. I'm trying hard. Yes, the UK has an apprentice. Yeah, it's uh, Alan Sugar, who's like a bajillionaire. And uh, it's particularly bad this year, I think. Uh, oh, a bit behind though. Okay, we watched two though. Okay, so did you watch last year when they made the video game? Um, and one of them made... A, I know, we're talking about The Apprentice again. Uh, one of them made a, the video game about the, the prison, the like convict. And uh, she comes out and she goes, I am innocent. And like, that's their, <laughs> that's their presentation. Um, well, this year, Melectus, if you haven't seen it yet... Uh, they have done a uh, virtual escape room and a bell end. Yeah, he's a billionaire and a bell end, yeah. He did that flipping COVID uh, erasure tweet recently, and I'm just like, you flipping twat. Um, and yeah, virtual escape room. Oh, right, okay, okay, so when you watch that one, come back to me. Uh, so we've seen that one, but we haven't seen last week's. I don't know what last week's is. I think it's, oh, it's where they go on holiday and they have to buy all the stuff from the holiday and they don't know what anything is. That's coming up. I can't remember where all these flipping things are. Is there any in Liurnia that I missed? Did I find the one that was around here? I didn't. I didn't. Didn't Alan Sugar found Amstrad? Wasn't that his? That is him. What's Amstrad, please? Virtual escape room, so just the room, but made by LinkedIn obsessed middle managers. <sighs> much, much worse. Their products were abysmal. Patches, oh, oh my God, oh my God, if we do patches, we can get Margaret Shackle. Oh my God. <laughs> Didn't even, th yes. Yes, let's do patches. Oh my God, I just thought of that. We can get Margaret Shackle. Oh my god, that would be so good. Right, do you guys know, is it like Moog? Can you only use it in phase one? Because that's actually kind of annoying because phase one's easier. But it could mean that we get like some good big dam. Big damage. Where is the seed around here? His initials are AMS, that's where Amstrad got his name. What? Oh, it's a, oh, it's a te ah, computers. Computer, tech, industry, yes, yes. That's it, yeah. That's, that's, yeah. And he did that when he was like 16 or something. Crazy like that, he like started that. The only business he's any good at is self-promotion. Oh my God. He's, he's very uh, up in cell, as we'd say. It's only in phase one and only twice, so it is exactly the same as Moog, yeah. Wait, did I? I did pick this up. I'm such an idiot. I did pick this up. Okay. Um, so there's one at the end of this here, isn't there? If you go from here, does this teleport you to the, the college? I knew that he was in like tech in like computers, but I didn't know the I didn't know the name of the. Oh, we need the key. Oh, okay, we need the key. Um, sugar. Well, we could go from here and then take the teleport here. Yeah, we'll do that. I'm just picking up a few more uh, seeds. I know it's all for entertainment, but some of the tasks that they do and then they get berated for are, there's so, right. I get so angry about this elusive. I get so angry when he's like, what do you mean you couldn't cook a hundred macarons? Like, and this person is like wanting to 
make a recruitment agency business. What do you mean you couldn't make steaks for a, a, a tour of Scotland for 20 guests? It's like, no, that's not their industry. Where am I going? There. <laughs> Ugh. So silly. What do you mean you couldn't create a fully functioning video game in a couple of hours, huh? And they don't let them use the internet either. It's so silly. Uh, is Patches here in Lyarnia? No, Patches is- wait, what? Patches goes to Lyarnia? No, he'll be in uh, Murkwater Cave. He inherited most of his money. Oh yeah, I did it all by myself, yeah. Yeah. I'm looking for the- my eyes went a bit like sort of bloody there. He only ever shows up to moan about working from home these days. <laughs> he bought a bunch of cheap overseas machines and whacked his name on it. Oh, really? Probably because he has commercial real estate. If you have the key, you get put to the plateau where you can go down to the merchant. Ah, oh, balls. I should have... What? Should have got that. Is a closer teleport the gazebo right in front of the... Wait, what? Huh? <laughs> I think I'm a bit late there, Malecta. Sorry. I'm just going... Oh, you still need the key! Duh! <laughs> oh, God. Sorry. There's, like, the conversations and everything is all, like... Yeah. Hi, Larry. Hi, Cobb. Hello, hello. Yeah, I'm... The multitasking. <laughs> Do you remember the sandalwood soap? Where they hecked up the ounces. That's OG apprentice. Ah. Sandalwood soap. <laughs> Thanks for the follow. Thank you. They pick out the products and then they have to make them by themselves. Like, we'll order 50 of these. Okay, well, off you go making them then. Yeah, it's so silly. It's, it is for entertainment. And also, do you know what though? It, it tests their ability to adapt, to work together, to problem solve uh, things that they know nothing about, obviously. <coughs> but it's silly <laughs> it's silly to judge someone for not being a good chef who's not trying to be a good chef anyway it's funny the focus on alan sugar during an all butt stream is very on top uh, i can't remember oh it's because i was like i am innocent <laughs> Uh, my favorite thing about The Apprentice is the designer types who are forced to work with those idiots. <gasps> yeah! And they're trying not to laugh. Yeah. Uh, you'll, there's a really good one in the escape room episode. I'm sure you can imagine. It's really good. So. I struggle with cringe though. A lot of the time I don't find cringe funny. I just find it cringe. But The Apprentice is like... It treads the line. How hard is it to sell random tat to folk on the tube during rush hour with a full camera crew? <laughs> yeah, that's the thing as well. Oh, uh, like, like, literally. Mics and lights and... And all sorts. No smarag, no. No. Hi, Roscoe! I am okay, are you okay? Yeah, I'll probably recognise it, Thorne. I didn't watch, like, the first series, but I think I've watched from the second series on every single year. Peak Apprentice is when they were making pizzas and they ordered a whole roast chicken for each one. Oh my god, that's a generous flipping pizza. Generosity. <laughs> Can't believe that some of them would turn up and be like, I'm not good with numbers and they're pitching for jobs. <laughs> How do they get any applicants when anyone watching it knows that there's little more... It's little more than an exercise in humiliation is astounding. Because if you win, you get 250 grand, which isn't even a lot of money these days. <laughs> yeah, also, yeah, we say sugar a lot, yeah. Let's say, holy smokes, are you on PS5? Yeah, why? Yeah, why? <gasps> I feel like Elden Ring runs a lot better on PS5. I prefer playing it on PS5. And also, um, I'm playing... My PC version of Elden Ring at the minute is not... Um, it's modded. 
it's modded because Evie, as in my dog, my dog is going to play Elden Ring. My dog is going to fight Melania um, on the dance mat, so it's modded for that. <laughs> Dragon face. She was polite, wasn't she? Okay, patches. Murkwater Cave. We're going to go from... It doesn't really matter, actually, if we go from Ag Hill or from here. It's as broad as it is long. Let's run past some crabs. Agree on cringe. That's why I can't watch Peep Show or In Betweeners. Why do you watch me, then? If you don't like cringe. <laughs> yeah, in between... Right, In Betweeners... I think I watched In Betweeners before I realised why In Betweeners made me so uncomfortable. And it was, like, Peep Show that made me realise it's, like... It's cringe. That's why I don't like it. But like, oh, the thing is, right? I can all I cannot like it, but also I find like in betweeners jokes and peep show jokes really funny. But also I don't like it. It's weird. <laughs> I find it funny, but I hate it. They all just have recruitment websites or sweet shops for Instagram now. The last thing that went last year was a baker, I think. Oh, ads are coming. I'm hungry, guys. I need to go and get a snack. Uh, make an escape room game in The Apprentice is probably more along the lines of here is an existing game that works. Play some items. No, no, Cam, no. They design. They design everything. It's no. It's really entertaining. It's so bad. It's so ba both of them are so bad. Rasko, just another day. Oh, still off work with a dizzy stuff. Glad you're good. Mate, that's been a wee while. Have you been to the doctors? Uh, perhaps it's been a wee while. But this looks amazing. Oh, yeah. I, I too often forget how beautiful Elden Ring is, for sure. Only reason to go on The Apprentice is get a chance at kicking sugar in the throat. I think that would get you uh, fired. That would maybe get you fired. <laughs> the cool thing is, right, he rolls, he like dodges when I start my jump. Um, so that's good. That bodes well for like fighting humanoids that like dodge. I wish the AoE was bigger. It always knocks him down though. Butt slam! Oh, he was in the air! Butt slam! Go on, Yura. Go on, Yura. I don't know where Patches moves to, Liarnia. I think he's still in here until you uh, beat him in his cave. I think so. I saw a clip about sweets in a cup. A unique product. The dude pulled out half a dozen things that were the same. Oh, that's in the... Yeah, that is in the interviews. There's that Scottish guy um, that always like calls them out. He's the best. Or does he only go when you beat Godfrey? When you beat Godfrey? Maybe. Usually I like find him in this cave. The UK office is the hardest one to watch for me. I love it though. I've never really given the office a chance really. I don't watch a lot of TV, I realise. <laughs> oh, we're crouching. He only moves after you beat him. Yeah. Because I didn't find patches on my first playthrough until quite like, we were quite far through. And I think we were actually at like Volcano Manor. Um, and people were like, did you find patches? And I was like, patches? <laughs> I was like, patches? No, it probably wasn't as far as Volcano Manor. Um, but I never, I just never found this cave. I ran right past it. Um, wait, hashtag butt lore. Let's catch up on chat. Chat's diving deep into the family tree of Elden Ring's pottery lineage with Jar Bairn and Uncle Alexander starting up some existential crises. Meanwhile, Elusive is multitasking with psych questionnaires and surgery prep, sending good vibes. The Apprentice chatter has us questioning Alan Sugar's reference relevance to butt-focused gameplay. And as Rachel says, Sugar, chat cheekily keeps it all on theme. <gasps> Hashtag butt lore. Cheekily. 
stay cheeky. I long for a day when a contestant on The Apprentice in the boardroom just goes, you know this jumping through hoops is unreasonable. You know how business will actually work, right? It's important that you say you understand. <laughs> no, because they would cut that. That wouldn't go on BBC. A tag by Evie. She's the best, though. Can't get fired if his throat is too kicked for him to fire you. Yeah, that's how it works. He can still point at you. It would be worth it. <laughs> the butt slams enemy is gravity. <laughs> how ironic. Doc said I just have to wait it out. It's been a month. I'm signed off three more weeks at least. I'll flip. Well, at least you can concentrate on uh, chilling out and feeling better, right? You don't have to try and work. He actually like attacks you even if you pick up the clothes or not. You scheming little thief. Pot kettle black patches. He just tried kicking me there. He blocked that. Yeah, his like, his spear was going like over me, thankfully. <gasps> that was a hard boss. That was a hard, shut up, Patches. That was, that was hard. If you kill Rykard, he just randomly dies and leaves his bell, bell, bell beating. Patches dies? Who would kill Patches? I'm a man of reason. What happens if we say no to forgiving him? You're tarnished. Uh, so if I say some things can't be forgiven, does he give me a gift like he does in Dark Souls 1? Patches can be found at the Scenic Isle site of Grace after you have beaten Godric, if you have already met him in Limgrave. Oh. And he's just like a vendor there rather than in here, I assume. I guess that implies that he's moving north. He's moving up to Mount Gelmir. The UK office feels a bit too mean-spirited for me. I just don't like it. Almost everything Gervais makes, it feels like it's just sneering at the lower classes rather than trying to find humour in relatable scenarios. Yeah, I'm not like, yeah, I'm not a huge big fan of Ricky Gervais. That chatbot thing is wonderful. You're wonderful. Extra, I did actually, I did enjoy extras. That one where it was like his wife died as well. Was it Afterlife? Um, I didn't watch that, but it was on a few times when I was in the room. And I happened to catch the final episode of Afterlife. And um, that was like, I was like, is this Ricky's your face? Is this like, oh, it was, it, I saw the last episode, Rob, and it was just, it really like upset me. It was really sweet. And I get sad thinking about it. Okay, so I'm not gonna forgive you. I think he'll give me a gift. <laughs> this isn't like you. Well, the way that he like speaks there, it's like we've met before. It's amazing. Yeah, I, I hear good things. Like Mike really liked it. Okay, you just, you don't get anything for saying you don't forgive him. Huh. <laughs> If we can get 5k, we can get Margaret Shackle. I think that'll be huge. Welcome back, Whiskey. I love Stephen Merchant. Stephen Merchant's best work is, say it with me, guys. We all know what it is, right? Wait, we could do the thing where we get Knight's Cavalry to fall off a cliff. Because that was easy, right? No. Um, It's sad and thought provoking. With some childish humor it's thrown in. Portal 2, of course. It's his best work, Portal 2. So good. 100%. I think we're going to be just under 5k. 4994! Break! I mean, I can kill one of the nerds in the cave. Uh, oh my god, Charlie. Afterlife is the closest to raw and prolonged grief that any media has ever gotten. And in my opinion, it's Gervais' best work. It's, yeah, it's, oh god. Like, I get a lump in my throat thinking about it. It's so sad. Just like, yeah, it feels real. I think that's why it felt like it was 
so good it felt real. Oh, nice, Biscuit. Yeah, that sounds good. That's a good, good price. Wheel, Gavlan wheel, Gavlan deal. Logan? Oh, he's in Logan, isn't he? Well, no, it's Portal 2. <laughs> Patches and Borium. Margaret's Shackle. Perfect. Cheers for that. What's that chest over there? Where does this, uh, where does this send you? <laughs> um, okay, let's give another go at Margaret. I feel like we have gotten a bit stronger now. We might be able to give it a better go. We got halfway last time. Uh, Rascal like you, I'm not normally a fan of his work, but the fact that he wrote and directed it is very impressive. Fair play. Uh-huh. He's got range. It oh, it takes you to the Misswoods in front of a rune bear. That's so funny. <laughs> Everyone's favourite reputable businessman. Patches the hyena, yeah, or whatever he is in this one. Trusty patches. Oh, I bet you I have like two seeds. Do I have two seeds? Oh, I do, I need three for a charge. Okay, okay. Right. Four and four, okay. We have Shard of Alexander, so I'm gonna be doing more damage. Uh-huh. I've got Margaret's Shackle. Let's give it a little testy. <laughs> Kerry Godlimit was amazing in Afterlife too. I think I fell a bit in love with her after that. So genuine. Oh, was she his wife? I'm not good with names. <laughs> Maybe we'll wait for his like first jump because that's easy to do this, and then we can. Oh. Wow, that only gives me like two. What? Two in a, or was it three in a row? Staggers in. Uh, it wasn't as good as I thought it was gonna be. Oh my god. Yeah, direct hits. He's gonna transition now, right? Oops, didn't mean to do that. Meant to do this. <laughs> Wait, so now I'm wanting to try and like be aggressive. To try and get the stagger. Just my butt. I definitely notice how much more mana it uses uh, without the filigree. I really hope we get Margaret so I can get the. Uh... Oh, that's the combo. Oh, it's so close. 
man. I'm not getting this. Nah. That was so close! I think, um... I think, now that I know... Now that I know, I think, uh... Stamina regen would be good. Yeah, that was good, wasn't it? There's a flask that does more stance damage. It lasts for 30 seconds. Oh, so I might get him in two rather than in three. Yeah, there's also, yeah, there's flasks that do, we could get the one that does, uh, yeah, more stance damage. There's also, like, the one that gives me one free hit, like, the bubble thing. Yeah, there's probably a few options. That went really well! Hey, Dinny, why can't it just be June already? I want my clay. <gasps> I got the statue as well. Yes, I'm so excited. I want my collector's edition. I want it to come. Yes. Uh, is the butt affected by a choice of weapon? I think so. I think damage and... I'm not sure if speed is affected, but... Damage is definitely affected, yeah. But at the minute, we don't really have much choice. Um... We could get a weapon that has better strength scaling. I'm just not really sure what would be available to us at the start of the game. Um, Kestis was what I had in my head because they have good strength scaling and they're quite um, fast. So, yeah, not sure. We can try. I don't think the problem there was too much damage. I think the problem there was, like, how much I got hit. But you have to be aggressive. That's the... Oh, the annoying part you have to be aggressive uh okay i want another go i do think that that's very doable for how close we got it's very doable um maybe if i use my potion at the start yeah it is two and then we can do that and then sort of back off a little bit Wait for the stamina, and then do that. Okay, now he's gonna possibly transition? No? No, okay. That was a whole bunch of free damage. Whoa! Oh, there we go. <laughs> we think it's strength, dude. So I've got a strength tier in my physique flask. Nice! Oh, I forget how long his slipping staff is. Oh, what? That was a <laughs> that was a combo and a half. Hi, Nikki. I'm killing things with my butt. <laughs> it scales off of the weapon's strength scaling. See, that makes sense. That does make sense, but when we did uh, Lightning Ram, the more decks I had, so because my weapon scaled from decks, the more decks I had, the more what the frick, uh, the more the weapon, the more the Ash of War did. It did make it do more damage. We had proper good test sesh. I had no stamina to roll there, that's the only problem. Hey, thank you for the follow! Nikki, when are you gonna finish Elden Ring? I 
went for the stagger. I didn't get it. He's sad. Stagger. No! Does he have like crazy flipping poison face too? shame you can't sit on their faces yeah i can but like not for long <laughs> hi brenda happy monday if your weapon scales well with strength then the skill will also scale well with strength ah okay yeah 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 do you know what affects do you know if it affects the speed because it's just so slow it's making it harder even with this low level, it might be worth trying heavy. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So we can get like, or, or if I just find something that has a higher like strength scale. I just remembered, I'm pretty sure skills get bonus damage if you use their default affinity. Okay, let's go try that. He hits fast until he doesn't hit slow, flipping. <sighs> yeah. A uh, bit stressed and never works, but okay. Oh, I'm glad it's generally okay. Hope things calm down. This guy's range is crazy. I know that long stick is longer than you'd think it's gonna be. Well, oh. I'll take you for dead. Okay, I've made it heavy, so it's got bigger strength scaling. See if that does more damage. Then we'll know. The speed is fixed. No! It would be nice if it starts sped up the skill time for the recovery. Yay! That would be nice. I do think though, Margaret, if we get Margaret, then we'll have a second talisman slot and that'll be huge. Um, and also we were so close. We were so, so close. I j if I can find maybe one more tier, that would be good as well. There's gotta be one in Caled somewhere. Yeah, there's one near the Caled, near the merchant on the crossroads. So I can go and get that as well. <gasps> Nutella and peanut butter together T together <laughs> he has to be on the ground for that to work oh my god what a waste of a hit yeah look it does does two three one now that's quite a lot more it was doing like 208 before Together. Well, there are of passing ours. He looks so tiny when he's far away. I thought that would be the stagger. I think he must take three in phase two. Why? Oh, I have no runes. Where did they go? Uh, I got rune like vision and. My head that was nah, nah, that was never gonna nah, nah. <laughs> nah. I'm gonna go grab that other seed I think and then I think just having one more heal will really help I'm getting hit so much the crafting has really upgraded my arsenal 
Oh, I'm glad I lost 1300 runes, but it's no big deal. We can get them again so easy. And ugh, they just distract me in the boss fight, so. I want Chinese now, yeah. Ah, oh, leftover homemade Chinese. Mm, is that as good as Chinese from a Chinese shop? Chinese shop? <laughs> Chinese restaurant. I have to pick up the runes even if I know there's none there. I don't like the thing getting in the way. Ah, yeah, and you, your brain always kind of goes, get the runes, get the, get the, get the blood stain, right? You get the blood stain. You will not rest until you got the blood stain. You will actually, it will get you killed. <laughs> Pork and ribs and egg fried rice and spring rolls. I'm gonna make a spaghetti bolognese tonight. And then Mike and I are gonna watch Jun. And we're gonna go see part two on Saturday. Hopefully. Hopefully it's not like all Philly books. A spag, well, sorry, not a spag ball. Uh, even better, uh, spaghetti meatballs. Cause I got meatballs. Do you wanna come over? Jin. I try. Right, Mick, I said de yun, de yun, <laughs> not jun. Mickey, if you, if you didn't come over, I'd be offended. Uh, oh, I've been watching Undead Humor's ER vids. They must use AI to make the voice lines because it sounds like the actual voice actors. Except Rykard, they just use that one line together. Undead Humor. The giant's over by Bernal. Drop a thousand runes. Uh, I'm more thinking I could just like kill the ball a couple times. <laughs> I say Jin too. I need to get a snack, guys. I'm I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I need a snack. Come here. You looking like a snack. I also need to refresh myself on the locations of the uh, golden seeds because I can't remember if there's any in North Caled. Who's a snack? You, you looking like a snack. <laughs> Nutella and a spoon. I'm actually off chocolate for Len. I'm doing really well. Um, and also after COVID, eating several jars of Nutella with a spoon, I'm off that as well for life. <laughs> it's, so, it's so hard once you start not to eat the whole jar of it. Nutella isn't chocolate. It is. It is. It is. <gasps> no, Millicent. Everyone here. Uh, yeah. I can't wait for Easter though. Oh my god, I'm gonna get the biggest chocolate egg. The biggest Easter egg you've ever seen. Oh yeah. <laughs> Wait, so what is Nutella if it's not chocolate? It's hazelnut chocolate spread. I'm not even having hot chocolate, which like I'll get back from a dog walk and it's like really cold. It's nut poop. <gasps> I didn't know nuts pooed. Why is it so delicious? Um, I get back from a dog walk and I'm like really cold and like my face is so cold and my hands are so cold and all I want is a hot chocolate. Oh, I'm off it. I'm off it. Spring Halloween. Wait. Oh no, spring. Halloween is headed our way, isn't it? Yes. I like to keep Nutella in the fridge so it's slightly harder. Oh, you're making me really want Nutella. I've banned myself from buying Nutella. Where is there, Grace? Is it further up the road? Up the road! Up the road. Ed, hello! There we go. Here, I'm not finishing Elden Ring. <gasps> and here, Rach is using her gluteus. Gluteus Maximus. <laughs> That's my character's name. <laughs> yes. Yes, I am. Using my Gluteus Maximus. Damn, you're good, Ed. Why have you not finished Elden Ring? <clears throat> 
Huh? Huh? Why have you not finished it? Huh? Uh, Lent ends the weekend that I'm down in Birmingham. Yeah, Birmingham. 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 I suggest going to Cadbury World. I'm not probably going to travel outside of the NEC because uh, it's near the airport. So, and my hotel's there as well. So, I'm probably not. Um, wait, Cadbury World, though, speak to me. Speak to me about Cadbury World. Can I get a taxi there? You know what, nut poo? D's nuts. I'm really clutching at straws saying Nutella isn't chocolate. It doesn't come in bar form, so therefore. <gasps> oh my god, Cam, yeah. Caleb, is this a studenty place? This one of the studenty places. Up the road. <laughs> at the risk of sounding like a big posho. Bon, Bon, my man. Chocolate spread beats Nutella. It's the tits. Bon my man. Is that something you'd get in Tesco and Asda? Or is that like a, like a, uh, what's the posh flipping supermarket? Wait, wait, Waitrose. Is that a Waitrose kind of thing? Is that some of this uh, pinky patter? This uh, posh? Up the road. <laughs> They sell actual chocolate teapots at Cadbury World. Oh my God, you're as useful as a chocolate teapot. It's the meme, it's the thing. <gasps> Carbs are low, very smooth and silky. Thank you. Thank you, it is, it really is. You should feel it. It smells nice as well. It smells like shia, which is a flower, I think. It smells like flowers. Okay, so Kaled, um, I got a bit distracted running up the roads, but now we have all that unlocked, so I'll save us time. We've got another heel, which I think will make all the difference to my confidence. You could get a taxi, but it's quicker to get a train there. Oh yeah, Birmingham is like so well connected. Isn't she a nut? Is she a nut? <laughs> is it? Uh, what, what, what is she a? She a butter is composed of, it looks like nuts, yeah. Uh, extracted from the nut of the African Shia tree. It is a nut! I thought it was a flower. <laughs> yeah, it's a nut. Since I can't smell it, we go 9.65. <gasps> okay. <laughs> How are you, carbs? Hello. You can get crunchy versions, chocolate orange versions, and none of it has palm oil in it, unlike Stinky Planet hating Nutella. <gasps> Wait, is palm oil, like, bad? For the planet? No, I still want to eat it. I want to eat both chocolate orange spread. Oh my God, that is just begging to me. You're not going to put that on a sandwich, are you? You're not going to put that on a sandwich. You're eating that with a spoon or a finger. Uh, Ed got it on release, got about halfway through. My dad got really sick and died a few months later in July. So kind of associate it with that sort of thing. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. I know exactly what you mean. I know exactly what you mean, like associating that with like sadness and, and, and grief and that. Oh, mate. Yeah, definitely give it some time if it's still fresh. But like it, I think with the DLC, it's going to have a bit of a resurgence this summer. So see how you feel. My Irish head was reading it like she, oh, she, or oh, maybe it is she, she, she nut, she, she butt. Doing good over here, just working hard. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm working hard. Um, yeah, I think I am. Palm oil, right? It destroys the environment. Lo lots of animal, animal homes destroyed. What from palm oil? You're eating that with a spoon or a finger. <laughs> what? So, the palm oil industry. Oh, because they're, what are they like? Wrecking what's already there and planting like palm trees. Oh, sorry, not palm. <laughs> No, wait, hang on. Does palm oil come from palm trees? It does! <laughs> I don't know, I've literally never, right, it's an edible vegetable oil. Comes from the fruit of oil palm trees. So because they're like, getting rid of the flipping rainforest, they're clearing local regional ecosystems to plant palm oil. <gasps> 
So they can make loads of it so they can make more money. Who are Ginger's family? I know, the orangutans. Jeez. I didn't know that. So, right, okay, so down down with Nutella, up with heckin' Bon Madame. <laughs> oh my god, you got Helldivers in. I need to play that again. I've just played it the once. It was really fun, though. Everything destroys the environment. Chocolate, coffee, plane travel, JK Rowling. It's true. It is, it's true, it's true. Guys, permit me. I'm going to take a couple minutes. Um, It's been almost four hours. I need a wee snack. I'm going to go for a pee and just take a couple minutes. Um, Sorry, I know we're in the middle of a conversation here. I'm learning a lot. Um, Somehow, somehow, probably. <laughs> no! Oh, doom self. Oh. But yeah, I'll, uh, I'll I'll be a couple minutes. We can we can keep talking about this, but I'll uh, don't don't let me stop you. You guys can keep talking as well. I'll be right back. Song. The second is too far away. <laughs> Lie down on, the, on the, couch. the couch. Something great, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If <laughs> what do you see? Do something else. <laughs> okay, I'll go do something else. Okay. Hello. I do not understand. I am Peter Thorolund. Do you think of yourself? Peter. If not, we can keep a better distance if possible. It's a... what's his name? Stephen Hawking. Why also, especially for recovery in the house... Oh, the police! The police get to help. Uh, fetish. Tolerance Taliban. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> Um... <clears throat> Let's see what we got down here. We got uh, open rest. <laughs> Excuse me. Do you think you think so? Fiddly. Welcome then. Buying alcoholic Whoa! beverages. What is salt for everything? Of course it is. A sword, rapier. That's a. <laughs> That's a hack. <laughs> a club. The window. <laughs> Arc is short. Get up. It shows a small amount of skin. Guard. Leather shield. Hot wings. Thank you very much. Hee <laughs> hee. Hee hee! Rest. Black, black, black! Blight Town on the Couch is the new Netflix and chill. Blight Town on the Couch. That was too good. The juice is light yellow! It has the juice! How is work? Body pills empty the mixer. The juice is light yellow. That was hard. Wait, ghoulish show? I was concentrating so much on the, the combat, I didn't even read ghoulish show. It's time for a conversation. Oh, then you will not spend me? If it's a minute, I have a product. What do you mean? Uh, yeah. As we can see, our objects are interconnected. I can totally make it across the country happiness. They will each give it to you do. Sleep to see the sun. The sun is incredible. Like a big dad. Like a big dad. If you dad. were so alive. Dragon, dragon. If you guessed, dragon, dragon. You are correct. Clinical. Wind. Father's mask, empty the mixer, wounds. Wait, <laughs> magician you say? <laughs> Fist death, hit, assign, beat and heart, magician you say? <laughs> right, alluring skull. I think it's gonna be something like, um, lovely head. War and skull. Never mind. He's so wrinkly. I am beef jerky. Fight. Wait. Is Chubby Onion gonna be here? Does he just snore or does he speak now? MMM. HMMMMM. MMM. MMM. MMMM. Oh, oh. Sorry. I mean. I am Line Sigmir. It does not matter what you live with, and I was waiting. So, sitting here, they all have bacon. They all have bacon? 
We have to get the bacon. Very close. Also near. MMM. MMM. It's time to burn. You call people to call? Yeah. I call people to call. Um, so that was that was really bad. Keep the army alive. Well, the sword is divided into justice. It's, yeah, it's been, Saul is an unknown soldier. Better call him. Right, time for another conversation. Oh, he's still human, so I'm happy. Will you help me? As you can see, I'm free. Is he drowning? He sounds like he's constantly giggling. It's one of the big reasons I love Dark Souls 2, I think. Gargoyle hat! I think it's just... <laughs> I mean, accurate. <laughs> Where is the lie? Men are unstable. <laughs> Can confirm. <laughs> no lies detected. The body contains some black spices. Double people are incredible. Use two people to meet and change lots of HP. <laughs> Men are unstable. <laughs> oh, I'm in pain. Oh. Dunno. Left the box. Guys, we left the box. Morning news. I pass all C A R I M. You lost that. You are a friend. Welcome. Do you understand or send it? The fact is that all the I'm poorly translated videos. What's this you've linked? Is that the um because I've got two. Oh, that's the right. So that playlist is the nice. That's the like uh, the edit versions. If you want the whole version, uh, this is my vods channel. It'll be there somewhere. <laughs> Actually, no, I have a playlist. I have a playlist that's Dark Souls videos, so you'll find it. Um, but yeah, ah, ah, Spectre, hello, joins the chat, sees title. The heck. You read correctly, but only. You read it. You read it, you read it. Uh, we're on Margit. And uh, we're doing Margit earlier than I would normally do Margit. But he gives a talisman slot, which I really need. So. <laughs> um, floppy soul? Wait, floppy souls? There is a video of floppy souls on YouTube as well. Was that Michael Jackson? Hee <laughs> hee. Uh, oh, sugar. Oh yeah, the palm oil. Right, so I got this little cracker. Hang on. Because it grows fast. It's one of the biggest contributors to deforestation. It's a cheap bulker for things like peanut butter and flavoured spreads. Oh, It's difficult to avoid because so much stuff uses it. Is this going to go... Yeah, it is. <laughs> you can see my user interface. Mm, got you. Yeah, I didn't know anything about all that. Now I do. Right. Why can't it be home time yet? Because then it means that I have to go home as well, Ledge. Invisible snack. <laughs> no, I'm not trying to mukbang. No, sorry. Oh, sorry, Biscuit. Yeah, Cadbury World. Yeah, eh, I probably won't bother. But we'll see how the mood takes us. <laughs> I just, um, I don't know. I'm just like... I'm down for insomnia. I'm not really down to see Birmingham. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, but. That's not the point. Okay. I have five heals and four mana. I think six heals and three mana. I think three mana is going to be enough. Yeah? Mm -hmm. 
Um, the weapon is better. We've got Margaret Shackle. Um, maybe. Um, maybe something better in the flask. I'd say not because it's a deter, but also chocolate. <laughs> yeah, lots of chocolate. Ooh, I have a meeting I need to prep for and jump into. Oh, Charlie. <laughs> Thank you. Me and Margaret are going to have a great time. If I do decks as well. If I do decks as well, would that do anything? Sorry, I'm struggling to, like, understand. So, the Ash of War scales with... Oh, no, it scales with just strength. So, it's just the strength modifier on the weapon. I could level up the weapon. Now that I think about it, I have like one smithing stone. So putting in that wouldn't make a difference. But I could do that, boost stamina, since I'm taking it at the start. Um, yeah. Leveling the weapon would help a lot, yeah. Sorry, I know we, we were gonna go and have another go, but <laughs> we, could, uh, we could grab another couple stones in this cave here. I don't have to fight the boss. I mean, I can fight the boss if you'd like, but um, yeah, let's do that. I got some popcorn. We were joking about getting the popcorn earlier and I was like, I actually do have popcorn downstairs. So. Hello, HK, lucky boy. What do you have for afternoon tea? Uh, afternoon tea is like, a, it's a thing that you would get at like a, a cafe or a restaurant and people tend to have like toast and cake Scones, yeah, scones, yeah. Yeah. Leveling up the weapon to make your butt more potent. <laughs> That's how it works. That literally is how it works, yeah. <laughs> yeah, when I've ever been. I've been a couple times, yeah. It's like toast and cake and stuff. The fastest cake in the shop has gone. It's gone. Um... But yeah, good point. So we've got one stone. I think we need another two to get plus two. I knew exactly what you meant, Giraffe. I knew exactly. Is that how you spell it? I always have cannabis at afternoon tea. Delicious, nutritious cannabis. <laughs> I love popcorn, but it's hard for me to eat. It gets stuck in the gaps between the teeth. It does, yeah, the little kernels, yeah. I come from a sc oh in the house. I forget which one it is. I think it's Scone up here. Ooh. Um, that tells me a little bit more about the butt drops um, properties. I think it's, it's like it's a, it does like impact damage. Head tilt. <clears throat> I say Scone, yeah, I think it's Scone, yeah. Afternoon tea to me is delicate little fine china cups, <laughs> cream cakes and scones and little triangle sandwiches. Yeah, yeah, queen cakes. That's the big, the big part. Uh, there's one here. I don't really need to kill this guy. I don't really know why I'm, I don't know why I'm killing them. <laughs> that is one powerful ass. <laughs> It's like a 1930s thing. Yeah. You do it on Mother's Day, 100%. Yeah, it's like a mother thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The shockwave seems like it's strike. The impact is standard. That's really good to know, actually. I mean, I don't think, well, I mean, we can't exactly, like, we're doing the whole game with just this, but it's good to know. Good to know what's gonna be harder and what's gonna be easier you know yeah mother's day as soon as i think it's uh it's the first weekend in march right will we get the somber stone just so we have one like in the world of hercule poirot but without the murders why would i do that oh i'm alive <laughs> but without the murders exactly oh it's the 17th oh so it's no it's a while away then Oh, it makes it up. I mean, inverse. Im so impact is strike, shockwave is standard. That would explain why. 
Ugh. It did more damage with the impacts on the miners. Yeah, wait, can I? It doesn't travel very far. Um, it's not Mother's Day, it's my birthday. It's biscuit day. Wait, is my Mother's Day on the 9th? Wait. Is it the 17th? Oh, it's the 10th. It is the 10th. It's her birthday on the 9th and then Mother's Day on the 10th. Quality. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to get her lots of presents. This skill destroys the Crystallians. Oh my God, revenge. Revenge. Oh, I don't like this camera. damage at least. Oh my gosh! I got, ah. Well I finish him with his butt on my butt. I missed. I missed the butt. <laughs> I didn't need to kill that but it was fun. Uh, we got some runes. We could have one level or maybe two. Um, okay. So, let's put these into our weapon. Ass to ass. <laughs> now that's some content. I tried, I tried to ass to ass, I did. <laughs> oh nice Cam, if you get it early, you're gonna be like. You get to play five minutes earlier than all the heckin' influencers. <laughs> All they do is play games all day. And they get sent them early. I've applied for it. <laughs> Surprise Requiem for a dream, oh heck. I'm looking up strength scaling weapons to see if anything sparks. Grafted blade greatsword. Max strength skill C, B, 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 C. What the frick is this list? They're all like C scaling. How is this the best strength weapons? Or are there just no, not really many good? Oh, brick hammer in Stormville Castle. Uh, great sword B. Iron cleaver. Mm, I don't know if there's anything we can get right now. If I get it early, I'll be annoyed I didn't take more time off work. But you can play after work, though. I've got Pepsi. If anyone ever sees Matt Kitto, um, tell her Pepsi Max is better than Pepsi. TwitchCon tickets are up. How much are they? Uh, Juice, I'm playing Demon Souls since the trailer of the DLC made me want to play it. And I was tired of the farming for healing items, so I searched for the dub tutorial. Halfway into the video, I was like, this voice sounds familiar. Maybe I could share this with Rage and the channel was How to Souls. <laughs> Does, wait, hang on. Were you trying the jeep, um, the grass jeep in the remake? Does it work? I had someone asking me if it works in the remake and I'm not sure. 125 euros.
Oh my god. Oh, you're playing the PS3 version. Oh, then it works just fine. <laughs> That's funny though. Look at me showing up in search results, eh? The brick hammer is in storm. Yeah, that's annoying. Like, we can definitely do Margaret, definitely. But I'm like, should I be putting upgrade stones into a weapon that I'm planning on replacing? Hmm. The Knight Rider's glaive has S scaling with heavy. You can get it from what? Wait, from the Limgrave Knight's Cavalry? Oh my god. Really? The one with the glaive. Well, I took you for dead. well, hang on. Hang on, hang on. Is it this one on the bridge? Because that's like super, super close. Oh, Liurnia! Oh, okay. So it's a little bit, like that's gonna be a little bit harder then. Yeah, I think we just, like, the stones are easy to get. I think I'm just gonna, like, put them in the long sword, And then we'll worry about getting another weapon after Margaret, I think. Oh, I need one more to get plus three. I think even at plus two, it's gonna be a nice boost, so. Yeah. Uh, Ruinous Greatsword scales to S when it's maxed. It's this, uh list that I found there, thegamer.com. Doesn't seem to be a very good list. Um, but yeah, we'll have a wee look. I have done no prep for this, but like in a good way. I need to watch um, Ben Soul's stuff. Flippin' subscribe. Wait, I subscribed with my VODs channel. <laughs> um, getting to a plus 17 before the capital. Yeah, we're definitely doing that. Definitely. Uh, it depends how long it is until you replace it. Well, you need to find a suitable replacement, I guess. But yeah, we got just plus two. Let's flip in. I think we got this. It might take a couple tries, but... Ah! I got a free £10 voucher from Amazon from doing a survey. I think I'm in need of a treat. What should I get? Oh, okay. Well, you could get, like, um... Hmm. So you could get, like, something edible. Something drinkable. Or something that's gonna benefit like your work or something that's gonna be look nice in your background or drink is a good choice. Mm. If you find a hazelnut, dead man's fingers, oh my goodness. I had just a tiny little like miniature of it. Oh my god, it was amazing. I want to try and find a whole bottle of it. <laughs> That's a good idea. But then, it's probably going to be about 20 quid, so it's like, mm, it's really good. Uh, if we get the bell bearing, then we, then we don't have to worry, yeah. I think the bell bearings are like, they're always like further ahead in the game though. The enemies on the bridge behind, before arena, are good for farming upgrade stones. Oh. The S scaling is at 25. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, well, we're, we're wanting to have something for the whole game, so we'll get to 25 eventually. 10 one pound vouchers. Oh, Reddit tells me, uh, Ruined's Great Sword, Heavy Watchdog's Great Sword, Heavy Giant Crusher, Heavy Brick Hammer, Heavy Gargoyle's Halblord, and Heavy... Right, Knight Rider Glaive. Sounds kind of fun, because I've never used that before. So, thank you. Mm. There's so many. Giant club. <laughs> yeah, Knight Rider Glaive. Oh, it's a halberd. Yeah, that makes sense. Between East Ryle Carrier Gate and Bellum Church. Oh! That's um, this one up here. This one up here. Okay. Mmm. Black cherry and vanilla kraken. Ooh. 
Rune's Greatsword is the only one of them that's somber, so any of the others should do. I don't think you can change the ash on the glaive. No, you can! I did a run with it recently. Wait, what ash did you put on it? It's pretty OP with Ice Spear. Ooh. Which one's Ice Spear? Yeah, cool! No! I want to reset! <laughs> three! We do 306 now! Oh, that was 303. Why was it less? Also, why didn't he get staggered there? <laughs> That's not a good, it's not a good start. Tarnished. We've come a long way from doing like a hundred damage, so there's that. Shot and I went for one more shot and it was not the right idea. It was a shoot field. <laughs> oh. uh, because damage rolls. Yeah. Yeah, it was how much of a direct hit it was, I think. The glaive sounds like a made up word from Animaniacs. Glaive. So he's probably going to jump now, right? No, he's gonna dash. Perfect! I don't like exhausting my stamina, but it's too good a window not to capitalize on. Greed never pays off, never. Well, sometimes, but no, nah, almost never. Well. habit of um holding down to get to the first flask <laughs> I just killed Margaret with just my butt <laughs> yay with just my butt <laughs> that was uh that was hard that was hard with just my butt. My favorite part of that was him doing the tail swing and me just jumping over the tail swing. That was so good. No, don't worry, Richard, no. Um, Gluteus Maximus here is using his butt, not my butt. Don't worry. Don't worry. I got so many runes, brah! What do we level? What do I level up? Um, I need vigor, mind, endurance and strength. That was fun to watch. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it could be both. No, it's definitely, I'm definitely using my hands, sorry. I think maybe, I think maybe bigger, honestly. 
I think Vigor is gonna be, cause I'm getting hit so much. Stamina, yeah. To chain them. Mind we get, we always have, we have loads of heals, uh, loads of potions, so. Yeah. And strength is actually probably the lowest priority because we'll get the most damage from just leveling up my weapon, probably. Okay, I'm happy with that. Oh, Cam, you missed it! I, yeah, it wasn't like, it wasn't flawless. I made a couple of mistakes, but other uh, on the whole, I think, uh, I think I did quite well there. On the whole, On the whole! <laughs> oh no. Also, hi, Canib. I never said hi. Oh. That was fun. Okay, now we are in Stormvale. We can get. So, my idea of getting the Kestis on the whole was like, I thought it would affect how quick that the Ash of War happened, but apparently it doesn't. So, new plan. We have to get something that's got like big strength scaling. Uh, so let's go try and get this glaive. Um, oh, I may as well take off Margaret's shackle. And yeah, we got the filigree crest now, which is going to be really good for... Uh, like, that's why mine wasn't as much of a priority to level. On the whole challenge. Um, right, so where was that? Right, so... Yeah, Night Raider glaive sounds, sounds good. Unless there was any we could just pick up and I don't have to kill something for, but I kind of want to like knock off the Knight's Cavalry. Hey Sophie! I want to knock him off his horse using my butt. <gasps> Giggity, I just killed Margaret with my butt. <laughs> and it felt good. Wait, what's the requirement to use it? Uh, 26 strength. Ah oh, ha ha, we have hit an issue here 26 strength 14 10 10 decks hmm we're here for the cult stuff <laughs> what what a freaking cutie right what the hell p -box? did you mean to do tier three did you realize that was tier three <laughs> don't know if you realized that you just gave sophie a crown what the frick? <laughs> Thank you so much. Sophie, enjoy your flipping. The tier three emotes are all souls themed. We got Rani, we've got Owen S, and we're waiting on our the rest of them. Steel Panda's doing them, she's very talented. Heckin' MVP, I know. What a babe. Thank you so much. Oh, I need 18 if I'm two handing it. That's not too bad. I've got 14 at the minute. We can we'll get some souls for killing Knights Cavalry, so. Yeah, but yeah, enjoy those. <laughs> um, wait, I can tell these streams are gonna be full of men quality butt jokes, and I'm totally here for that. Hell yeah! Do you know what the best part was? That I didn't even mean for that to be a joke. <laughs> Eighteen is very doable. Wait, so it needs to be nighttime. Oh, well, sorry, I didn't. I didn't answer Sophie's uh, question. So there's an Ash of War called Ground Slam, but it's actually called Butt Drop. And uh, we're killing enemies with the butt. I just killed Margaret. It was so good. Um, but yeah, it looks a little bit like this. He like falls on his butt. <laughs> Great slap, yeah. You can actually level it up and it becomes a uh, golden slam, but that's faith scaling. So we have the strength scaling one to start. Never, I've never used it either, but as soon as I found out it existed, I was like, one day. One day I will complete Elden Ring with my butt. Oh my god, the damage. Oh, that's an issue. I thought I could just knock him off. The lack of uh, him falling off his horse is concerning. And also I'm only damaging the horse. Hey, he like, uh, he 
he uh, got like interrupted there. I don't know if I can do this, guys. <laughs> Um, he's getting a bit confused, which is good. Um. Oh, I managed to hit the guy! I hit the guy once. <laughs> he, he can fall off the horse. If, if you kill the horse, wait. Where's he gone? If you kill the horse, he falls off. Just realized I don't have that talisman. <gasps> You get it from EG. Are you resetting? Nope. Nope, you're not resetting. He's got thighs of steel. <laughs> the problem is, like, if I do that, just running straight at him, he. Hi, Jerry! Here for the cult stuff. He hits me. <laughs> Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. That's the the song from the the Ryan Reynolds Christmas movie. It's so good. Good afternoon. Thank you for gifting a sub. I hope they appreciate it. I definitely appreciate it. Uh, yeah, we need a new plan. The horse responds yes, but I just wanted the satisfaction for knocking him off the horse with my butt. You don't understand. You don't understand. Yeah, um, that's not really working for me right now. <laughs> what else can we get? What else? Grafted, grafted blade, great sword. Can't you can't change the nah? Yeah, you can't you can't change the ash on that. Um. Hey, thank you for the follow. Ah, hi, Xerxes. Great mace. Talk to me about the great mace. Uh, and yeah, the horse does respawn. But yeah, I knew very quickly there we weren't going to kill that. Uh, how much runes did I just drop? There! Are here for the cult stuff? Are we here for the bug stuff? Uh, we're here for the butt stuff? <laughs> <laughs> Fear, thank you for giving us up to Owen. Thank you. Enjoy your emotes and stuff. There's many of them. And now you don't have to watch ads. <gasps> That's button great. Is there a quick way to get Talisman from EG? So only if you've done some Arani's quest or if you've done the bit where you like finger snap Blythe and you get him to help you kill Dadawil. If you do like Blythe's little quest, um, then you can tell EG... Well, Blythe sent me, and then you can buy the talisman. We're here for the cult stuff. <gasps> Sophie! It's paying forward the gift. Well, that's cute. Well, that's just adorable. And now you've done a flipping hype train. Thank you, guys. Sophie, thank you for gifting a pseudo and natural. <gasps> Who's very good bean and deserves good things. And Sophie has given it to you. Enjoy. <laughs> I went back for a hundred and th what the frick? Oh my gosh, she's so little. Look at her. Oh my god, this is so good. Sparrow, thank you for the, the flipping 1,500, 1,500 many bits. Thank you for the many, many bits. Mate. <laughs> Thank you so much. Look at that train. Ah, oh, level four. Mm. Wait, exactly on level four. Did you calculate that? <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, but yeah, you buy it from EG, Rob. Yeah, um, but only if Blythe sent you there. Um, it costs 5k. There's a cheese for the night cavalry and Caleb. He drops the bloodhound step. Yeah. This one drops the glaive. We don't need a new weapon because this one does 300 damage. So we could, uh, we could, uh, we could uh, keep, to uh, keep it, uh, but uh, gotta try and get higher, you know. Um. Wait, hang on. You know how when you two-hand a weapon and it increases your wait. Oh. 
No. That wouldn't affect... Because you know when you two-hand a weapon, you get more strength. But that doesn't affect, like, the... I'm thinking, should I be two-handed my longsword? I don't think it makes a difference. Someday I'll unlock that singing emote. Oh, Spyro, the, um, don't stress, the cheer emotes are changing. Uh, the sing is coming to tier one sub soon. All the ones that, like, look like Rach or look like Eevee, they're going to be tier one. Uh, cheer emotes are changing into something completely different. But they're going to be just as good, if not better. Uh, no, I don't think it does impact the ash, no. It could be a time for science, but no, I don't think so. Uh, oh, the Great Mace is near the Dectus Lift in the camp. Wait, really? Oh, well, we're, like, literally right there. We're, like, right here. Just up here. Oh, also, we can get the church on the way. Okay, right, Great Mace, Great Mace, Great Mace. Thank you. <laughs> Stay on target. So this might not be as flashy, but it does get... An S scaling. That's 28 strength. Whew. It's even higher. <laughs> uh, in, a ch oh. in a chest located in the camp with several trebuchets outside the Grand Lift of Dectus. Okay. But no, I think I was... Um, I think my brain got like a little bit confused there with the whole like the way that strength works. Flip. Oh, it's there. Oh, it's on the right. Okay, so it's here, but like on the right. Don't die. Like over here. I love playing on the PlayStation because I don't have to like alt tab to look stuff up. <laughs> Uh, young, I have rage on my laptop speaker while I'm doing some work and my friend just stuck her head in my room and asked what kind of butt stuff are you watching? We're here- because oh, it's because I said we're here for the butt stuff? <laughs> Wait, or was it complete coincidence? And she was like, Wait, you're actually watching butt stuff? <laughs> Is it here? Oh, it's a chest! Well, that was easy! Now we just need the butt stuff. I mean, now we just need the strength to use it. The amount of flipping distance that this travels. Uh, do you need min strength if you're only using the Ash of War? Yeah, I think so. Whoa! Mate! Mate! <laughs> Would you rather? Uh, one life go less? Oh, mate, when I tell you that they're they're changing for the better, I promise. It won't be for a few months, though, um, because emotes are bloody expensive. Uh, so if you want it now, then yeah, fair. But uh, oh, I thought you'd be happy. <sighs> I don't know what makes people tick at all. It always kind of annoyed me that my cheer emotes, um, some of them were just a bit like lazy. And I hold my hands up and I'm saying I'm calling them they're a bit lazy. Um, so I always wanted to like make all my emotes like a bit more like organized. Uh, so that's why all the tier one sub ones are Rach and Evie. Tier two is going to be Zelda themed. Still waiting to hear back on an artist for those. Tier three is uh, Souls themed. And uh, cheer emotes are going to be <gasps> completely different. <laughs> yeah, if you don't have the stats, the ash just doesn't work. You could go and get the bell bearing for Smithing Stones 1 and 2. It's down in a tunnel behind Raya. It is, isn't it? Down here. This one. That would be good. We do need to get some strength, though. If it requires 28 strength to one hand, go from the Grace Bellum. Oh, I never found Bellum. <sighs> I ran right past it. Um, and you can drop down a spirit spring. Okay, yeah, thanks, yeah. Yeah, let me, um, I ne sorry, I never found Bellum Church is what I'm saying. We'll need all of the tears. Speaking of tears, is the 
stagger tier worth getting, do you think? It's only like 30 seconds and the amount that I miss. 20. Oh, so, okay, so it's 28. So half of 28 is 14. So 75% is 14 plus 7, which is 24. Is that not how you... 75%? No. 21? 14 plus 7. Oh my god. Sorry. <laughs> yes, 21. Is it 21? Because I think it rounds up. Or maybe it rounds down. Uh, oh, I was thinking Opaline bubble. I was thinking Opaline just so we could take like one sort of Leroy Jenkins hit. Mm. But like taking one hit to me is not a big deal. I'd rather have something that works for like the whole three minute fight. Having two hands does nothing for the butt damage. No! 20 should be enough. 20 plus 70 plus 30. So it's like two thirds. Divide. Wait, divide by four and then multiply by three? Because it's dividing by quarters and then times by... Th oh, that's much... God, I always did it as like 50% and then half of 50%. <laughs> I never claimed to be a mathematician. Uh, young, my friend and I have been friends for years so we can joke about and laugh about these things. We're like brother and sister, but but you're actually watching butt stuff. That's the funny part. Like you're actually watching butt stuff. <laughs> Did you tell her? Because that's really funny. But we're gonna, strength is like a good thing to level because we're gonna be leveling it anyway, so. Yeah. I can't wait to like butt Renala today. After all this time it feels unnatural for a button to be jumping. I know, I completely agree. <gasps> it's really far away. Um, yeah, same, same. I still hold dash and double jump. And double tap it to try and jump. Quality. We built this city on Dark Souls 1. We built this city. Maths on a Monday. I've had a bloody lovely day. Do you know what? I wanted to start a new game. I really wanted to play Lords of the Fallen. I went looking for my key uh, to find that they never actually sent me a key. <laughs> so I was like, oh, I'm on a game of spending ban at the minute ever since I bought 20 inches of Mesmer. Um, so... I was like, oh, can I just play Elden Ring again? <laughs> um, pretty sure this is the right, yeah, there we go. Um, and I was like, oh, maybe people wouldn't want Elden Ring because like five months is a long way away and we've streamed a lot of Elden Ring, but like it's just really what I wanted to play at the minute. It's just what I'm excited for. So 20 inches of mess, Maria. I don't know how tall he is, I just, I made up the 20. <laughs> There's never enough Elden Ring, I know, but also you get the insecurity where you're like, will people even care? And then I was like, I don't really care if people care, I care. I care and therefore other people will care. Uh, oh, it's not this way, is it? Mm. I think I've gone past it. Uh, I'm not recognizing it. Uh, pick up this one. No! Heal! I'm stuck. <laughs> it's like next to like battles or something. Yeah, Elden Ring's better than Lord's Talk, 100%. Yeah. It's the real deal. Yeah. Maybe it's down one more. <gasps> I died. I died. I panicked. I should have just done it again. Um, but yeah, I get, I get insecure with a lot of Twitch related stuff, yeah. How is YouTube going though, so? I, oh my god, Hollow Knight, man. Hollow Knight. I'm sorry, I just associate that game with you. Rightfully so. Uh, I'm, I love it so much. I knew I would. I just, it's so good. Wait, should I be picking up? Oh no, because I'm not using those. Nah, that's not but stuff. 
Uh, which I knew there was a spirit spring. I climbed down the platforms, which is way harder. Also more time consuming, right? I've already decided my next game purchase. Helldivers 2! Quality. It's really fun. Yeah. Quality. Um, let me get my runes. I don't even know how many there are. <laughs> hey, there they are. I think maybe it is down more here. I narrowly averted that. Just put the Elden Ring disc in the console and managed to turn it off after I learned out how many runes were needed for the next level. <gasps> what level are you? Hi, Liv! What, what level are you? <laughs> I'm more excited about Shin Megami Tensei 5. I am so excited for the DLC, yeah. How bad would it be that I haven't done anything for YouTube because I streamed on Twitch all weekend? That's not bad. Wait, what? No, you're allowed to flip and do whatever you want. <laughs> it's not bad at all. They are patient. They will wait. This is the way to the boss. This is not the way to the, the bell beating. Uh, I've got one half of the deck too, so I need to get the other half. And you don't have to fight anyone. It's... It's just a chest that you pick up, yeah? But I can't remember where it is. The bell bearing is from- IS FROM THE BOSS?! Oh! I had in my head it was like a little chest. Maybe that's three and four. That's the- Ah, oh, this one's the boss, but the Altus one is just the, the- Right, that's why I got so confused, because I was looking for that little chest that is not in this cave. I always get them all mixed up. Okay, so, oh god, this isn't a, a falling star beast, is it? Is it a crystallion? Yay, it's a single crystallion! I'm gonna bully him. I'm gonna bully him so bad. <laughs> I forgot, like, I should not be afraid of them. They should be afraid of me. They should be afraid. That was not clean, but I didn't die. Uh, they should be afraid of Gluteus Maximus. <laughs> let's go, let's go. Gonna stagger him. Hi, hide! Oh, he's got the chakra, chakra? What's the word I'm going for there? Not called chakra, what's it called? Chakrun, chakrun. Hang on a minute, that did loads of damage to me. Okay, still kind of bully. <laughs> oh my god. What was that? You were standing? Let's change that. Oh my god, the stun lock. Oh, that was so satisfying. Baby lead boy. Yeah, okay, we got the bell. Bell, we got the bell ball. Bell bottoms. Bell bottoms. That was, that was a good idea. Yeah. Um... Now we can level up this great mace. Get stun locked, nerd. <laughs> I I really so my first playthrough of this game, which is what I base a lot of my like hopes and dreams and fears on, uh, was uh, pure sorcery. So crystallians scared the crap out of me. I did not know their thing. I did not realize, like that they need stance broken and even when I did realize that it was hard to know how to do that um no I'll go get the I'll go get the fart fat off one I keep hearing Swo's laugh when you do the move <laughs> his laugh <laughs> is it wait so with sorceries how would you stun lock with sorceries I guess like I couldn't tell you actually off the top of my head which sorceries do like poise damage I'm still traumatized. Yeah, the rotted trio. Yeah, the rotted trio is possibly maybe the worst boss in the game. <laughs> like, jeez, it's so bad. Um. Okay, cool. So now we can buy smithing stones. I only got four thousand for that. Doesn't seem like a lot. The hammer. Oh yeah, the hammer and the the. Is it called comet? Yeah, maybe that would be good. 
I hated them so much. Bleeds. The, a bleed build, yeah. Yeah. Oh, gravity would work, actually. <gasps> yeah, the rock sling. Yeah, rock, rock sling does huge stagger. Yeah, Stevie, of course. All you need is rock sling. I need to get the uh, gravity staff on my... I've, like, restarted another character with sorceries. Oh, hi, D. They say that this character is pretty crazy. I guess you could say D's nuts. So I've got four, 15, okay. Yeah, we need some runes. What we got? Got an eight here. Nice. I got him. <laughs> I got him. 17, oh God, I don't think we're gonna get 21. We need to go kill something else. What should we kill? Rotten Trio? No, absolutely not. Uh, we could go and do... Um, another cave, maybe? Pick up some more smithing stones. I didn't actually pick up many that were in that last cave. Is there a wee cave down here? Go do this one. Castle Morn. Castle Morn could be fun, actually. Cheese the Caleb Knight. Oh yeah, oh well, I mean, yeah, we could get cheese, yeah. I could cheese the flipping ball over and over, but. Currently making a video about beating the game without any weapon upgrades. Ah, <laughs> meteorite staff, perfect, because you don't need to upgrade that, right? Because it's got no scaling. Oh no, wait, no, it it just plum can't be up upgraded, can it? Only light rock sling usage. I mainly use carry and slicer. <gasps> I love carry and slicer, yeah. Uh, or the air tree avatar. Yeah, the air tree avatar. Yeah, yeah. That's that would be because we get the the tear from that. Yeah, that's more worth the time. I think you can't upgrade it, but you don't really need to. It like so. I was pure sorcery, right? Pure sorcery. I needed to get. It was like over sixty intelligence before Renala's staff was better than the meteorite staff. It's crazy. Even right, Biscuit, even the Demi Queen staff, like the meteorite staff is just better. <laughs> you need to have like stupid amounts of intelligence for the other staves to be better. Or or would it be a case of like it would be better with lower intelligence? Because hang on, this is maths. This is maths. Um, with higher intelligence, because Meteorite Staff has an S scaling, it has more magic adjust because of your high intelligence. But if you had lower intelligence, maybe other staves would be better. Everything is better with low intelligence. Okay. <laughs> Plus five on Lusat Staff. What's that with... The gimmick on Lusats is it gravity? Not gravity, like night, night magic. Oh, we're still talking about Elden Ring, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wonder how easy it is to do, like the turtle. Probably quite hard. <laughs> My Sark playthrough, I'm sixty in. Meteorite is two four five, and Lusats two four six, yeah. Why didn't I use the sats? Oh, I had right. So I used um, uh, Renala's because I wanted to use the moon. I loved that moon. There's so many really good sorceries in this game. Um, and we had moon. I loved uh, Loretta's flipping uh, bow. The like sorcery bow so much. That was so good. So good for opening the fight with. Can't wait to play with it again. Adullah's Moonblade, before they nerfed it, it got like a bit of a nerf. Um, Adullah's Moonblade had like ridiculously high like stagger. You could use it on like Electo and Melania and it was so good. And it had frost build up as well. But now they nerfed the stagger and the range, I think, because it had a projectile. Oh, so good. Right, uh, Air Tree Avatar. One six nine. 
he butt drops also. <sighs> it is the butt dropping team. Team butt drop. <laughs> Need to get used to the amount of distance that the the thing travels because. Oh jeez, that was not smart. That's quite good though, using it to sort of get- oh no. Uh, using it to like strafe around him is good. Jeez. Be butt drop buddies. Stop doing that. Whose ass will win this battle? Hopefully, mine. <laughs> Archie slam is less FP than golden slam. Wait, there's another slam? Erdtree slam? <laughs> there's so many butt drops in this game. It was my ass that was the victor. <laughs> Pile pals. <laughs> Posterior friends. Uh, opaline bubble tear and crimson burst crystal tear. Uh, I think I'm thinking of the convergence when you get uh, a grace here. There's no grace here normally. Nice. Okay, so we got another 4k. It's still probably not enough to level. Uh, we're witnessing a pupil versus their master. No, I'm the master, Hyde. I'm the master. Yes, right. Erdtree Slam. It's on staff of the Avatar from the one at Deep Root Depths. Ooh. Yeah, we should get that. When we get to the point where, like, physical damage just isn't cutting it, yeah, we should get that. I don't think we're going to have the luxury of having strength and faith, like, super high. From the description, it does more damage, but it might be pure holy. I do think split is always good, though, because, like, something could have holy defense and then we're wrecked. Like, do you know what I mean? But we can always respect. It's pretty easy to respect. Uh, Golden Staff does physical on contact. Otherwise, it's pure holy. Mm, that's good, though, George. No, that's good. Having both. Ass I love demons, yeah. <laughs> Posterior peers, perfect. <laughs> Do you ever have to prep mic for certain streams? Like, just to let you know, I'm gonna be yelling about butts today. Uh, I never actually, t uh, did I tell him? I think I did tell him I was gonna do butt only Elden Ring today. I think I did. He was very interested. Saying it wasn't saying it as a bad thing, just as a note. So yeah, because obviously we want to be. Sorry, I'm just trying to. Think. <laughs> obviously we want to be getting direct damage because that does the most like damage. But if I miss and it only does holy damage, are we better just sticking with the physical one? No, because we want whichever one does higher damage. I can't have any any jiggles. Don't go for the balls. Oh, that's uh, Dark Souls Three. I can tell you right away. Dark Souls 3. Holy d oh <laughs> no. Where's this uh I'm looking for the the shoppy. Guys, you're giving me so much so many great ideas. 
for uh, stream titles in the in the future. There's a graveyard here. They must be like little. Yeah, one, two, <laughs> three, one, one. Another three would be nice. Not another one. Not gonna say no. The free runes. There's the V shack there. Yeah, curse rotted great wood. Yeah, one of the maybe maybe the worst boss in Elden Ring. Wow. <laughs> More butt jokes, please. Ah, oh, Kali sent you in here. Uh, right, let's see what we can get that strength to. Oh! Eight, I've got one level. It cost me 3395 to level up. We need 21 to use this maze. We gotta go kill something else, guys! Uh, my idea was to go inside a cave. Um, I mean, I already went in this cave, but I didn't actually pick up any of the stones there. Um, so is there another cave of around, maybe in Lyrnia? That would have upgrade stones in it. I may as well like pick them up for free. I do not want to go in there. <laughs> yeah, I may as well pick them up for free rather than like buying them because runes are a little bit scarce right now. Yeah, quick trip through here. There's none like on the lift, is there? It's kind of hard to tell. There's definitely platforms there, but it's hard to tell if there's any like things. Oh, it might just be the the little shiny. Oh, there is a thing there. Ah, oh, yeah, it's just these little things. Yeah, cracked crystals. Never mind. Sometimes they're smith and stones, eh? Eh. I would love to do this game like the back of my hand. That would be great. <laughs> it's just so big. Like my booty. I forgot to make um, Hingway. Maximus, like, fat. Maybe that's where I've gone wrong. Do I really need a somber stone? Yeah, maybe that's where I've gone wrong, because if he was fatter, right, hear me out, I'd be so much better. More butt damage. I think it's beautiful. I totally forgot, though. When we were making him. Oh, maybe there's no smithing stones here. Maybe it's just these little crystals. Because it's a crystal tunnel. Hmm. I'm not cracked, I'm just interesting. <laughs> oh, we can bulk out in the mirror in Fia's room. Oh yeah, we should go meet Fia. <laughs> we should go do all that. Okay, I don't think there's any stones back here. Oh, there's one, there's one. <laughs> it does so much damage to them. I mean, it makes sense, but... Oh, that's a level three! Oh, okay. So maybe the one in Weeping Pen would be better. I need ones and twos. There's somber threes in here! Ah! Oh, I don't want three. I want, like, one and two. <laughs> I just went past some stones, did I? Uh, I'm walking past the crystal... Cracked crystals. Cracked crystal, cracked crystal. Yeah, I would like some twos, if boss. I might just kill these guys, because they're going to make my life harder. <laughs> oh, didn't mean to do that, but I've done it now. If I was fatter, it would be better. Yeah, it's like, well, you know, I'll work on that. I just want to be small, man. Just every girl just wants to be small. Yeah, I'm not picking up these. Don't need them. Yeah. I feel like we should take the cape off as well. Alright, so there was one down here. There's three near Boil Prawn Shack. What, just out in the open? Or another three near a crab. Wait, really? I actually didn't know you could find upgrade stones outside of, like, uh, mines. Or, like, scarabs. 
Mind I'm not wanting- Oh, there's- there's a three. Hey! And another three! I don't really want all these threes. No capes. Yeah, my cape is gonna get, like, stuck on my butt. So I feel like we should take it off. <laughs> Lobsters? No, I'm out. I'm out. Heck this stuff, I'm out! <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. I do think, though, I need to just watch that video. Um, so... Yeah, maybe maybe I won't worry about it today. But definitely for next time we'll work on getting some upgrades, yeah. Uh This is where the th no. Oh. Where's this go? To a somber stone. I don't need this. Yeah, I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm leaving. So I don't need sevens and eights. I need like ones and twos. I do have the the bell bearing though. We need to just go kill something. I just can't decide what. Godric! Godric! Yeah. Yeah, go on. Go on, go on. Um wait, there's a weapon wait, there's a weapon in here. Come over here, won't you? I looked it up and it was like it's in Stormvale. Tibia Manor? What's Tibia Manor? Oh, the Tibia Marina! Trust me. Well, but of course. The the marine. Oh, <laughs> I was accidentally sneaky. Um, yeah. Which weapon was it that was high strength scaling, but you find it in? Uh, it's in Stormvale Castle. Uh, the big dragon that oh no I can't literally won't be able to kill that no was it brick hammer was it that one yeah brick hammer and storm veil what's the strength requirement for that it is literally a brick 31 <laughs> no in the wine cellar okay never mind then it's near the start of the side route. Use the rusty key. To... Well, maybe we could pick it up. Is it better than the Great Mace? Don't think it really matters. Only the scaling matters, right? Kind of want to go and pick it up. <laughs> yeah, 31 is even higher, though. It just feels like anything that's got good strength scaling needs a lot of strength to use, which makes complete sense. Stormfield Castle, like, my first time, so the, the first time I ever streamed Elden Ring, it was for 40 hours. Uh, I went to bed in the middle of it. Um, and Stormfield Castle b made up the majority. Limgrave and Stormvale was the majority of the journey. And it was just brilliant. It was just so memorable. How do you butt slam these guys when they are zippy? Oh, there we go. Like that. But they are hovering above in the air, so I can't hit them with the shockwave. There's a smithing stone too. If you go up the wall. Oh. You're rude, man. Uh, this bird is driving me crazy. How do I kill this? <laughs> hey, okay. <laughs> uh, instead of dropping down there. Okay. Which also skips the birds. Okay, so I've already dropped down, so I can't get it. Yeah, I want a free two, yeah. Are you confident in parrying the crucible now? <gasps> oh, yeah, uh, but that's not but only though. Although, hang on, no, I used a shield for a part of my bow only run. To be fair. To be fair. Uh, yeah, I am I'm pretty confident with Crucible Knight, but I don't know if it voids my run. Hey, we got it, thank you. Yeah, the 40 hour stream, it was insane, it was fantastic. But, uh, 
Stormvale. I, it was just like it's so memorable. I love this. This might actually this is my favorite legacy dungeon. I can't wait to see what the DLC has. Um, like Stormvale. Raya Lucaria is pretty good. Hello. Hello. What the frick? Another tier? How many tier threes have we had today? What the hell? Oh my god, I literally, what the hell? Oh my god. T Tethys, thank you so much for the tier three. And the for the three months as well? What the? Oh, it's going on. It's going off three times. <laughs> what the hell? What? I'm so confused. I d I'm, I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. Thank you so much. <laughs> wow. Um, I, I'm, why did it alert the rice? The, but like, I'm not complaining. It's a good alert. <laughs> it's a good alert. Mate, I don't know what to say. Uh, thank you so much. Enjoy your little crown. Enjoy. I've got a little couple little, if you want them. End of the month, we've all been paid. <gasps> <laughs> me i've got a couple little gifts just to show my thanks uh here is your vip so you get a little diamond next to your name i'm gonna send you a twitch whisper if you want i'm doing like little thank you gifts um if you're comfy with that just fill in with your name and address Milo! right you guys are gonna make me cry My lord, thank you for the sub, and thank you for the six months, thank you for the prime, yeah. <laughs> thank you. Tethys, I've sent you a, a form to fill in uh, for the little February gift. Actually, you'll get March and April, and um, I've got a little, um, a little incentive where people that do three months in advance, uh, you get a t-shirt, you get a t-shirt, so uh, pick a design on the website. And uh, just let me know which one you'd like, and yeah, we'll sort that out. Oh my god, I'm like stunned, man. I, oh man. Guys, this is gonna help me out, like, so much. Yeah, oh my god. Wait, did you not even know? Yeah! My, my gift. My gift as a thank you. Uh, anyone who's like, but that costs you money. It's my merch, so it, it costs me much less because I get like, I get like, um, my merch discount. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah. Um, Sparrow saying dessert. So I wasn't going to do dessert Monday and Tuesday because we're at the end of the month. But, um, and also I wanted to watch June tonight. <laughs> That's the thing. Um, but it's on on Friday. It's definitely on on Friday. What I might actually do is I might give you, I think what we're going to do, because this has been incredible today. Like, I think I, we're I'm going to give you free dessert on Friday, guys. We automatically... Because we've had like more than three <laughs> threes today. We've automatically unlocked dessert for um for Friday. And Deja, this is your doing! This is your doing. <laughs> um so congrats guys. I hope you bring your eating pants because we'll definitely do bonus stream on Friday. As a thank you. Um, but thank you. Ah! <laughs> Oh my god. So that means more Hollow Knight. Buzz in. Buzz in. <laughs> I'm just giggling, man. It's gonna be, like, it's gonna be so good. 70% sub revenue. <clears throat> as great as dessert is, watch out for yourself. Don't stress yourself out. Oh, well, that's why, I mean, I am. That's why me saying no to doing it tonight <laughs> is me looking after myself. Um, but I would love to, I'd love to do it tonight, but I've literally already, I, it's not in my current schedule. I seem to be going this direction now. <laughs> and DJ's my biggest cheerleader. Me. What's he said about me? Wait, did I not give it to, wait, a DJ needs the VIP. I didn't give a DJ the VIP. Me and the thank you card and the oh, a teacher. A teacher, you should have reminded me. Right, am I safe here? Oh, me. <clears throat> Cause you did the. Did you do three months as well? Me. Hi, Dave. Right, a teacher. You're now VIP. 
All the tier 3s are VIPs. piece. get a little diamond. <laughs> Thank you for the follow! I didn't even notice! It's been- it's been crazy. There's just been so much. VIP uh, you. Uh, I'll send you a uh, Twitch whisper as well. Oh, 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 oh! There's a guy! There's a guy coming up the stairs! There you go! There's the farm. Fill in the farm. Fill in the farm! And I'll get you the thank you gift. <laughs> uh, no, I've sent them a uh, GRH. It's fine. Mine is set to six months. Okay, so you, you get to pick a t-shirt as well. And I'll get that sent to you. As well. I uh, already started eating my pants. Instructions unclear. Eating pants are like, they're loose. Oh my god, I've just realized Div said 4 p.m. Emily. 4 p.m. Emily? <laughs> is this your thing? This is definitely your thing. <laughs> I don't want it to be 4 Well, I do want it to be 4 p.m. Because Div gets to hang out. But I also don't want it to be 4 p.m. Because that means stream is over soon. No. No. <laughs> Um, but yeah, thank you guys, much appreciated. Uh, if you want to enjoy the Patreon stuff, uh, we actually have a Patreon stream on Thursday. We're starting a new game, I can't decide, between Spider-Man 2 and a replay of Mass Effect. I can't decide. Help me decide. <clears throat> <laughs> knight in big armor! Nope, you are knight on the floor. Incredible. Both are, I know, both are excellent. So I kind of thought, right, everyone loves Mass Effect and I really want to like finally beat Mass Effect 3. I've never finished Mass Effect 3. And also it's be really relaxing, yeah. Um, if Spider-Man 2 is anything like Spider-Man 1, I loved it, but it's really emotional. <laughs> um, but the emotions are good. Good. Emotions are good, but I'm just like, I just, I don't know if I want to play it on Twitch. That's the thing. Pancaking. I, I love it. I love pancakes. I'm a pancake. I'm a pancake. I'm a pancake. I'm a pancake. Spider-Man because it's marvelous. Well, right. Patreons slash tier threes. Get in the Patreon chat because I was talking about it earlier. Uh... Oh, right, I need to just not press that button because... <laughs> Sorry for the spam. Uh, emotions? How do you cook those? Could you like, like Link from Breath of the Wild? <laughs> Can I cook it? <laughs> I recently replayed Mass Effect through the Legacy. Yeah, so I have got the Legacy edition. Yeah, Legacy collection, that's right. Uh, but I haven't played it. I bought it. I haven't played it. Oh, it's, my, it's, it's a big shame for me. A big shameful display where I meant to finally finish three and I never did. <laughs> Lexi Pro or Lithium? I read that as lads. I was like, what? Lads, lads, lads? I did give. Wait, I did get formed Philip, but was this with t shirts? I did three months too. Okay, perfect. I keep meaning to ping people at Illidar because I was waiting for the end of the month. But people that did three months in a row, I thought I would have a way of seeing a list of people that did that and I went looking for it and I have no list there's no way for me to tell so I uh, I screwed up <laughs> so I'm just like pinging people ask I'm gonna ask for like um, not asking for proof I mean I'll take your word for it but um, yeah people that have done uh, three months I need to like message people I need to sort it that's a cool sword <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I'll message you. I'm sorting it at the end of the month. I'm just like giving people till the end of the month and then I'll sort them all at once. Doom, did you do three months as well? Right, okay, I've got, I've got I've started a little list. Meanwhile, you guys can have a look and see which ones you like. Um, I'll need design, color and size. It's been fun playing, replaying the DLCs because it didn't have Mass Effect 1 or three DLCs, but for some reason it only has one of the Mass Effect 1 DLCs. I sent you it in Twitch. Oh no, it's fine, yeah, because your your thank you card is on its way. Yeah. High five doing sock, also raise his hat, right, yeah. Oh yeah, you're already on the list, that's fine. <gasps> Rainbow, your title has me intrigued. Your face has me intrigued, hello. Uh, uh, I am, this is Gluteus Maximus. He kills things 
with his butt. And he does it well. <laughs> he does it fairly well. <laughs> but see, all these VIPs, I know everyone's, uh, everyone, tier three, tier one, viewer, lurker, everyone has been so supportive this month. It actually, it makes me emotional. <sighs> uh, hop across the floor until you reach the outside rafters and follow them on a corpse hanging over a ledge. Mm. Yeah, TwitchCon tickets. Yeah, are you going to go? Are you going to go? I have my accommodation booked. I don't have flights booked. Um, I was waiting until I got the tickets. Um, but yeah, I'm going to pick some up. I thought... Oh. 125 euros i just like the tickets that i got for like 2019 i was like God, i was like 70 for the whole weekend in 2019. uh right outside rafters is it there wearing stronger armor would help a lot yeah well we need to get more endurance for that though as well but only challenge inspiring some hilarious logic debates and keep fashion advice. <laughs> uh, this must be it here. Yay, brick hammer! Okay, I mean, we can't use it, but we've got it if we ever decide to use it. <laughs> some stagger. <laughs> Um, I guess the rule doesn't really matter. <laughs> May just do the one day this year. Mm, see, for me, like for me, if I go all the way there and I go one day, I'm kind of like, what's the point? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, TwitchCon is in Rotterdam in EU, Adicha. Uh, I'm not sure where they is. The US one is back in San Diego, right? Rainbow! Excuse me! Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me, ads. I was talking. Rainbow! Welcome back! Thank you for the nine months. Excuse me, that was so rude. That was so I dad. I don't support the ads. I mean I run them every hour, but <laughs> thank you. <laughs> um but yeah, if you're going, that sounds amazing. Um, I missed out on TwitchCon 2022 because I got COVID. <gasps> don't know if I told you guys that yet. I don't know if I've moaned enough about that yet. Um, so I was buzzing to see it back in the, the Netherlands, yeah. But also, uh, it's there for the next three years. And I'm kind of like, once you've been to Rotterdam once, I don't really know if it's a three years in a row type city for me. I'd have rather it been in different places. Like Europe has so many amazing cities like that I'd love to go on a city break to it's kind of um disappointing but yeah we'll see we'll see oh anyway sure I want I love cherry blossom and I love doggo so I need the cherry blossom eevee nice actually if I recommend it looks really nice in white um I haven't seen it in black I have it in white but I have it, I have it as like a, a tank uh, being butt only, are you allowed to use poison mist? <laughs> it's just like a fart. No. <laughs> uh, did he not pass? Last year I went to Tokyo. <gasps> Tokyo game show. It cost me a quarter of the price of TwitchCon. And that was like the hotel and the food for the whole week. Oh my god. Maybe I should go to Tokyo. Um, do you mean America? Uh, sorry, um, like TwitchCon US. Yeah, that would be expensive for me. One day I would love to go to TwitchCon US. I always said to myself, right, when I get Twitch partner, I'm going to the US TwitchCon. And then I got Twitch partner and didn't immediately become rich. I was missold. I thought when you got Twitch partner, you got rich and that didn't happen. <laughs> um, so I never, I never managed it. <laughs> Everyone knows when you get partnered, you just get magic a tesla out of nothing anyway yeah that's a good design i like that one would you consider going for a few days in advance or stay a few days after so i think mike and i are gonna so uh, hmm, uh, shadow of the air tree comes out on the 21st that is the issue uh mike and i were thinking about a couple days in 
Amsterdam because I have to fly to Amsterdam to get to Rotterdam anyway. Um, so we were thinking about spending uh, just a, like like just the two of us, but um, but <laughs> I'm like, baby, my love, uh, uh, wonder of my life, uh, shadow of the air tree is I. <laughs> So we have to talk about that. We have to have a serious conversation about that. Uh, I hope next year I can go to TwitchCon. Last year's really weren't easy. Starting this summer, everything has to go back on. I think it's the type of thing that you do kind of have to save for a year for, really. Um, for me, it's like it's for work. Um, so I, I like make it work, but. It's, uh, it's an expensive trip. Mm. Actually, I forgot where to go here. Down here, yeah. Oh, I have the Eevee Flowers vest tank in black. It looks good. Ah, oh, see, I got it in white and it looks good. It looks good at everything. And everyone. Uh, ooh. There was birds on my butt. No! Oh, I'm okay, I'm okay. <laughs> Hey, there's Rogier, aka a Rincewind, right? Come join me in Tokyo next next month. Yeah, I'm just gonna go to Tokyo next month. Yeah, no bother. I'll be right there. <laughs> I'll be right there. Oh, Rogier. Can he help you with Godric? I think he can, can't I? I like Twitch on San Diego. You went in 2019. I'd love to go to San Diego. I really didn't fancy Vegas. Instead, Rich left. I didn't get Rich, I lost Rich. Uh, I'm here to defeat Godric. <laughs> the only convention I'm visiting is Gamescom. Oh my god, I'd love to. I would love to go to Gamescom. I would love. Oh, I'd love to go to Gamescom. Oh, Roger helps with Margaret! Ah! I didn't summon him. Here are the shirt designs if you want to see what's available as your free gift for two months of tier three. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Yeah, for work, for work, yeah. <laughs> the reason I brought up Shin Megami Tensei, it comes out the same day. Oh no, imagine being excited for both. He was invaluable. For God. Oh, for my oh, Godric is Nefeli Lou. That's it. Yeah, Nef Nefeli, Nefeli. I think it's Nefeli. Yeah. Uh, Bungie, I'd love to go to Tokyo in February or March. <gasps> Why don't you go with Adichie next month? Go with Adichie in March. <laughs> oh, that would be beautiful. If you can't do TwitchCon, then Gamescom is my plan B. Yeah. Oh, I like that. I like the sound of that. That sounds like fun. Uh, is it still in Cologne? It's talking about the other wizard. Ah, the other wizard, the one that got locked out of the darms. Oh, okay, that guy. I thought you'd mean this guy, because he has a wizard hat. <laughs> okay, Eevee Blossom oversized, I guess why I love with such motives to have it more comfy. Yeah, yeah. I used to like order t-shirts a size under because I thought it made me look skinnier. This is when I was very young and insecure. And now that I am older and more insecure, I go size up because it's actually way more flattering. I don't want to butt you today. I don't want to butt you all today. No, I don't want to butt any of you today. No, thank you. Maybe tomorrow. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Uh. But yeah, I'll let. I'll definitely. I'm gonna sort all the t-shirts all at once because it's like end of the month this week. So. No butting today, sir. No, thank you. We don't want any more visitors, well wishes, or distant relations. This just goes round, doesn't it? This is the best flipping. It's the flipping mimic veil. I love it so much. We can be a tree. I feel like the mimic veil should work on enemies, but it doesn't. Or does it? I feel like it doesn't. Do not notice me, grafted senpai. Uh, this is here. I've definitely missed the grace. Oh no, wait, the grace is uh, up ahead here. Past the omen guy. Yeah. Mimic Veil is like, do you know, like chameleon? 
it's like chameleon where it like turns into a random object and it's, it's i just find it so funny because i think right so you know prop hunt like gary's mod prop hunt i just find it so funny um it's just so silly uh i kind of like associate it with that Oh, nice! Oh, I died. So. Hi, darling. Are you coming in? It's just like I heard there was some button in here. <clears throat> uh, Game Swim still in Cologne. Ooh, one tip: start booking for the next year while it's going on. Then you get cheaper places to stay. Nice. I love Germany. I've never been to Cologne though. I've been to Berlin and Munich but never cologne. Uh, Bunny and Ray Poor, I'm doing a four week Caribbean tour holiday in September. That doesn't sound like someone who is very poor, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, that sounds amazing. <laughs> Bro hands me one to go with small Sif, perfect. I know it's kind of a trope, but who in the Elden Ring universe is going around replacing the candles, putting wood in the fires, and feeling the torches? Oh, the 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 mobs like they're not they're they're not uncivilized. <laughs> Daniel, hello, he we, he we, he he we. <laughs> it's like picture the omens with like a, a little box of candles going around, little little box box of matches, just like striking them all. Yeah. Uh, I still think this is an altered timeline than Dark Souls. Like Godwin, the first lord that is dead under the air tree, kind of shares lore with Gwyn. Plus, the names look alike. They do have G and W and Y and N in them. I literally never thought about that before. Uh, George, AJ, Cologne, I went there for a week in 2016. Well, that's like way too long ago. You need to go again. Uh, <laughs> Evie, is it time for your food, honey? Direct, flippin', hit. I hear cologne smells quite nice. <laughs> Every time I was in Germany, I was there for work and had no time to look at anything. But we have a big community meetup in flippin' Gamescom. It's in August, right? Between two trips, I spent a month in Berlin. A month? Oofed. Oh, I'm poor now because of that. Ah, okay, that makes sense, Bungie. Yeah. Oh, baby. Uh, it's the last trip me and my late partner had. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh me. I, I feel really bad for making fun of you now. Oh, Bungie, that's so sad. Oh me. Caribbean cruise. That's lovely though. I have similar thoughts with Rezzy. Oh, who is blocking all of the doors? 21st to the 25th. <gasps> I might just have to stalk you there, Tim. Uh, it, it sounds... It sounds good. Well, of course I do, Bungie. That's horrible news. But also, kind of nice that you're still going because it's kind of like a tribute, right? Are you like bringing a pal or... There it is. Craig was sitting... <laughs> the cogs were wearing away. Yeah, hugs, hugs, Bungie, yeah, as well. Like, it's, yeah, it's sad, man. Do you think we have everything we need <laughs> to do Godric? <gasps> Some friends are coming, yeah, that's good. If you're gonna bring a pal, make sure it's one that can fly. Why? <laughs> Why? On a cruise? Um, I, I don't know if we have all we need for Godric, but let's give him a go. Been a while since we had Marget, it feels like. Give me that challenge. Saying that, though. Mighty dragon. <sighs> You're the true born heir. This is very similar to rolling only in that it's like the loss of control. And needing like a really big time window to actually attack in the first place. 
away. Cruises visit land, flying around on a pal. Oh, like a pal world pal! No, gold brick. He's a bit easier. Ah! I don't have a shackle for him. Depends what his stagger is like. You can get him like stuck on the Brave swords, right? Are you, are you comboing? I can't even see. I'm not actually finding this easier. <gasps> Hello, uh, my deaf mind. Hello. <laughs> I realize I don't know how to fight Godric. Not getting like any stagger. Sticking with the pointy end, uh, the pointy end of my cars. My needle. A needle, okay? It's about the size that counts. No, no, stand there! <laughs> did, you, did you see the one damage? <laughs> I did one damage for landing on his back there. <laughs> He's a. <laughs> Some asses are pointy. Asses that have tails, I guess. Ace Ventura, pet detective. Pointy arms. <laughs> his dicks. Oh, his dicks. This bit is so gross. I love it. I know. And my mouth was just like... So good. Okay, this this might be easier actually. Phase 2 might be easier because the dragon's a bit more predictable. Oh nice! A, a stagger. <laughs> After 12 million years. I don't want this. Wait. Oh, I didn't even get a hit there.
we can try and, uh, oh no. I'm out of flasks. Not bad for first try though. <laughs> yeah, dick locations with no context confused me a little bit. At least I'm gonna die in style. That wasn't bad for first try, I think. <laughs> Would be such a Giga Chad move to jump over the last Oh, <gasps> Yeah! That would be really cool, but yeah, I didn't think that way. Who's the more 80s metal album cover? Dragon Arm, Godric, or Old Iron King? Oh, they're both pretty 80s metal. Excuse me. Oh, that attack is so flippin' long! I'm getting greedy. Yeah, because I wanted to see if he would stagger. So it was three. Oh, that- oh, I thought he only did it twice. Imagine being able to dodge. Oh, imagine being able to dodge. One day I'll get the timing of that. Oh my god! It's like deliberately just that tiny bit longer. I think I'm doing worse. I'm actually doing worse. I might just restart. Wasn't worth the last jump there. <laughs> oh, I feel like it's even more delayed in phase two. <gasps> okay. Yeah, the first attempt's always better than the second attempt, yeah. <laughs> it's very Resident Evil, yeah. So you've mutated your arm. Next step, how to do day-to-day -day tasks. Ah, <laughs> oh, lost the target. Nice. That was big damage! What the frick? I must have got like a flippin' some kind of crit there. Oh! Wombo! Combo! No! Oh my god, I thought I was too close for that to hit me. I'm learning how to fight Godric. And that's really long. He's got a really long arm.
I'm just standing there. Ugh. It's easier to flow state on the first go. I guess because you're not overthinking it. I've done him hitless a couple times, but not with ground slam. Yeah, that's the tricky part. <laughs> I'm still completely bad at dodging him, but sometimes I get lucky. Yeah, that's like literally all my good dodges are luck here. I just, I don't know enough about the moves to know when the good like counter windows are because he's never really lived that long. <laughs> Fighting on the stairs is a good idea because sometimes stuff goes over in my head. <laughs> sometimes. It's a combo. Oh my god, dodging that whole thing is so hard. <sighs> Not to backseat you, Rach, but have you considered sitting on him? That is what I'm trying to do. Hi, Tom. Hello. Moves like Jagger. Wait, is that what the song is about? Sitting on people. <laughs> Ah. Oh. Sit harder? Okay, I'll try that. This is harder than willing only, 100%. Uh, I saw Tom, sorry, I've been streaming since 11. I should be able to get some alerts done on Wednesday. I've got a few to do. <laughs> no, you can crack him! twice even though I couldn't do anything. I was like on the ground. What is that wind up, man? Kill! If I'm gonna destroy everything with my arse, I should be more chunky. Yeah, I did say that. I should have made my character kind of bigger. It would have made a big difference. We're gonna do that though. They're all terrible ideas. Oh no. <laughs> I think his axe is fun to use. I've never tried him. He's trying to make me die. I think so, yeah. If you're right against him. If you're right against him, he gets both pretty much every time. You mean the like the the ground like sort of earthquake attack? 
Cal's addicted to Diablo 2, I'm addicted to Diablo 4. <laughs> just, I just can't quit it. Why did I go for the second? I thought I might have gotten uh, a heckin'. <laughs> I can stagger. Also, I rolled there. A dead roll. Yeah. That still doesn't have a follow up in phase two. Well, I'm dead. I'm not dead. Okay, maybe you can breathe fire again. That'd be cool. Oh, no, not that fire. Can you see there? <laughs> what the frick? Okay, unlock when he jumps, I guess. Um, okay, I think I'm going to try and get the new weapon on the go so we can have a bit more damage. I need some more. So this is with 20 vigor, which is like pretty good, but not for the amount that I'm getting hit. We need more um, before we can do Godric. I don't know how many runes I dropped there. I don't think it was very much. But uh, yeah, it just it's not working. We need to analyze his movements. Uh, or why get good when you can just get stronger? A, A. Let's have a wee Google. Yeah, big. But you can't flip and see. That's not the reason I died, though. It might have been the killing blow, but I died because I can't. It's taking me a while to get used to the. How much it moves, how long it takes, the actual like boss windows. Oh, Fort Gale has the the strength talisman, but I do think what we've got at the minute's probably better. Um how can we get lots of runes? I guess just with the bull to get the strength to use the better weapon, eh? Why get good when you can get beta? Why get alpha when you can get gamma? When it comes to runes, it's been low stakes if you die. Yeah, I definitely don't think it's very many. His moveset is awkward when you're not trading aggro. I think it's like... Hey! It's a thumb! Many, many months of rage and DV goodness. So many freaking months, man. Thank you for the 35, Tom. Your three year is gonna be uh, your brand new custom sub alert. All being well. <gasps> Thank you. I'm a dragon battle. Well, you're a elusive. Got him. Did anybody watch the Traitors? Traitors season two. Elusive? What is that? I don't even know what that means, elusive. <laughs> You could try the bell beating hunter cheese. But I've never got it to work myself. Wait, what? There's a cheese? That's almost a three years. <laughs> I don't even know why there was a show called that. Oh, tra right, it's quality. It's so good. It's um, it's like Among Us, but well, it's like Mafia. Mafia, secret werewolf. You know, like one person is a traitor or more people and uh, they have to fool everyone else, but elusive. <laughs> The show rewards the most toxic person. Ah, it's not so much like toxic, but it's just a game. It's a game show. No, I wouldn't say it's toxic. It's like, it's all about like, who can you really trust kind of thing. No one. <laughs> just like playing Among Us with Dan. Okay. I don't know how much we need to level up. Probably a few more balls. The most deceitful, yeah. Anyway, there was a, just a, a joke in there that nobody got, but never mind. Most of my jokes are oh. like that. Hey, thank you for the follow! I know this is very riveting gameplay. Definitely follow worthy. Definitely. Look at that ball. Look at that ball falling off the, the cliff. Look at it. It's great. It's quality. It's a baller. The gummy bears? Wait, what? Did the gummy bears do butt drop, Sparrow? Oh, I got 21! So we reckon 21 is what we need to two-hand 
the great hammer. Yay! Alrighty. Here we go. So, we need to level this bad boy up. Uh, let's get some more runes. For the dragon barrow one. It's pretty amazing. You lead him over to the cliff by hiding behind the tree. And then you aggro the golem. If you do it right, he gets staggered by the golem's arrow and you can backstag him off the cliff. Oh my god, that sounds really hard though. Oh yeah, I can't backstab because ground slam. Yeah. That's fun though. <clears throat> Gummy beers bouncing here and there and everywhere. Hi Reese's! I just mentioned that to make you all hum the tune too. I can't conjure it. I, I, I don't, I can't. I need to like... Yeah, I can't think what it is. <clears throat> I watched Care Bears when I was young. Care Bears and My Little Pony. But yeah, I kind of mind. Okay, Smithing Stone 1. We need Smithing Stone 1. Oh. Mm. I got it to plus 1 though. We can see how much of a difference this makes. Time to get Ah, oh, should we get chunky? Yeah. I hope it doesn't affect his nose. Greetings, great I am. Yeah, here. Apply cosmetics. <gasps> Dashing and daring, courageous and caring, faithful and friendly with stories to share. <gasps> Orb's got it, I don't got it. They drink the juice and start bouncing. <laughs> Gummy bears are delicious. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, like here he is. The point was he looked very normal until the beak. Um, right, we gotta make you chunkier because then we will do more butt damage. <laughs> Large head. What only? Hey DC, we are beating Elden Ring with just my butt. That's not even that big. That's as big as he can go. May, this gives me like body type flipping insecurity. That is the largest you can go. It's not that big. Oh my god. <laughs> non muscly. There we go. Perfect. Um, wow. I'm disappointed. That is the biggest you can go. <laughs> Still cut out of stone, isn't he? Should I keep the muscles? It's a tiny butt. I know, why can't I make the butt bigger? Wait, should we make him all tiny and then just the butt like massive? Oh, it's abdomen, it doesn't really. Oh, it doesn't really work. Damn, man. Never mind. Morning, Bill! You need to get Fia's mate's armor. Forgotten his name. D? <laughs> D's armor? Gonna go start dinner. <gasps> Delicious, Crystal. What are, we, what are you making me? <laughs> See you later. Yeah, that's not very max. I know. He's, he's, well, he's a little bit bigger, but this isn't gonna help us kill Godric at all. <laughs> I need to get more smithing stones. Uh, once again, I do have the bell beating, but... Uh, runes are the problem because we use them all on my other weapon uh, the ball is boring but it works yeah we need Lionel's armor yeah uh, sketchy welcome back what did you have for dinner starts with L Leo Lionel yeah Lionel yeah we need that set, yeah. So we look rotund. Yep. That is from. Is it? Do you get that after Fierce Champions or? Can't give Glutinous a big butt. I know. Wait. So the guy that did the Gummy Bears theme is John Williams' son. He's the lead singer of Toto. The more you know, no. 
Yeah, we need Smo's set. We need Smo's set. That's what we need. You get it in the capital. Can't actually think of where it is. With a DLC coming out. DC. <laughs> the DLC one for seven. I wonder if I should finally play this. You haven't played Elden Ring. You haven't played the greatest game of 2022. Ow. Yes, absolutely. You should absolutely play this game. If you need any help, I'm going to be playing a lot between now and <laughs> June. Uh, super excited. Woo, Indian style salmon is what it said on the box, but it didn't exactly taste like Indian food. I couldn't, couldn't tell you how India does their fish. DC, you need to, you need to play this, 100%. It's so good. Bill's making fried eggs over easy with pink salt. Oh my God, that poor heck, <gasps> I died. I was thinking about that poor hacking thing that got, deer that got run over. <laughs> uh, hi, Gervin. <laughs> um, yeah. Wait, you've got a little windmill. Does that mean that you're going to Rotterdam? I'm going to buy my ticket after stream. 2020 what? It came out, yeah, two years. It's two years old. It's two years old. Now I am the deer in the headlights oh, yeah, the <gasps> Orb is sub, Sparrow is gift, Orb is sub. Uh, we're uh, here for the butt stuff. <laughs> Sparrow, thank you for the gift sub. Thank you, Orb, enjoy your sub. Thank you. Lionel's in the church with the omen killer in it. Oh, easy, oh, okay. Easy peasy. So we had two, so seven, right? I don't want to waste runes. My recipe got the horse. The horse? That had some delay. The b We're here for the butt stuff. The omen killer's outside the charge, thankfully. Yeah. Well, cool. Ah, nice! Well, I'll see you in Rotterdam, German. I'm gonna... Uh, did you get one day or two days? That, uh, 125 is so much money. My accommodation wasn't, wasn't exactly cheap either. Oh, I need another three to get to plus three. There's a smithing stone six there. You, you know all this! How do you know all this? <laughs> Although, you probably have, like, your root. And then you know, like, your root for stuff. Yeah, Lionel's super heavy CV. We're gonna need more endurance. For show. I just got Saturday. Right, so I went two days last year and I didn't even stay the whole day on the Sunday. But that is partly because we were going to Disneyland. Oh, we came to see you guys, actually. We came out for lunch to see you guys. And we were going to Disneyland. Uh, so I would, like was trying to conserve energy. But I won't have that this time. So I'm a bit like, do I need two days? Oh nice, we can get it to, we had some twos, so we can get it to plus four. Um, I still have 7k, but we can maybe get plus five. That would be a hell of a damage boost. Uh, I did, I did. oh that was really nice, that was really nice. I loved like, so that whole trip, I loved the like outside TwitchCon stuff as much as I loved the TwitchCon stuff. For sure. I have my main route memorized and a thousand hours of Elden Ring. That'll definitely help, like, playing in We're Anonymous! Here stuff. You're here for the butt stuff? What the frick? Oh, the mighty pumper. <laughs> Anonymous! Thank you for gifting Angry German the sub. Dan Pog. Lay out your arse. <laughs> Thank you, Moose. Thank you, thank you. Oh, flip, I flippin' miscounted. I always forget how many stones it takes to level up. Mario Kart Live? <gasps> Imagine being good at Mario Kart, Bill. Lou's reinstalling Elden Ring, I'm so proud. Yeah, guys, we need to all replay Elden Ring before the DLC comes out and we all have to bully DC into playing it at all. <laughs> so it's two, four, six. So two, four, six, so 12. 
for the three levels. Two, four, six. Back away, no matter. So I'm at plus six. I have some smithing stones three, so I can get it to plus seven. But I need more runes. 300 runes to be exact. Pog. 12 for each one, okay. Magic and mystery are a part of their history, along with the secret of gummy berry so uh, juice. Their legend is growing. They take pride in knowing. They fight for what's right in whatever they do. <laughs> can't, I literally can't conjure it. It's so weird. <gasps> I get to sign Dur Durbin's badge. Yes, let's go. I'm in. I have to, I'll perfect my signature. The badges, so I had a couple like stickers on mine. I can't, but I saw a few people with like the signatures on it. It's such a nice like keepsake. You can sell runes to Hugh, so you can. Gummy berry sauce. I'm, oh. <laughs> I'm tired, man. I'm tired. Okay, right, plus seven. That's gotta be, right, G uh, Godric is getting, getting punched now. Okay. I still might die. Yeah, you quite often like pick up stickers from all like, other streamers and stalls and stuff, right? Skip bomb! Hope you are well, Rachel. Hope you are well. Clap. Oh my god, do you like the clap? The clap is new, guys. She's so happy. She's so. And you can use it sincerely or sarcastically or however you want to use it. <gasps> Skip bomb, thank you so much for the 19 months. I'm good. I'm really good. We're playing Elden Ring. It's like Elden Ring and Dark Souls this week and Hollow Knight. What a flipping week, man. What a week. What a channel. What a Twitch channel. <laughs> I love the clap, Kappa Browse. This is where you tell me that the clap is a colloquialism for like a flipping sexually transmitted disease. It is, isn't it? Is it gonorrhea? It's chlamydia. Fantastic. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> it's for when I do skips first try, which never happens. Enjoy never using that emote. Yay, it's good. I'm adding new emotes like all the time, guys. Um, we've got a lot of tier one ones that Azo's doing. Uh, Nikki's doing the tier three. We've got another artist on board uh, who's hopefully doing the tier two. I haven't heard back from them yet. We'll see. Uh, and also, Charlie Quinn is doing our uh, the emotes that were requested from the charity stream. So they're working on those now. Clap, clap, clap. You can't take it back. <gasps> there, been thinking of holding off on Dark Souls 2 and getting this instead. Yeah, that is the play. That is the play. And Sketchy's gonna be like, excuse me, what are you? No, that's the play. Does, does, don't play Dark Souls 2, play Elden Ring. Because the DLC is coming out in the summer. I spent like a good 20 minutes defending Dark Souls 2 earlier, but if it's a choice between Elden Ring and Dark Souls 2, play, play Elden Ring. <laughs> oh, should I? Do I need more? I've got six of these. Oh, wait. No, no, listen. No, listen. You should get the platinum for all of them. Yeah, play Elden Ring though, yeah. <laughs> it's a pause on Dark Souls 2, not to skip. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know that you don't want my wrath. Yeah. Bombs out for the ring. Well spun, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Right, I'm hoping for more than whatever it was. 300 and something. Oh, I didn't put the Ash of War on it. I'm such... A tool. How can I get out of here without dying? I have to die, don't I? Oh yeah, we can quit out. True, <laughs> that works. George, we had a few goals at Godric, but I just don't really know the fight that well. Um, so I got some runes and got uh, a new higher strength scaling weapon. Perfect. I forgot to do the freaking Ash of War. <laughs> and we were just about to test it. But I forgot to change the ash. Uh, here we go. Ground slam. Yep. Heavy. Heavy great mace. Let's go. <laughs> you can play Dark Souls 2, just don't compare it with the other games. 
Yeah, and the platinum's not that bad. <laughs> if I can tease someone about not liking Dark Souls 2, I will. 500?! Blasted! <laughs> I knew that was coming, I just didn't know the timing of it. <gasps> the delay! 500! That did 300, it wasn't a indirect hit, I guess. Are you gonna jump? I'd prefer if you jumped! Ah, oh, again! I knew the timing, but just didn't. Sorry, I knew it was coming, but didn't know the timing. I lost the target in there. Mates, my booty is uh, so powerful. There's actually no point in attacking here because it does like new damage. Fart reverb. <laughs> yeah, just quitting out. The listen, we're not quitting. We're just quitting out. It's done. Oh, Lou, I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna start with that one. Disconnected take, but that's okay. <laughs> I beat this a couple of times, but not a fan of a mechanical dodge system. Oh, you mean like a. Action, action RPG? Could you call this an action RPG? Oh, yeah, like the. The, the timings in that. This guy should switch from a chiropractor to see a physical therapist. <laughs> I don't know if that's I don't know if that's really his issue. I think it's more like a I don't know if the body is the issue, it could be the brain. <laughs> Man has like many hands and possibly many pain. Oh I went for it, man. Oh I shouldn't have gone for it again! I deserve. I deserve. Whoa! Oh. Oh. We're doing so much more damage though, it's such a difference. Where he was going there. <laughs> that could have been it. Is that it? Oh my god, that was so much easier. Oh my god, that was so much easier. What the frick? <laughs> no, Chisel, no, this is, this is, but only Elden Ring. This is, no. no. I have not lied to anyone. I definitely just beat Godric with just my butt. Definitely. <laughs> that was so much easier. What the hell? Oh my god. Although it was like, I did learn the mechanics and yeah, just having like 500 damage a hit just gives me uh, a lot more confidence. Do we have to rest to get his stupid tiny little body? Come on and slam and welcome to the jam. Bang on five o'clock as well. Perfect. <laughs> oh, guys, we got two big major bosses done today. With just my butt. I've got 20k runes now as well. <laughs> so this guy will now sell us. I was going to get Kestis, but like you can't deny the damage of this is mental. <laughs> Um, they've only got D. I had in my head they had much higher. The buckler, right. Mm, we're not using the buckler to deal damage. But if we were to do like Crucible Knight, I maced him. I butted him. I butted him. Uh, I'll just leave it for now. I'll leave it for now. Right, so 
I mean, we already have Lyurnia open, but we may as well go this way. Come on, everybody, get up. It's time to slam now. <laughs> two big bosses, two big cheeks. Uh-huh. That was really fun. It's a bit frustrating. It's not my preferred way of fighting things, but the, the, the humor in killing things with my butt, it's just so funny. <laughs> It's just, it's too good. Guys, I got hankering for balls. I got hankering for meaty balls. I got hankering for meaty balls in a bolognese heckin' spaghetti sauce. He got collapsed. Oh my God. Uh, who's next? Uh, Renala will be next, um, but that's me done for today. But this will be back tomorrow, same time. For more death by bun. Yeah, absolutely. What are we gonna level up actually? I guess strength. Uh, the health. Health and strength. Actually, strength is. 500 a hit is pretty good. I think we need vigor and endurance, probably. Colonel, I'm trying to sneak around, but I'm dummy thick and the clap of my ass cheeks keeps alerting the guards! <laughs> oh my god. Imagine you're like the Lord of the Realm. Power incarnate with the ability to add flesh to your flesh and someone just asses you to death. Yeah. A wizard is never late, Frodo, Frodo Baggins. Baggins. Nor is he early. He arrives precisely when he means to. Exactly. Egg. Exactly. I don't think I'm ever safe enough to butt slam more than three times in a row. But I do think, right, endurance for getting heavier armor. Yeah, okay. Putting that all in endurance. So that's at 19. Yeah, Red Wolf. Red Wolf of Radigan is next, yeah. Can't wait for you to have Rani between you. <gasps> you implying that I would sit on Rani? I absolutely would. Same hacking time, same hacking channel. <laughs> the Space Jam lyrics were a little busy. Oh, hi, Fessy. They're busy. Everybody get up. It's time to slam now. Rani's going to have trouble working with you after she watches you. <gasps> Beat her mum with your ass. I think it'll, I think she'll like it. I want to put the Space Jam song on now. <laughs> oh man, Vessi, unfortunately your timing is not like great for me because I don't get to spend much time with you because um, it's time for me to go and make some meatballs. It's a very colorful banner advert to it. What's that? Oh, thanks for snoozing, whoever did that. Go for it. Wait, I need to go make meatballs. I need to. I'm starving. I'm starving. Guys, I had a really good day. Thank you so much for. Thanks for showing up. Thanks for showing up. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for enjoying the show. I hope you found it as funny as I did. I hope that this doesn't get so. I hope it doesn't get so difficult to a point where I like want to poke myself in the eye. We'll just have to find out. I forgot we had that, Grace. <laughs> Yep, we're all ready. So next stream tomorrow, uh, 11 o'clock UK. It sometimes takes me a little bit to get started, but um, we're going straight into Raya Lucaria Academy. We're going for Red Wolf and Renala. Let's see how that goes. Um, I think I'm going to be watching movies tonight. I hope you, what you ever guys, whatever you guys get up to, I hope it's good. I hope you have a good time. I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, thanks for being good. Wait, Doom thinks I'm good at Vidya. Thanks, I'm good at sitting on people. <laughs> Roscoe, thank you for the company. Yeah, thank you all for all your company. I had a really good time. Um, yes, more but only Elden Ring tomorrow. Uh, let me see who's streaming and we can go and raid them and say hi to them. Interesting technique. Thanks, Sparrow. Thanks, everyone. You guys are awesome. Uh, oh, God. Lots of lovely flipping. They're all ladies. Oh, there's a guy. <laughs> it's flipping ladies I wear today. Uh, let's see who we're gonna raid. Let's see, let's see. We do have a raid message that you guys can copy and paste in the chat. You might discover uh, your second favorite streamer if you come along. Uh, let's go check. Uh... Oh my god, oh my god, Kaz is playing the Link the Faces of Evil. Right, Kaz here is in Octopus and Dragon with me. Guys, she's so lovely. She's playing the Faces of Evil. Oh my god, yes. Uh, we played this on my channel like uh, it was a couple years ago. It's 
a banger. It's so bad that it's good. 100%. It's so funny. Uh, I'd really appreciate it if you guys came along and said hi to Kaz with me. Um, because she's a very good bean. And uh, you're a very good bean. So I think you'll get along. Is it the remake that makes it playable? I assume so. I assume it's not on a, a Sony Philips. Uh, Philips? Philips CDI. <laughs> Beans, you're all good beans. God, I'm hungry. I'm hungry for beans. Um, but yes, thank you everyone. Thank you, Willador. Thank you, Gil. Uh, Kel, GRH, Fear, Darks, Lou, Spun, uh, Div, Jamie, Sparrow, Brenda, Biscuit, Bear, Cam, uh, Jack, Schema, Vessi, Roscoe, Do Suck Elusive. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Uh, Malectus, thank you so much for all the help today. Pmox, All My Heck and Elden Ring, Beans, Tian, you guys are great. Uh, thanks, thanks, Nikki. Thanks for being Nikki. Thank you. Uh, Rich Brad. Bye, bye, Eladar. Good night, Scarf. <laughs> Let's go say hi to Kaz. Take care, Whiskey. Take care, take care. Uh, Kazzy, Kiyo. Also, if you get the chance, um, I need you to. She's got one of my favorite emotes on Twitch. It's like a little dancing, uh, like a little dancing rat. It's so heckin' cute. Right, guys, take care. Come raid with me, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Oh, but hi, Aaron. Bye, Aaron. Come raid. Come raid with us. It'll be fun. Take care, Juice. See you later. I can't get up there from here. I think I do need to climb that rope, but 